Virginia Tech then Texas of the four choices you had. Go vote at next round live. We're about to uh, tape another version of the podcast, Bama and Bourbon. Aaron Suttles from The Athletic in the house. So is a uh, nice label of bourbon. You've got to watch Bama and Bourbon to see what that is this week. We're back live tomorrow. Until next time, God bless you and God bless America. Follow LT on Twitter at the Lance Taylor. Stop by the New York Butcher Shop and pick up the finest in certified Angus prime beef steaks and burgers, premium pork chops, ribs, and all-natural chicken cut to order just for you. Their chef-prepared entrees and side dishes are the perfect dinner-to-go choice for your family and are ready to heat at home. With a great selection of fine wines and desserts, the New York Butcher Shop is your one-stop dinner shop. Two locations to serve you, Cahaba Heights and on Highway 119 in Greystone, the New York Butcher Shop. Rare quality. The New York well Butcher Shop service. is your one How do you know you're in a community, not just a town? Well, strangers smile as they walk by. They refill your coffee without you asking. And when you ask directions, people offer to walk you there. Communities give more. The way you know when you walk into First Bank that you are in a real community bank. Great products, direct access to your local bankers, and relationships that can last a lifetime. Don't just have an account. Have a community with First Bank. Member FDIC. Want more of the show? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast. The Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, and our entire Double Down Media podcast family, all at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. Start your day online with our website, nextroundlive.com, the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. It's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. That's nextroundlive.com. Want more of the show? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast, The Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, and the entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. Start your day online with our website, nextroundlive.com, for the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. It's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at HydroLive Therapy. Boost your immune system today with HydroLive Therapy. IV therapy, B12 injections, cryotherapy, and compression therapy all under one roof. Mention next round at checkout. Save 20% off any service at the Birmingham and Tuscaloosa locations. If you're unable to make it to HydroLive, a nurse can actually come to your home or office. You can visit them online today, HydroLiveTherapy.com. HydroLive Therapy open seven days a week, Homewood 9 to 6 in Tuscaloosa. Lusa 10 to 6. Cowan Equipment has had the honor of providing heavy equipment solutions to Alabama contractors for more than 80 years now. With one of the largest and most diverse heavy equipment rental fleets in the southeast, stocked by Volvo Construction Equipment, Takuchi Mini Excavators, track loaders and skid steers, Groove and Cabelco cranes, Doosan portable compressors and light towers, Indico breakers, and much more. Cowan is your one-stop shop for all your heavy equipment needs. From short and long-term rental options, flexible rent-to-own, or straight Great purchase options, parts in stock, and service you can depend on. Let Cowan show you what it means to have a trusted partner who will keep you ahead of the game. Call Cowan at 800-239-2694 or visit Cowan.com. Again, where you can always expect extra effort when it comes to your heavy equipment needs, call Cowan, the name you have trusted for decades, 800-239-2694 or visit them online at Cowan.com. Follow Next Round Live on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. The social media team at Next Round Live is dedicated to giving you daily news conferences and practice video from UAB, Alabama, Auburn, and around college football. Follow and compare to the sites you used to visit. You'll also get the latest highlights and news from the Next Round Daily Show. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss a thing. Next Round Live on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. See more at nextroundlive.com.
Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. Oh, getting ready for UAB's big shot with Georgia this weekend. Interesting stat about their quarterback from Pro Football Focus, the college side of that coming up on the show. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, rock star. Forrester a little under the weather today. Appreciate Abby being with us today, helping us out back behind the big glass. Hope you guys are ready for a hump day. We got Wimp coming up in the very next segment. We got upset alert today. Furman from Vegas and a whole lot. Let's start things off, though, with the AP poll that finally came out at the end of Brown's trip around Google yesterday afternoon, if you just uh, listened to that show. And Alabama's number one. They don't have all the first-place votes. I don't know if they should have all the first-place votes, but they don't have all the first-place votes. Georgia's got a handful of those. Georgia had some votes before the weekend started. They picked up, you know, maybe a vote that was on the Clemson side of the ledger. Alabama gets the rest of them, 59 first-place votes to four. But they are 1-2 in the SEC. Your thoughts on, first off, just 1-2 of the best team in the West and the best team in the East? Well, I think there's a chance that we could see this hold the entire season. I think Alabama and Georgia could be 1-2. We could have this. I know this sounds crazy because we always have upsets in the in, in college football, but based on what I saw this past weekend, now Georgia's got to get the offense a little bit better. I do credit Clemson's defense because I think Venables has got that dialed in. But I could see Alabama go 12-0, and Georgia go 12-0. and We get this matchup. It stays 1-2. We get it in Atlanta. And as we said, we all agree, both of those teams, whoever loses and wins that game goes on to a 14 playoff. It's not the exact scenario, but it feels – just a little bit like 2009 with Alabama and Florida. It right? does. But you know what happened there? Did both of them make it there undefeated? They no. did. Right? Yeah, uh, they did. Did they? Uh, yeah, Florida's loss was an 08, right? Yeah, Weren't they both undefeated? Was. Florida's was. loss was an 08. Yeah, because it was a 1-2. Yep. Yeah. So yep. it feels a little bit like that where even though it's not the exact scenario because Georgia did not play for the SEC championship last year, Alabama and Florida had met for it in 08, and it just seemed they were destined to play for it again in 09. And both of them made it through undefeated and met in a winner goes to the national championship. This is pre-playoff. In the playoff era, both those teams are in the playoffs, okay? But this is pre-playoffs. So uh, that's kind of what we uh, it's kind of what it feels like right now through one week. Great comparison there to 2009 Alabama and Florida with Alabama and Georgia here in 2021. Um, after Georgia, Ohio State is three as we all expected them to be. But then at number four is Oklahoma, and five is Texas A&M. I, I love me some Jimbo Fisher. I love me some Giga Maggies. But five five seems a little high from what I saw from Haynes King right now. To me, so, I did, Somebody's got to be there, though. They, somebody's got to be there. But I left the weekend more concerned about Haynes King having seen him play than I was about Haynes King Sight unseen. Yeah, and look, DJ from last year to this year looks much different. I think a lot of that does have to do with the offensive line and opponent. I still think Clemson's a better team than Texas A&M. That's what I was, I was going to yeah. ask you. Clemson, Texas A&M played right now neutral site. I would take Clemson. I would too. Yeah. I mean, you've got more experience at quarterback in DJ. Now, the offensive line would have their hands full of Texas A&M, and Clemson's defense, I think, could could limit that rushing attack. A chain and, and Spiller, I just don't think they would go 100-plus each. I... I Wish I had watched more of this Texas A&M game because the, the, I, the first half was was fascinating. It really was, and I, then and then talent just it, it overcame Kent State. I mean, I'm trying to remember that was a six o'clock kick, right? So I had Auburn at that time. Yep. It was already on. I was geared up for Georgia Clemson. Um, there was a game ending. I guess the Alabama game was was ending. I mean, all that was happening, and I just didn't give that a lot of TV time. What was it, 10-3 at the half, something like that? 13-3, I think. 13-3. It was, it was a very lackluster first half. I did not watch the second half. I went back and watched it. I went back and watched it on highlights. Yeah. And um, the, the speed of the running backs and the playmakers in the slot was the difference for the Aggies. Yeah, I mean, I just, I've heard you numerous times talk about how underwhelmed you were with oh. the quarterback play. And, um, man, that is... That's super concerning. Yeah, it, so it was 10-3 at half. I, I'll tell you, though, looking ahead, if Ohio State was to lose to Oregon this weekend, which I don't think will happen, but if they were to lose, Oklahoma still got Kansas State before A&M and Alabama play. There's a chance Alabama, Georgia, and Texas A&M could be 1-2-3. There was a time when I was a kid that that happened for the Big 8. 
Nebraska, Oklahoma, Missouri were one, two, three. No, I think we had it in 2007 with the Big 12 or 2000. Yeah. We had it in 2000 and something with the SEC. When well, it was 2011, LSU, was it ever, Arkansas, yeah, right? was it ever one, two, three? I'll go back and look. I don't yeah. know that it ever got to one, two, three, did I, it? I thought it was 2008, actually. And I think it was Oklahoma, Texas, and Texas Tech were one, two, three. Yep. And then we had in 2011, I do think we had Alabama, LSU, and Arkansas. Yeah, they, I think so too. They were widely regarded as the three best teams in the country, but you have to remember um, Alabama beat Arkansas. Arkansas took that one loss pretty early in the year. I don't know that they ever ascended to number three. I'm looking at them right here. They never got uh, – they did. Yep. Yeah. You know when it was? It was when they played LSU. Yeah, yeah it, was, uh, it was the Black Friday, Black Friday game. You yep. remember where we were? Sweet I Bones, do. Alabama. Sweet Bones, Alabama. Yep. Watch that game. It was my last trip to Sweet Bones, Alabama. Even C. Stu made the appearance. And the it funny is. thing there, that was the year that I had called for Alabama and Arkansas before the season to play for the national championship. Uh-huh. And if Arkansas beats LSU, we have that scenario. But the problem was Arkansas gets up 14 nothing, and then it was just a landslide after yeah. that. Seemed like it was a special team's kickoff return or something that sort of flipped that game around. Um, so that, that gets you through six. And then there is Cincinnati at seven. Now, again, opponent is everything, right? We keep saying that about Auburn's domination of Akron, Auburn's domination of Alabama State before they go play Penn State. But Cincinnati looked apart when they played Miami of Ohio to start with. And I, I think when you start at seven, yeah, you play the part, you look at it like you're supposed to, you're going to be in the conversation all year. They got hurt by Indiana's loss to start well, the year. But you say that, and you're not wrong, but the point I was going to make after watching one week of football, I don't know about you, but I feel better about Cincinnati's opportunity to beat both Notre Dame and Indiana. After oh, watching just No, I week. do too. Now, what you've got to have, back to Indiana losing and losing in the fashion they did to Iowa. Indiana's got to pull this out of the gutter. Well, they need They've to. got to find a way to go 9-3. and three. Notre Dame still needs to be a 10-2 and two squad. Central Florida needs to win all of their games outside of Cincinnati. If that happened, I really do believe Cincinnati going undefeated. Yeah, I, it's going to be hard to, to keep them out this I did year. not like Cincinnati's odds of going undefeated in the preseason. But having watched one week of football, I much more like their odds going undefeated now than I did before. I mean, Notre Dame obviously showed some issues on the road at Florida State. I mean, yeah. they, they had Stopping some issues. Stopping the run. Yeah. And De- by the way, a quarterback, Desmond Ritter, runs the ball yeah. really, really well. He improved so much, at least in week one against Miami of Ohio, at throwing the football. Yeah, and then I don't even have to comment on the issues Indiana showed. I mean, you know, they, they were not the same team in week one that they were last year. Now, obviously, those things can change, but – i tell you what, man, Cincinnati is probably the happiest team coming out of week one because they won a game and they saw their two toughest teams look very vulnerable in their first game. Look, yeah. undefeated last year in the regular season, they lose on that 54, 55-yard bomb to Georgia in the, was it the Chick-fil-A Bowl? Yep, it gave was. that one away, by the way. So, you know, had every opportunity to go undefeated and to keep this thing going into this year. But I feel really confident right now Indiana's not ranked. In two weeks in Bloomington, Indiana will beat Cincinnati straight up. Okay, right. We'll see what happens, but Cincinnati, I think they would have rather Indiana win the game and Maybe. look great and Notre Dame win the game and dominate. Yeah. And you take your shot at greatness as opposed no, to teams right. that look like they're a little yeah. flawed. And I guess no, I was just talking about your opportunity to win the game. Notre yeah. Dame is eight. Iowa State is nine. And then one of the biggest movers this week is Iowa all the way up to number 10. A lot of love for the Big Ten in this new AP poll because up eight was Iowa, up eight was Penn State. So they'll go 10 and 11. Well, this Iowa team is poised. Now, everyone thinks they're they're walking the plank this weekend, right? Everyone except for me, who's got a stake bet on it now, thinks Iowa's got a chance to beat Iowa State. But if they if they are able to pull this off, I, I, I'm trying to think of a time when Iowa's been in a better shot to be a, in the college football playoffs than they would be if they somehow survived this rivalry game. Well, if we go back to 2015, it was a, it was a one-possession game against Michigan State in the Big Ten Championship. Iowa was going to go to a 14 playoff. So, you know, Kirk Ferentz has had them in good situations before. Michael Penix wasn't good. The first pick wasn't his fault. Bounces off receiver's pads. They take it back, pick six. The second pick six was his fault on the road in Iowa City. They always play one game a year like this, every single year. We saw them do it against yeah. Ohio State a couple of years ago. Now the question is, can Iowa play two of those games in Iowa City this year? Because you get Penn State and Iowa City. I think they avoid Ohio State this year altogether. They do. If they're able to get – or excuse me, they avoid Ohio State altogether. If they get Iowa State this weekend, 
Look out. It's a two-game season. It's Penn yeah. State and at Wisconsin. Listen, yeah. though. That works out good for Iowa. One of you two has probably read this already, and the way our show works, one of you two has probably said it already, and I just didn't hear it. Um, is this the first ever top 10 Cyhawk trophy game? I have not read it or said it I on would the say show, yes. But I would, you I would guess I it would is? Bet yes, it is. I mean, to have both those teams ranked in the top 10. Because Iowa State... In, in another era, was always the was awful. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they were awful before in my lifetime before Dan McCartney got there and at least won a few games with Seneca Wallace. Got him to the Independence Yeah, Bowl. and then they went back to being awful. Brooks with a great point as we discuss AP poll that came out yesterday afternoon after the first week of overreaction. Brooks in our chat on all of our platforms where you can watch us um, as you always can right over there on Facebook, on Twitch, on Periscope, and on um YouTube Live, we appreciate you doing that. Brooks, if this Cincinnati team was in the future edition of the Big 12, which may be next year, maybe in 2023, would they be a better consideration for the playoffs? Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, it depends. Is is the future Big 12 a Power 5 conference? Um, they're fighting, to stay, they're fighting well, to stay at the table. And I think probably some contracts will give them that, uh, that pass for a while. Look, I mean, if, if Cincinnati's schedule still included a Notre Dame game, and their conference games were Baylor and Texas Tech. Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State. TCU. TCU. You know, I mean, if those are – and whoever else joins the Big 12, that feels better than their their B American schedule. BYU, UCF. Yeah, I mean, that would be a better schedule. I, I still just don't consider the Big 12 a Power 5 conference anymore. It's kind of, you know, when Axel Rose left Guns N' Roses. They weren't really Guns N' Roses, were they? He kept the name. He they kept left, one name. They – Guns N' Roses. It was right. Axel's. He left, and then Slash and all them went with. Okay, Velvet, better Velvet analogy. Revolver. Leonard Skinner now. I don't, I don't know one person in the band. Well, there's they're Van still considered Zandt. Leonard Skinner. One of the Van Zants. Yeah, it's it's going to be the Big Twelve, but I don't think like people in the music industry take them seriously anymore. I I don't know if we're going to take the Big Twelve seriously as a Power Five right. conference anymore. Dare, dare I say Andy Staples with a good read about the future of the Big Twelve? It could be headline appetite for destruction after that conversation. That is not bad actually. Yeah. Um, or that smell, either one. Yeah. Um, Rockstar, one of his greatest lines of all time, and it, you know, it does just disappears on this show as many lines often do, is the greatest Leonard Skinner cover band of all time is Leonard Skinner. <laughs> I would call them the greatest. They're, a, they're yeah, a good, the greatest probably, cover band. They probably they're, are. They're a pretty good cover band, yes. Leonard Skinner. Yeah. All right. Uh, part of our show today being brought to you by. Uh, the great folks at Mortgage Right, as always, Mortgage Right gets us rolling on this show, one of our uh, title sponsors. And we appreciate the folks at Bud Light uh, for sponsoring the show, the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios here. But uh, our friends at Mortgage Right signed up with us early on, and they're here with us for the long haul. Uh, great guys. It's the American dream to buy your own home, and Mortgage Right wants to make that dream a reality with branches across the country. Mortgage Right has all of the resources of a nationwide organization while maintaining the charm of a local lender, Mortgage Right makes home buying simple. If you're looking for a quick and caring mortgage experience, Mortgage Right is your go to lender. Visit mortgageright.com slash TNR. Today, to get started, NMLS 2239, equal housing lender. TNR, that's our initials. The next round here, LT, D, and B with you. Uh, the back end of the AP that came out yesterday up. Auburn's in. They're in at number 25. You know, they were flirting just outside others receiving votes in the offseason. So everyone liked the first edition of what they saw with Bryce and Brian Harson. And LT talked about this when the coaches poll came out yesterday. Um, Auburn will take care of Alabama State this weekend at Jordan-Hare Stadium. And... This will be a made-for-TV top 25 matchup between Auburn and Penn State in a couple of weeks' primetime ABC with the Whiteout. Yeah, in fact, Penn State should uh, climb into the top 10 because they're right behind Iowa State and Iowa. Yeah, and that was one way Ball State this Yeah, week. one of those two teams is going to lose. So Penn State will actually be a top 10 team. So you'll have a top 10 team against a top 25 team. That's normally pretty good for TV. Yeah, Mike Yurchich, who took over that offense under James Franklin, they've got to figure something out. So I think this is the week you build confidence against Ball State going into that Auburn game. But you, but you know, so often we get a new coach, and we'll have another week to discuss this, obviously. We get a new coach, and that new coach has to fight for a signature win. I mean, for Brian Harson, he's going to get at week three an opportunity. Anyway, that's a top 10 win right away. I mean, how often do you have a chance to get a top 10 win 
that early. Oh, I mean. Brian Harsin is going to have a lot this year. Oh, he's going to have a lot of chances. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, but game three, he's already got a top ten game. Well, you know, if LSU would have taken care of business against UCLA, would have had it again. You know, week oh, five, know. Georgia week six, <laughs> I know. Ole He'll Miss get, week no, seven, no, no, no. Don't, A&M don't, week eight. Uh, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. He'll get plenty of chances. My point was, he's going to get a chance right away. Uh, and then the others that jumped into the poll, Florida hold, held at 13, Texas up to 15, UCLA's in there. Like you said, they would be. I thought they'd be a little higher, though. They're at 16. They were sort of in my range. And there's Ole Miss at number 20. So a really good uh, start for the AP poll as we come out uh, this year. Part of our show today being brought to you by the great folks at the Alabama Men's Clinic. You hear me talk about the Alabama Men's Clinic all the time here on the show and, and really uh, it starts with uh, a little personal experience. You know, low testosterone is something that hits a lot of men as they age, some in your 30s, some in your 40s, some like me, uh, when you hit that big 5-0 mark. And the folks at the Alabama Men's Clinic, their medical professionals can help get you on the right path. All it is is one easy visit, and you can set up an appointment right there online at alabamamensclinic.com, alabamamensclinic.com. You set up that appointment. Or you can call them up at 205-598-7000, 205-598-7000, and you, you, you go in, you get the medical consultation, you get the blood work done, and if medically advised that day for you to start your low-T treatments, that first visit to the office is free because you're a next-round listener. It's free if you start the treatments that day. Again, alabamamensclinic.com, alabamamensclinic.com. Or call for the appointment, 205-598-7000, 205-598-7000 there for the Alabama Men's Clinic. Bryce Young, first game, he's the SEC Player of the Week, Offensive Player of the Week. Where do you go from here? <laughs> um, you know, I don't know, Dunaway. I mean, it's, it's an amazing accomplishment when you start to look at there's only three quarterbacks in the history of Alabama football with three touchdowns in their debut. Bryce Young, Mac Jones, Joe Namath. You did it against... I mean, you know, we're going to discount Miami now, but Miami will get back on the tracks. They'll end up being a 9 or 10 win in the ACC. They'll be a top 25 team this year. It's not a bad team. It was just an incredible performance. I mean, you say, where do you go from here? Well, his numbers will drop this week because they'll probably only play a half or maybe even not that much. So. Half, a, half in a drive is, is the traditional yep. way Nick Saban handles teams that they handle. Yeah, easily. And, and Mercer should be a team. Lance, there is no official line that I've seen. Lance set it at 58 and a half? 58 and a half. It's but I haven't seen one. Yeah. And you think the total is only like 62 or 63, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't know if Mercer Mer, – Mercer probably gets a field goal. <laughs> well, Lance will give him a field I mean, goal. I put right? their team total at three and a half. Yeah, so, I mean, my point there is his numbers are going to go backwards a little bit. He's going to be judged now, Jim, on how he plays in the big games. That's right. How do you play at Florida? How do you play Texas A&M? How do you play LSU? How do you play the Iron Bowl? That's where he's going to be judged. Yeah, it, so it, many things, so many stats from his first game that wins you SEC Player of the Week. But the one I'll go back to uh, is the one that I think is a telltale sign about a young quarterback who's able to read a defense. And Manny Diaz is a well-respected defensive coordinator designing schemes. Bryce Young on third downs in the game, 8 of 10 passing, 157. They converted seven times on, uh, on those third down plays. That's, that's usually against the Blitz, five, six, seven guys coming. You saw the highlights. To me, that says a lot about the young quarterback. That's one reason why he's the SEC Player of the Week. Well, and he played clean football. You know, people will talk about challenges coming up in two weeks when they've got to go to Gainesville. That Florida defense was bad. Yeah. Now, Nicosi Perry and Florida Atlantic last week, they didn't do much, but I don't know how improved, you know, that Todd Grantham defense is going to be. Then we talked about Ole Miss. The defense looked a lot better against Louisville on Monday night, but how good are they really? The first true test for me, for Bryce Young, will be on the road against Texas A&M. That's a good defense. Well, that's almost halfway through the season. Let's don't wish it away. Week two coming up. <laughs> Not the same slate as we had in week one. We'll talk to Wimp Sanderson about that coming up in our next segment, and Wimp will give you a blue plate where he is 2-0. and Red hot to start the year. He had Ole Miss in a blowout on Monday night, and he was right about that. So Wimp is standing by. We uh, start you off this morning with a medical minute as well from some of our friends, LT. Yeah, Urology Centers of Alabama, it's their medical minute. We'll do this every week throughout the football season. They want to remind you, September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and the physicians at Urology Centers of Alabama want you to know the facts. 
Prostate cancer could happen to you, your friends, someone in your family. In fact, one in eight men will have prostate cancer during his lifetime. African-American men, as well as men with family history of prostate cancer, are considered high risk and should start screenings as early as the age of 40. Men who are not as high risk should be screened beginning at 50. Call Urology Centers of Alabama to schedule your prostate screening. It's a simple blood test and physical exam. Prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death among American men. But early detection is the key. Urology Centers of Alabama leads the way in prostate cancer diagnosis and personalized treatment. Their entire team of experts takes an individualized approach to your care. If you're a husband, dad, brother, or friend, you owe it to yourself and the people around you to get screened and know your family health history. Do the responsible thing and schedule your annual prostate exam to learn more about prostate cancer. Visit urologycentersalabama.com or call 205-930-0920 today. Follow Brownie on Twitter and Instagram at Ryan Brown Live. All right, guys, I don't know about you, but there is one game I don't ever want to be out of, and that's why I'm glad we have the Alabama Men's Clinic right here in Birmingham. They have treated thousands of Alabama men for ED. There are many different causes, like a heart condition, diabetes, a reaction to medication, or simply low testosterone. The Alabama Men's Clinic staff will find the problem, and some of you will be back in the game the day after your first appointment. You can set up that appointment by calling 205-598-7000 or go to the website, alabamamensclinic.com. I know what you're thinking. A lot of guys actually just take a pill, but sometimes that pill doesn't work or it can give you unwanted side effects. Let the pros come up with your game plan. There's no need to wait. Depression, anxiety, a new connection with that special person in your life. It could be all just one important play away. Call 205-598-7000 or get back in the action at alabamamensclinic.com. If you're looking for a fun golf atmosphere that is laid back with a peaceful environment, the Meadows Golf Course in Harpersville right off of Highway 280 is perfect for you. Just a short drive from Birmingham, this 18-hole, 200-acre track with rolling fairways and ample greens is the definition of peacefulness of the country just miles from the city. Enjoy a great lunch before your round and a cocktail on the wraparound porch after 18. Come see us today. The Meadows Golf Course in Harpersville, right off of Highway 280. Hey, Lance Taylor, from the next round, are you thinking about football season? I know I am in this football season. Are you ready to have the better distance vision? That's right, sitting in the stands, seeing all the plays on the field. LASIK surgery may be right for you. Call Michelson Laser Vision to make a no-cost, no-obligation appointment today. And with their affordable payment plans, you can afford to have it all. Football tickets and LASIK surgery, 969-8100. Dr. Mark Michelson, Dr. Jen Michelson, make that call today. Michelson Laser Vision, 969-8100. That sound means someone got great advice. Always have a good plumber on standby. For me, that is Iron Mountain Drains and Plumbing. Jeremy Purvis and his team can handle commercial and residential plumbing needs, and they give you free quotes. 205-516-4927 or ironmountainworld.com. They handle all your plumbing and jetter services. They'll do everything from drips to new fixtures, and they are licensed, bonded, and insured. ironmountainworld.com, just drain it. No one does happy hour like Twin Peaks, whatever your preference. We have everything from tequila cocktails and an extensive bourbon category to local craft beers and handcrafted whiskey cocktails. And don't forget about that 29-degree man-sized drafts. It's Twin Peaks at the Patton Creek Shopping Centers. Want more of the next round? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast. The Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, and the entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. Did you know one in eight men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer? September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and the expert urologists at Urology Centers of Alabama are leading the way in diagnosing and treating men with prostate cancer. Early detection is the key to survival. Guys, if you're over 50, it's time to have your PSA levels checked. It only requires a simple blood test and physical exam. With 13 convenient locations, making an appointment is a no-brainer. Visit urologycentersalabama.com or call 205-930-0920. Start your day online at nextroundlive.com. Get all the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. And it's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. 
Want more of the show? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast. The Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, the last call, and our entire Double Down Media podcast family, all at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. The Double Down Media Podcast family is live and full of content for all ages. The Mystery Fifth Hour gives the next round host a chance to talk about everything but sports. Pour a glass of Bama and bourbon, our weekly college football conversation while sipping some of the most interesting pours in the bourbon world. And our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call. LT takes off the gloves for an in-depth conversation with stars like Taylor Hicks, presented by Redmond Vodka. Find those podcasts and more by searching The Next Round on Apple, Spotify, and on our website, nextroundlive.com. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Wayne's headquartered in Birmingham. They are committed to providing world-class service every time since 1973, serving over 100,000 families from businesses across SEC country, from Tuscaloosa to Auburn and Nashville to Knoxville, providing residential and commercial termite protection, pest prevention, mosquito control, and lawn care services. Put in promo code TNR for $60 off your initial EnviroPest service, 866 Wayne's one. How do you know you're in a community, not just a town? Well, strangers smile as they walk by. They refill your coffee without you asking. And when you ask directions, people offer to walk you there. Communities give more. The way you know when you walk into First Bank that you are in a real community bank. Great products, direct access to your local bankers, and relationships that can last a lifetime. Don't just have an account. Have a community with First Bank. Member FDIC. Big news from the NFL. The Texans are trading starting corner Bradley Roby to the New Orleans Saints. The Saints were missing one piece on the back end of their defense. And uh, they were looking at Desmond Trufant and other aged veterans to put back there. Roby will help them on the backside. He is suspended week one. But as Ian Rappaport is reporting the trade, he says that position needed help. They got the help from Roby. No word yet on what they've actually given up to get Roby, but the Saints got a little bit better moments ago. Part of our show today being brought to you by the great folks at Lanyas. Hey, here at the next round, we're excited to have Lanyas Furniture as a sponsor of the show. Our longtime viewers and listeners have known Lanyas Furniture as Alabama's home for Lazy Boy Value, as well as the go-to source for other great brands such as Flex Steel, Universal, Bernhardt, and many others. It's a short drive to their huge showrooms in Warrior, and definitely worth the drive when you check their great prices out and the fact that Lanya's Furniture keeps a gigantic inventory that allows for immediate delivery. If you've shopped for furniture during the last 18 months, you know that it's very hard to find, but John Lanyas and his staff made the decision to place even larger orders to fill their warehouses during the beginning days of the pandemic, and they've never let up. The result? Lanya's Furniture has one of the largest in-stock inventories of Lazy Boy and many other products, and they can quickly deliver your new furniture anywhere in the state. Go see them today in Warrior, or if you like, shop 24-7 at lanyasfurnituricompany.com. That's Lanya's Furniture and Warrior, your home for Lazy Boy value. Listen, I don't know if Wimp's going to want to talk basketball, uh, Brownie, as we bring him in, but bad news yesterday. We talked about Namari Burnett, the Alabama guard transfer from Texas Tech. Add to that Auburn guard, Alan Flanagan out 12 to 14 weeks with an Achilles. It was a bad day in our state for two really talented basketball players. That's tough. And the coach joins us now, courtesy of Crane Works and their rental division, Rental Works. Hello, coach. How are you? Uh, I'm doing okay. You guys have uh, been going over who's ahead of who. Uh, Wimp is ahead of y'all in one stake. Thank you very much. I'm sure I won't get it, but I am ahead since uh, Patrick Cantley won. Yes, congratulations. Yeah, nobody was, watched but you. No, I would say it was really uh, good, what man. What do you mean nobody watched? Nobody's the whole watching world that. Watched. Oh, the whole world. world. Yeah, when you play a well, golf well, tournament during guys, football you, season, you, nobody you guys, watches. Don't, you don't know your – well, I can't say it. <laughs> Oh, uh, you can, but hey. Uh, a guy that could stand up there with stealing, stealing his brain, his head – to, to win that thing by one shot and there's a difference in $10 million on going to the last hole, one guy, if he loses, cause could lose that 10, he, he has a $10 million difference between 5 million and 15 million and people don't watch it. You're wrong as usual. Coach coming out firing. Uh, Alabama looked good in their first game coach. Uh, and Bryce Young is the SEC offensive player of the week. It is a, you've watched a lot of Alabama football in your life. That was the best first start in any Alabama quarterback has ever had. I mean, he was he was. Well, you know, I, yeah, I, and I think it was, and I think he's darn good. Be that that young, come out with all the the hype that's been on him to start with, 
and he did he he answered all that hype being very good uh, Miami is uh, uh, certainly not not taking anything at all away from him because he he did terrific. And the receivers were good, and I thought uh, really and truly the the play calling was excellent. I think him being up in Bill being up in the uh, press box with his offensive uh, line coach, who he's worked with uh, Doug Moreau, uh on the, on the field, makes it more comfortable for him to see the defenses rather than be on the field the way Sark was. So I think it uh, I th- turned out to be very well. Miami's a team that uh, um, is not real good, but certainly don't want to take anything away from the quarterback of Alabama. I don't think people were shocked that Alabama won and won going away, maybe 44-13. But what was shocking yeah. was Clemson's three-point output against Georgia, the lowest point total in the Dabo Sweeney uh, era since 2008. Um, watching Clemson coach, that offense looks lost. Well, quarterback's lost a little bit, and uh, whether he's as good as they say, as he said in a lot of cold ranks, but uh, I don't know if he's going to be the kind of player. And I, I thought, uh, <laughs> did Dr. Pepper did pick I, the wrong guy? Did you just say he's yeah, selling well, a lot of cold uh, drinks? Hey, no, uh, seriously. Don't catch on that at all. Oh, he got it. Slow, so, so, so you think his NIL had a little I something a lot to of do? Things you guys don't catch on to. Yeah, I know we're slow. But I would say the pass rush was very, very worked worked very hard, and, and they really. You have to understand that the. Regardless of whether you whether you like Kirby or not, he did a good job defensively for Alabama when he was there, and he still does. And they worked awfully hard on the pass rush, and they did a good job with it. And the quarterback, as you have said and I've said, it was certainly not up, not up to snuff. And a combination of, the, of a great pass pass rush and the quarterback struggling like a Dickens against it was the difference. Is is, is Georgia any good offensively? I have no idea. Yeah, but but uh, uh, we're, we're, this, we're not going we're not going to blame that. the quarterback though, are we? When the five people in front of him for Clemson were blocking like they were eating hot dogs in Fanville. Forget well, the Dr. Can, Pepper can, commercial. Well, uh, if that's uh, the case, you can take the quarterback. Then uh, I'm going to pass on him. Well, I, I like um, the quarterback a lot. The offensive line, yeah. the, especially the right guard, needed a lot of help. Well, the league's no good to start with. The league, the Big, the Big Twelve, is twice as good a league. If they get those four teams, and nobody in the league is any good, North Carolina's. It's not any good. Wait, wait, wait! You're season. saying the Big Twelve is going to be a better league? The Big Twelve, than the is ACC, better than the ACC. When I they, said, I'm going to go real slow and tell you again. Wait, wait, with, without is, Texas and the, Oklahoma, the, the, the I, ACC wait, wait. has been built on Clemson and Clemson only for the last several years. Florida State has been no good. North Carolina has been no good. Notre Dame's been fairly good. That, that's the whole league has been built on uh, Clemson. Right, and and Clemson's really good compared to what you're going to have in the Big 12. Clemson ain't going anywhere, Wim. They're still there. They're good. They're still there. Who's going to be the contender in the new Big 12? I don't think it will be. I think think from top to bottom. I just think from top to bottom it's more difficult to play the Iowa States, Oklahoma States, and people like that than it is to, to play the uh, Virginias. Well, make sure, you watch well, I mean, ne- make sure you watch Neyland Stadium this weekend when Pitt and Tennessee play. Well, I, don't, I have no idea who, you know, I think Tennessee may, yeah, I think Tennessee and South Carolina feel better about themselves, even though they played nobody. They just probably feel a little bit better about themselves than the kid, their fans do, knowing full well they played a nobody, they played nobodies and won. At least they feel like they they made some progress offensively. Whether that's right or wrong, I don't know. I tell you, I tell you something, guys. Uh, when I played Kentucky and when I played Auburn, I had a terrible time getting my team ready to play the next game. Uh, we thought we were, you know, we thought we were pretty good. They they felt felt like that the next game wasn't going to be much of a game because they just beaten a Kentucky or an Auburn or one of our big rivals. I'm very interested in the UAB game with Georgia. Uh, will Georgia feel like that they've done what they need to do against a UAB team with a 24 and a half point? I'm not. It's not a blue plate. So, uh, you know, well, they, that's a, going to be an interesting game. UAB is good defensively. I know they were good defensively against Jacksonville. I know Jacksonville's not the Georgia. I got. I got all that. But to me, while we're just talking football before we get to whatever, I, I, I think that's going to be an interesting game. You have any any comment on that, LT? Uh, I agree with you. I mean, based on the Georgia offense that we didn't see, and Clemson's defense has really improved, but UAB's got a legitimate defense. And for Georgia just to go out there and score 28 points alone, I think UAB will have a hard time moving the football, but if UAB can give you 10 points, they probably cover. Yeah. Uh, that's. I don't know if they can give you 10 points, but if they can, yeah. uh, I don't know what the COVID situation is over there. 
at all. I don't know whether it were the, the minds of their kids. We know we just played the biggest game of the year already, and this thing is over with, and we won. Uh, sometimes from a mental standpoint, not sometimes, but a lot of the times from a mental standpoint, you can't get your guys ready to play. I had to work like a dickens to get my guys ready to play after, if, if we won a game against Auburn or Kentucky. The Coach Wimps Anderson with us each week, courtesy of uh, the Rental Works Division of Crane Works. And they got all the equipment you need for the DIYs, like Coach told you, the chainsaws. They got those, skid steers, pressure washers, excavators. They got it all, craneworks.com, or call them uh, for rental works information. Uh, I, I And the coach, by the way, is with us on the Pepsi hotline. If you were Dan Mullen, I don't know how much of the FAU Florida game you got to watch, but they got a legit quarter. They got a legit quarterback question in there, and you got one more game before Alabama comes to town. It's against South Florida this weekend, and they're a massive favorite against the Bulls. What do you do if you're Dan Mullen? I'm 88 and out the gate with a quarterback to start. So you get rid of Emory Jones and you go to Richardson. Oh, I'd go and call get rid of him. I'd probably start the oh, game, make me. his mother and daddy feel good. You said 88 and, and out then, the gate. I assumed. Okay. Yeah, and then as soon as the first time out, I'd have somebody else. And I, I did that a lot sometimes with guys. I'd start and let the mother and daddy feel good. But uh, then I'd, I'd put somebody else in there to see what he can do. I don't think this kid. I don't know him that well. I don't I didn't watch that much of the game, but I don't, from what I can read and check and see and watch. Uh, he's not good enough to win for them. Uh, so when you bring a when you bring a, a defensive football team in there like Alabama's is that um, generally plays pretty hard regardless, and it'll be, be a lot on the line for them because they'll have played um, you know a couple of teams that weren't very good. So we'll see what happens. Uh, uh, well, random question here, but Randy Etzel, okay. a tale of two tales, a guy that built yeah. UConn, went to a Fiesta Bowl in 2010, and now a guy that has stepped down after 0-2. Pretty amazing that when they scored, I mean, the good news is they finally scored points. First time in 643 days UConn had scored points. Now, yeah. they didn't play in 2020, but it had been a long time, but they still lost to Holy Cross. What do you read into him stepping down immediately after two games? We have no chance to win because our administration doesn't want us to. We we don't we don't have the money. We got to play, play money games. We don't have a scholarship situation. We're not going to get better facilities. We're not going to be able to compete in our league. But isn't that quitting on no your chance. team? Um, I think I think it's being realistic. Um, uh, I think the teams probably quit themselves, knowing the same thing. I would say I, I don't really know him at all, but I would I, and I would say you could use that. You could say that, and you could be partly right, I guess. But I, I would feel like it. You know, sometimes you get to a point that you just uh, you just you throw in the towel. Um, I, um, you know, it struggle. Uh, uh, I'll give you a lot less example than that. Okay, when I was at Arkansas Little Rock, we'd had good teams. We we fought like a dickens for money, couldn't make it. My guy in charge of the, of the money came in to me and said, Coach, we got a problem. And I said, what's that problem? He said, we don't have enough money for the pregame meal. Mm-hmm. Coach. So I went to the house and, and, and got my stuff together, and after that season was over, I left. <laughs> now, that's nothing compared, that, that's nothing compared to what, what uh, Randy's gone through. That, that's, you know, but we don't have enough money for the pregame meal. What do you eat? Um I got him some Mexican food or something. That's good so, before a game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Smart. Well played. Well, Olive on you know, that queso, you boys. Do, <laughs> my point is that you got to do what you got to do sometimes. <laughs> and uh, that's much, much, that's very, very much a smaller deal than what we're talking about. I know Derek so, Fisher yeah. likes the margaritas. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah. Boy, that, that puts a <laughs> Derek, – Derek is gone. Pre-game, pre-game Mexican puts a whole new spin on the four corner offense. Well, I was just, I'm just, I was trying to make an example of exactly, you know, answering LT's question. I don't know that, I don't know that it's walking out of the team. It's it, you, you don't have anything. People don't give you anything or help you. It, it's it's really hard to coach, I think. But maybe you guys are, don't agree. All right, he is the coach Wimp Sanderson. He is presented by Crane Works. He is on the Pepsi Hotline, and he is two and O oh in the blue plate. We gave him a layup week one. He knocked it out of the park. Last week, the coach gave you an easy winner. Ole Miss minus nine and a half. That thing was over before the half. Rockstar hit the music. Ooh,
Smith's boy. All right, Coach, you're two and zero. Keep it high. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I um, I'll tell you who I've looked at. Just the LTs enjoys this, and yeah. I enjoy trying to do it. And I don't, you know, sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm bad. I looked at I, I, none of these I picked. I, I looked at Texas, Arkansas. I, I think Texas will win that by six and a half. I didn't pick them. Uh, I think Ohio State's a, a, a good gamble a bit. Um, UAB may be. Iowa, Iowa State I couldn't figure out. Um, and the one I picked out played like a bunch of dogs first time first game of the season. So I'm probably going to eat crow. But I uh, I took Michigan. Uh-huh. And the reason I took Michigan, and I know I know that Washington had some wideouts that were injured, and I also know that Michigan's got a wideout. Michigan wants wants to be good so bad, and they want to they want to show the public how how well they can score, and they've got a football coach who want who would love to run it up on anybody, because he's tired of hearing about Ohio State, and so with a six, I think it's six and a half. Is that right? Where you got Atlanta? It's six and a half. Six and a half. Okay, I, I don't know that uh, – I don't really care whether LT likes it or doesn't like it particularly, I guess, because I've already said it. But uh, I just <laughs> I got news like, for you. Uh, he doesn't like it. Okay. He he likes Washington yeah. a lot. That was going to be game, my right? – that was going to be my third selection for you. I, I told Dunaway it was going to be Ohio State or Texas you would play, and the other yeah. one I was going to put on here was Michigan. Yeah. Well, I put Michigan on there, and I, I'm not I'm – not, uh, I'm not just bubbling over about it. Uh, I, I just I just know the mindset of the head football coach, and I know the mindset of playing at home in your Michigan. And I think to, for me, playing at home because I guess because I coach basketball, playing at home is big uh, with the fans in front of you. Trying to run it up is big because if you can get Washington and beat them, you look really good, and you're gonna do everything you can to make it more than six and a half. And, and I, I can be dead wrong and. I, I like your pick, Will. I, I agree with you. I think Michigan wins this game. I just don't understand your poor mouthing. You come in, you're like, uh, I mean, I, I'm reading. You do I've always tw- done you, that. You do tweet, right? I mean, Wimp Sanderson one is your I'm Twitter always, account. I've always, been, I've always poor mouth. Yeah, he's okay, poor mouth. Yeah. Uh, here's yeah, I'm here's your mouth. tweet. I've poor all my life. Here's your tweet after going two and zero oh this week. Ho yeah. hum, another blue plate win. Yeah. We don't even need for the coach to show up. Neither team would tackle a nude cheerleader. That 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 was kind of funny. I was laying in bed at night when I saw it was over with. I just I, I texted. It. Uh, was it funny? I don't know. No, it was funny. It's very funny. And, and I very, laughed. Very confident. Yep. Very confident. Yeah. But you yeah. poor yeah. mouth I, before I you confident. pick here. Look, look, Jim. I was confident after it happened. Okay. Okay. I, I like that. Confident, I like yeah. confident before it happened. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. good. Confidence. I'm not confident. I'm not confident. Before this game, yeah. If I, if we win, I'll say ho hum three in a row. Yeah, you you uh, won't, you but, won't be uh, doing a Dr Pepper commercial from Fanville no, before the be pick, right? And I don't know that I'm I don't know that I'm right. Yeah, Lance knows far more about it than I do. Yep. But I I just have felt I just I look at coaches and how they want their teams to 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 really look good with the public and the recruits and these kind of things. Now, if if these wideouts at Washington are back. And the wideout uh, is out for the season at Michigan, and Michigan is just averages running water, and they can be that way. Then, uh, then I've lost my first game, but I'm I'm taking Michigan to give the six and a half. All right, he's the coach, William Sanderson, and he joins us on the Pepsi Hotline each week, courtesy of our friends at Crane Works, Coach. Well, I certainly want Crane Works to tell how much I appreciate them sponsoring our show, and David Upton has been a good friend of mine, and uh, they are excellent people. They um, they they have everything you need uh, in the way of home improvement, uh, their la- landscaping equipment. They got uh, excavators. They got anything that you need. Uh, they they uh, got operators for jobs that uh, may be out of your league. You may not be able to do the jobs, but they got the operators that can handle them. You can call Chip Howard at Crane Works, and he'll help you in every way he can. Two zero five seven nine six eighty five ninety. Okay, guys, uh, since y'all didn't watch the golf, I didn't think that was a big deal. So uh, hmm. I got one stake up. Yep, you yeah. did. Yep. See you. Congratulations. Love you, Wimp. Uh, congratulations to you. Bye-bye. <laughs> I've showed it. It's great, man. <laughs> hanging in there, Wimp. Yeah, thank you. We're making it. You're hanging Come see in us. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know where you are. 
Well, we're not far from you. We're literally a <laughs> 10 minutes. Dunway, 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 Dunway literally gives the address. <laughs> Rockstar, tell me where you are. Okay, we'll tell you. Okay, it's it's okay. 10 minutes from your house. Yeah, like he gives the coordinates. Thank you very it literally much. It takes me 10 minutes to drive here, so it's 10 minutes from your house. You're good. Bye. Bye. That's the coach, Wim Sanderson, presented by Crane Marks. He joined us on the Pepsi hotline. I, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, Wimp thought that we were already off the air. And how was the show doing? He was, he was into the personal conversation. Yeah, yeah, right. He had lost all the in the ring <laughs> bravado there. He was like, So how's the show doing? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I, mean, I do I not like his blue plate this weekend. Yeah, I noticed. All right. When we come back, uh, we'll update you on our Cowan Equipment poll question. Uh, and still to come, Todd Furman later from Vegas. Should be a lot of fun. Maybe a special surprise guest. Furman is with us coming up at the top of the hour. Justin Hokinson from Auburn Live on 3 Sports. A reaction to um, a near-perfect start for the Auburn season. And being in the AP Top 25, Hoke is with us at 11. You're watching and listening to the next round. Follow Dunaway on Twitter and Instagram at Jim Dunaway. Stop by the New York Butcher Shop and pick up the finest in certified Angus prime beef steaks and burgers, premium pork chops, ribs, and all-natural chicken cut to order just for you. Their chef-prepared entrees and side dishes are the perfect dinner-to-go choice for your family and are ready to heat at home. With a great selection of fine wines and desserts, the New York Butcher Shop is your one-stop dinner shop. Two locations to serve you, Cahaba Heights and on Highway 119 in Greystone, the New York Butcher Shop. Rare quality, well-done service. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends. Wayne's may be headquartered here in Birmingham, but they're serving more than 100,000 families and businesses across SEC country, from Tuscaloosa to Auburn and Nashville to Knoxville. And right now, get started with their EnviroPest service for $60 off when you use the code TNR. Get started by calling 866-WAYNES1, and don't forget the code TNR for $60 off your initial EnviroPest service. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at HydroLive Therapy. Boost your immune system today with HydroLive Therapy. IV therapy, B12 injections, cryotherapy, and compression therapy all under one roof. Mention next round at checkout. Save 20% off any service at the Birmingham and Tuscaloosa locations. If you're unable to make it to HydroLive, a nurse can actually come to your home or office. You can visit them online today, hydrolivetherapy.com. HydroLive Therapy open seven days a week, Homewood 9 to 6 in Tuscaloosa. Lusa 10 to 6. Let's face it, we all have a favorite something. This is LT talking about my favorite men's store, Shea's in downtown Homewood. Why do I like this store so much? And what makes Shea's so unique? Well, to start, they have been in business since 1922. Yes, 1922. And they offer an eclectic mix of menswear brands from classic to contemporary, such names as Zinnia, Canali, Peter Millar, and many more. They have an in-house alteration personnel who understands that fit is key, and Shea's gets it right. Whether they're fitting a suit, shirt, or jeans, they offer unbeatable service with a sales staff that truly understands the products and how they fit your individual lifestyle in any occasion. Whether it's your work, leisure time with friends, or a formal event like a wedding, stop by Shea's and see if you don't agree. This store is simply the best. That is Shea's, an historic downtown Homewood, where you will feel at home when you arrive and well-dressed when you leave. 
Cool weather is approaching, and now is the time to get your heating system checked out. Excalibur Services excels in all residential heating, cooling, or electrical problems or upgrades you may have in your home. Owned by a Marine veteran, Excalibur uses highly trained HVAC and electrical service experts to ensure the job is done correctly and in a timely manner. If you're looking for a company you can trust to do it right, call Excalibur today at 205-718-8688 or ExcaliburService.com. Excalibur Services, Alabama license number 152. Think about this scenario for one second. You get out of bed in the morning, walk in a room, the first thing you feel is water under your feet. You got a leak, you got a problem. You may think your first call is the insurance company. You're wrong. Ryan Brown here from the next round. Your first call is Dry Tech Water Restoration. They respond quickly. They'll reply within 20 minutes. Likely, you're talking to an owner. Dry Tech Water Restoration does not work for the insurance company. They work for the customer. Remember this website, mydrytech.com. That's mydrytech.com and Dry Tech Water Restoration. Over at Next Round Live on Twitter, we always ask you to participate in our unscientific poll questions, and they're brought to you every day by our friends right there at Cowan Equipment. Hey, if you're having a hard time finding that new plastic on the seat piece of heavy equipment, check out Cowan Equipment's rental fleet hit list for a wide range of well-maintained equipment from their rental fleet for sale now. Visit cowan.com slash featured used equipment or call them 1-800-239-COWAN. You can always go online to cowan.com. The great Stuart Mandel at The Athletic gets a letter in his mailbag asking who gets fired or leave, leaves their job first of these four coaches. Jimmy Lake, Washington, beloved Chris Peterson's choice to take over. Not happy. Year two. You haven't even heard the rest of them. Who, who gets fired or leaves their job first? Jimmy Lake, Washington. Manny Diaz, Miami. Ed Orgeron, LSU. <sighs> David Shaw, Stanford. How do you put Jimmy Lake on that list? Now, that is a weird inclusion. Why yeah. did he have Jimmy Lake? Who was this that wrote this? It was a question to Stuart Mandel's mailbag. Oh, so it was okay. just from a listener. Oh, okay, yeah. Must have been a really angry Washington Yeah, fan. no well, joke. I mean, they I mean, did it's... just lose to Montana for well, the yeah. first time since 1922, and according to you, they're about to start 0-2. Wasn't that the fifth no, game he's I, coached? I think though? they're going to be Washington. Oh, that's right. You do yeah. think they're going to be Washington. Wasn't that the fifth or sixth game he's coached there? Yeah. I mean, they only had yeah. like five they, games. They had four year. games last year. Yeah. So that's the, the my gosh. Yeah, and and I I think they would have won the Pac-12 championship in year one. Again, it was a weird year last year, but if they would have had the opportunity to play, he would have already had a Pac-12 championship in in one year. Yeah, there's no excuse for losing to Montana at all. But no. David Shaw, he was the stock down yesterday for me. I mean, it's been three consecutive years that have been bad bad years for Stanford. They it has have completely been. fallen off. Ed Orgeron's coming off a of five and five. They just got physically dominated by UCLA. And Manny Diaz is one and four against top 25s, and the games haven't been close. So here's what I will look at. Of all those we mentioned, and I think I would throw Jimmy Lake out of that too, but of David Shaw, Manny Diaz, Ed Orgeron, where are the wealthiest boosters and the most passionate boosters of that group? Uh, LSU. You may have the wealthiest boosters at Stanford, but they don't give. You know yeah. what about football? The guys that got that money. The guys that got the money at LSU, they care about football. Right. So your wealthiest, most passionate boosters, that combo is in Baton Rouge. So there's your answer right 64% there. 64% easy. But David Shaw is next at 18%. Jimmy Lake ahead of Manny Diaz in the vote by you, the listeners there. Uh, the first almost 500 votes now. You can go vote at next round live there. Um, as we approach the top of the hour, the stat I wanted to get out, and I'll put the old reading glasses on to make sure I get this right, is from Pro Football, the college side of that, Pro Football Focus, the website. Uh, and Ted Feely, the great SID, sports information person uh, at UAB, may have fed this to them, and I just have missed it in the notes. But they do a lot of ratings, and they keep up after grading film and that kind of thing. Tyler Johnston, the quarterback for UAB, leads – all active quarterbacks in the FBS. This is fascinating. And a passer rating versus the blitz since 2018. Wow. Since 2018, of all the FBS quarterbacks, Tyler Johnson has a 90.3 passer rating against the blitz, and that leads active FBS quarterbacks. Now, he hasn't played the blitz that DJ Uyunglele faced this past weekend. But that's an interesting stat for a guy who I thought was maybe the weakest link in that UAB team before they played the opening game against Jack State. I mean, when you look at the numbers, they're kind of Bo Nix-like before this year. 
as far as completion percentage, touchdowns to interceptions. Um, and, hey, just like Bo Nix, Tyler Johnston had a huge game in week one a week ago today, going 17-21, to 21, completing 81% of his passes. I wonder if Kirby knows that stat. Well, I was about to say, if he's good against the Blitz, you think he's going to see the Blitz this weekend? No. You don't? If he's good against the Blitz? Yeah, I think Georgia blitzes either way, don't they? Yeah, Georgia plays their game. I, I, yeah. I wonder, though, Brown, and you, I mean, you obviously put everything defensively on, on tape versus Clemson, and UAB gets a chance to adjust a little bit to that. Maybe that was the first time Clemson saw a lot of that stuff. Um, I don't know how many times you keep putting that on tape if you're Georgia. Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe you go a little bit more vanilla this week. Why do you play to strength when uh, you're that dominant on the defense? I, because I think you think you can get that blitz home. Yeah. Uh, that's my thinking is I think Kirby thinks those are nice numbers. We'll no. get the blitz well, home. Well, hey, look, and, and they I did don't it last disagree, week. but yeah. all you got to do is have one busted play yeah. on that blitz. Yeah, that'll burn you. And that'll get the over home and UAB. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and that, that's not UTSA that's blitzing. It's UGA that's exactly. blitzing. Exactly. Part of a show where you can get ready to watch the, the UAB Georgia game. Uh, on ESPN2 this weekend. You get ready to watch that with a nice glass of Redmond vodka as you sit at home and or tailgate responsibly. Oh, locally owned and operated. Uh, their aim is clarity and taste for Redmond vodka, color and smell. It's vodka perfection. Redmond vodka is made from corn, which not only makes it gluten-free, but also provides that smooth finish that doesn't have a harsh aftertaste. It's eight times distilled, available at your local package and ABC stores. Also, don't forget about your new favorite simple classic gin, Vulcan Gin, also gluten-free and eight times distilled, the fastest growing distillery in Alabama is Redmont. Pick up a bottle today. On Wednesdays during football season, here on the next round, we do Upset Alert, and it's in the next segment. Todd Furman later in the show, right here on TNR. Follow the next round on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Next Round Live. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Vulcan Tire and Automotive. Four great locations right here in Birmingham. The next time you need one or a set of new tires, do yourself a favor. Stop by, see the guys at Vulcan Tire and Auto. Locally owned and operated with a wide selection of the top tire brands available. The guys there can get you set and get you safely back out on the road. Again, four locations in Birmingham, Hoover, Moody, Trustful, and Gardendale. For more information, you can always visit them online. Check them out today, VulcanTireAndAuto.com. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round. As you guys know, the team at Hempel Services are my go-to guys for all things heating and cooling. Recently, a unit went out in the house. Of course, Hempel were the guys I called. Always professional, always courteous. Hempel Services, they've been serving Birmingham since 1954. They're who Birmingham trust. They're who I trust to do the job right and at a fair price. Hempel Services, independent train dealer, and they service all makes and models for all of your plumbing, heating, and cooling needs. Do what I do. Call Hempel Services. It's hard to stop a train. Do it now. 205 229 2090 that's 229 2090 this is for the men who never settle the ones who miss the fairway all day and still pull out the big stick the type of guys who will always prefer to be behind the grill than in front of the camera and the men who never let their friends forget about a high school nickname this is the lodge mentality this is Twin Peaks. Who wants to settle for a single TV? With more TVs, bigger screens, plus our fabulous scenic views, there's more to watch at Twin Peaks. Think about this scenario for one second. You get out of bed in the morning, walk in a room, the first thing you feel is water under your feet. You got a leak, you got a problem. You may think your first call is the insurance company. You're wrong. Ryan Brown here from the next round. Your first call is Dry Tech Water Restoration. They respond quickly. They'll reply within 20 minutes. Likely, you're talking to an owner. Dry Tech Water Restoration does not work for the insurance company. They work for the customer. Remember this website, mydrytech.com. That's mydrytech.com and Dry Tech Water Restoration. The season for golf is far from over. Ryan Brown here for the next round. Make sure you take advantage of the great weather heading our way at Ballantrae Golf Club. 620-GOLF, 620-4653. It's also never too late to fix your game. The Thompson School of Golf is based there at Ballantrae. They can help you as well. 620-GOLF for a tee time, 620-4653. 18 championship holes of golf at Ballantrae, always in fantastic shape. And it is so easy to get to. They treat you like family there at Ballantrae. Take it from me. I love the game. 620-GOLF, 620-4653. Football season is now in full swing, and you need to be winning with us at Lance'sLock.com. You get the free lock during the show, but get even more with a subscription at Lance'sLock.com. Get Lance's full slate of college football games every Saturday, as well as Sunday's NFL. 
all with the same subscription. No complicated or expensive weekend packages. Get everything. All leagues every day. Only $90 a month, breaking down to $3 a day. If you want to win this football season, jump on your phone, tablet, or computer right now and go to lanceslock.com and get on board with us. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Caliber Sports in Homewood. Caliber is an elite hunting store in Homewood fit for any adventure. Caliber offers high-end specialty products you won't find anywhere else in the Southeast. World-class firearms, whether you're looking for old world charm or modern power and precision, our friends at Caliber have you taken care of. Men's and women's apparel, outdoor gear, and brands such as Gentel, Duckhead, Orvis, Onward Reserve, and more. Stop by, see Jake and the great staff at Caliber Sports in the heart of Homewood. For more information, CaliberXL.com. Start your day online with our website, NextRoundLive.com, the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. It's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting NextRoundLive.com. That's NextRoundLive.com. Want more of the show? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast, The Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, and the entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. A legendary coach once said, it's not the will to win that matters, it's the will to prepare to win. Bryant bankers have the dedication and experience to put together a financial game plan that's right for you. Stop by one of the seven Central Alabama locations today or give them a call at 1-855-4-BRYANT to begin preparing for your financial future today. You'll find out what unbeatable service and legendary results are all about. Bryant Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. And we'll do upset alert here in just a second to uh, get you ready for this week two of college football. Hope you guys are excited about it. A lot of interesting games going on out there. Alabama's number one in the AP poll that came out yesterday after the show with 59 first place votes. Georgia has four first place votes. Ohio State, Oklahoma, Texas A&M, who has an interesting trip out to play Colorado uh, this week. Auburn's in the AP poll at 25. Bryce Young's the offensive player of the week. In the Southeastern Conference, Will Reichert is a special teams player of the week. Boy, the, his kick streak continued on. When they rolled out for that 50-plus yarder, I was like, uh, you know, you hate to see a 50, a maxed-out kick here that's going to end that streak, and then he drilled it. Was that the – there was one that kind of started out and then it uh, drew back in and then it yeah, faded I'm, again. I mean, it, like, it, it touched paint. <laughs> yeah. But, man, he just keeps making them. Yeah, I mean, look, for him. kid still hasn't missed a kick. I don't know if it will ever come into play because Alabama just doesn't play single possession games. But it's nice to know that you've got that weapon. Can I give you uh, something I don't like about Ole Miss? That you don't like about Ole Miss? They've got, uh, is, is this out of the blue? Uh, no, it's 100%, the it's 100% connected to what we're talking about. Okay. Uh, they got a short-range kicker and a long-range kicker. I hate oh. that setup. Didn't Gene Stallings have that for a while? Uh, yeah, I think it's what you have when you don't trust your kickers. It's so what you, you have, yeah. Is it like quarterbacks? If yep. you've got two kickers, you don't have uh, one? Well, I mean, when you've got the short range or the long range, what always worries me is if I've got a 35-yarder, who, who do I go with? If i got a 40-yarder, who do I go with, right? And I've never understood why the long range guy can't be good from the – like, I get that the short range guy, maybe he just doesn't have much leg. Right. But if I can bang it through, if I'm the long-range guy, you're counting on me to make it from 45, why can I not make it from 30? Why do you need two? That's what I don't get. I don't like that about Ole Miss. I could burn them in a close game. Hmm. Those are my thoughts. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Though. I don't like the long-range, short-range kicker thing. Um, all right. That's our headlines. Basketball news. We mentioned it before we went to Wimp, but I'll pass it along again because, you know, we're big basketball state now that Bruce Pearl and Nate Oates and Andy Kennedy have it rolling so well. Auburn guard Alan Flanagan yesterday, Auburn confirming out 12 to 14 weeks, long time, an Achilles procedure. It was a non-basketball trauma that happened recently for him, according to Auburn. And then Cecil Hurt reporting during our show yesterday that Namari Burnett with an ACL tail or a knee injury, as Cecil put it, but the New York Times saying it was an ACL, uh, Alabama now guard was at Texas Tech. So both those guys you know, nursing some pretty serious injuries, two big cogs to what Auburn and Alabama were going to do basketball-wise this year. All right, Rockstar, time now 
for the upset alert. Let's do this. The America's first federal credit union spotlight. Down the alarm. College football's upset alert. (laughs) Banking isn't just about your money. We've got actually alternate reads on that. Would you guys like an alternate read on it? Sound the alarm. (laughs) She does an alarm impersonation. If we we want to use that one. Oh, wow. Oh, do we have it right now? No, we don't have it right now. I don't have it right now. We do not have it right now. Uh, America's First Banking isn't just about your money. It's about you getting help with what you need when you need it. AmFirst was founded for you. AmFirst has been putting you first ever since. Um, LT, Brownie. Jim. You guys hit last week. Yep. I not only missed, I missed 45 to nothing. At least you didn't have to watch the whole game. But if you go back and watch last Wednesday, I said, I'm not very good at this every week. Usually because I don't prepare for this segment. That's just honestly. So since you took a loss, you decided, well, I'm going to prepare. I'm going to rededicate myself. And then I was going to the bathroom before the top of the hour, walking Mm -hmm. down the hallway after teasing that upset alert was coming up. And I was like, I forgot to prepare. I forgot to do my upset alert. 100%. What did he say when he came back in here? Brown? I was sitting in here because, Brown, I got to pick an upset alert. Oh, really? What game will Todd Furman be at this week? Boom! <laughs> so uh, he's going to be in a Vegas down? casino. He ain't going to be at a game. Yeah. As I continue to prepare, Lance, why don't you start us off after your victory last week? Okay. Did Texas State win out? But all right, uh, they did not. No. Okay. No. Did yours? Yes. Okay. Texas oh, so San Antonio. Didn't. I told you the team that's going to win CUSA this year. What, they go on the much, road against Illinois. Completely dominated that and game. And what was your point spread on that? I was oh. catching. It ended up going off at five and a half. Uh, that's a two a pointer for yeah. you. Yeah. So that's two for you. One for him. Zero for me in our that's standings. Right. Uh, I am going to a Power Five conference where you will see a matchup of two of the top six highest rated quarterbacks in the league. It's in the SEC. Okay. Believe it or not, it's Missouri at Kentucky. That's incredible, that the, statue. The said. SEC leading quarterback by passer ratings after Saturday's games. Bo Nix leads the league with a 240 rating. Will Levis is second. Connor Baselick is sixth right now with Missouri. By the way, Zeb Nolan is in your top five. <laughs> that tells you anything hey, he, about he, week one. He's hey, got hey. a good arm. Did hey, you watch much of that? He overthrew a wide open receiver. He's got a cannon. Uh, I think East Carolina will, will – pull back a little bit and end up beating South Carolina this hey, week. Can I just say that um, can I just that's say not my play, that's by not the way. Yeah, that's not his oh. <laughs> can I just say <laughs> that um, I, I thought I kind of I stepped on his play there. Can I just say that uh, Bo Nix, next round Bo Nix is better than non-next round Bo Nix we, since he signed on with you us. Think he's, it's been, us? he's been fantastic. Since we started paying Bo Nix? It Nicks? could be. It could be. Uh, look, this is a big game for both of these programs. Last year, Missouri kind of upset Kentucky 20-10. to 10. New offense with Liam Cohen uh, last week in in their debut. They go 500-plus yards, um, 550 yards. I like Missouri in this spot, though. I think Baselick's a better quarterback, as good as Levis looked. I like Missouri catching the 4.5 to 5.5 points wherever you get it. I like Missouri win the game outright. Missouri to win the game outright against Kentucky Brownie. What about you? Jim, I just watched a lot of Miami football this weekend. I don't know about you. They played Alabama. They played the Crimson Tide of Alabama. 44-13 did not go well for the Hurricanes of Miami. So they head back to South Beach and get their home opener, 6 o'clock ESPNU. And who comes to town? Happy State. Happy State. One of the best Group 5 teams there is out there. Happy State, you might remember, is led by old Chase Bryce. Chase Bryce used to quarterback at Duke. He's in that conference. He knows the Miami defense. Chase Bryce was 20-27, 259, two touchdowns and a pick in his first game. But most importantly, Appalachian State against East Carolina that Lance just mentioned ran the ball 36 times for 226 yards and two touchdowns and only gave up 86 on the ground. Rockstar, I need them. Oh, why? Why? Because I need them. You need the points? I need the points. Trader. Plus the nine and a half. I like this play. But it is tight. Miami pulls this one out late. Happy State plus nine and a half, my upset alert. I will say this. You guys probably remember Miami went to Boone in 2016, early in the season. I do, and it was a sexy pick. It was a sexy pick. I kind of liked Appalachia State in that spot, and that was with our favorite coach, Scott Satterfield. That's right, old Sat. And Miami and Martin Rick ran them off the field. I think it'll be a little bit different. I think Miami comes into this one banged up. I think they have got – I don't know. I don't know if their head's right after that Alabama game. Teams, after they play Alabama – you, mm-hmm. We've seen this over the, years. Tra- over the years. Traditionally can have a bad game after that. Hey, how bad of a loss would this a be terrible, for Manny Diaz? Terrible loss for Manny Diaz. But they're not going to lose it. They're going to win it. They're going to win it tight. Though. It would start an interesting conversation down in South Florida about Manny Diaz. It would, yes. Um, 
Northern Illinois went to Atlanta and beat Georgia Tech this past week. Correct. Right? They did. Can't pick games that have already been played. That game's already been played. <laughs> you can't pick those. I'm going to pick it like yeah. it's already been played. I'll take Northern Illinois to beat Georgia Tech. Mid- miss Phil go late, you think, by Georgia yeah. Tech, maybe? Uh, I say the Saluki stay hot this week. Home dog, they're getting seven. Well-coached Wyoming comes to town. I'm going to take Northern Illinois plus the seven at home going against what I usually go with. I'm going to actually bet with the public this week. That, and take that is Northern. not an altitude game, by the way. It is not an altitude. Nate. They're coming off the altitude <laughs> down to the plains of Illinois. <laughs> I'll take Northern Illinois plus the seven at home. A home dog. Not a good play by me. Don't put any money on that. <laughs> that, 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 is, him. that is the upset alert brought to you Jim's by our company. friends at M First. Hey, Jim, listen, America's first. Banking isn't about your money, and they know this. It's about you. That's what they know. So getting help with what you need when you need it, that's what America's first is about. They were founded for you. Am First has been, you, been putting you first ever since America's first federal credit union. Yeah, so I, I really... Um, uh, I really should start preparing for this segment. Unless that hit, I'll be like Wimp here. Unless that hits, then I'm going to get on there and talk about tackling new cheer, cheerleaders or something. Wimp's fantastic <laughs> on Twitter if you follow him. Um, all right, Stanford changing quarterbacks. And then the question Brown asked Wimp, should Florida be considering it as well? Stanford uh, going to Tanner McKee, McKee replacing Jack West as Stanford gets ready to play USC. Anything there, LT, on the Stanford-USC front where you think Stanford looks better with a quarterback change as they take on USC. Well, the thing that jumped out to me about USC this past weekend, Drake London, you know, a a receiver that I've always loved, had a career-high 12 receptions, and Keontae Ingram, the transfer running back from Texas, I mean, he looked like the part. He looks like a guy that that can carry this offense as far as running the football with Malapai. They'll share carries in the backfield. But Todd Orlando's defense in year two really jumped out. And San Jose State's not a bad team. Nick Starkle's not a bad quarterback, but they really shut down that offense. I just don't think Stanford, based on what I saw against Kansas State, will be able to do anything. Now, I think USC's offense will uh, it will struggle in spots, but Jack West was, I mean, he was terrible against Kansas State. And, you know, he threw a couple of picks, and McKee comes in and leads them to that late touchdown drive. I think David Shaw has to make this move. I don't know if it's going to matter. I don't think Stanford's going to beat USC. It might keep it close. But, but, Brown, that gets you to the question you asked Wimp about Florida. Alabama's coming to town pretty soon. Yep. And Florida has a, a quarterback question, at least in the fans' eyes right now. Well, because I, I don't know about you guys, but in the offseason, the way we talked about this game, I say I don't know about you guys, I literally was with you talking about it. In the whole offseason, the way we talked about this game is Florida is going to get two layups to get Emory Jones comfortable. They're going to play Florida Atlantic. They're going to play South Florida. You get Emory Jones comfortable. And then I always said, and then week three, it it turns into calculus for Emory Jones. We go from basic math to calculus, right? Alabama's defense comes to town. And you get to see a bunch of looks you've never seen. You get pressure like you haven't gotten it. It's it's His world's going to be upside down. I don't even know now if it's going to be Emory Jones. And I don't know what you do if you're Dan Mullen. Well, Anthony Richardson looked good running the football. Emory Jones can run the football, too. Um, Apparently not as good as Richardson. At yeah. least he couldn't Saturday. I don't know. I mean, what do you do? What do you do, Donaway? You beat Dan Mullen. That's what I asked Wimp. Wimp didn't know. Do you, do you just give Emory Jones a ton of snaps against South Florida to try to get his feet under him? Do you s- switch him up to see which one looks best? Do you hand it to Richardson, see how he handles? I don't know what you do. Um, I, Emory Jones won the job for a reason. You don't think that he won it because um, he's just been there a long time, right? Mm-hmm. You, don't, you don't think he. that's why he got the week one start. Was I mean, you see coaches do that sometimes. You do. With the schedule laid out like this, you start the guy who has been with your program for the longest, and then through the process of week one, week two, it becomes obvious that the new guy is your choice for the for the rest of the season. I mean, remember, Jalen Hurts did not start the USC game. Now, he was in quick and never gave it up until Tua took it over. But yeah. you're right, he didn't start that game. It was Blake Barnett. Blake Barnett started. Yeah. Now, it was a little different. Blake was a first-time starter, hadn't been around the program that long. Yeah, that um, was a battle. I mean, that was a quarterback, open quarterback battle there. Yeah. And do you feel like that it hasn't been portrayed as that in no. Florida, right? I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not there, but it has not been portrayed that way. I really don't know what you do here. You know, Emory Jones still has over 100 career attempts. Anthony Richardson has eight. He started three of three against Florida Atlantic, missed his final five throws. The bigger problem for Emory Jones was the two turnovers. 
And against Alabama, obviously you can't go uh, can't do that. But I would rather have the more experienced quarterback and go with Emory Jones. I, I think I would too, especially against Alabama yeah. with with you know they have the ability to do what Georgia did defensively to Clemson when it comes to their unique blitz packages. So in that case, if you're Dan Mullen, you just give Emory Jones a ton of snaps this week and get him in some sort of rhythm that he was not in against Florida Atlantic. If you've watched that game, he was in no kind of rhythm. So you just give him a bunch of snaps against South Florida and hope that that helps him against Alabama. And then against Alabama, if he starts to struggle, I guess you go Richardson. Uh, Brown's going to tell us about Standard for Insurance Agency, and then we'll get into some overreactions uh, from week one. Brandon Marcello with a nice story. Uh, as he writes for 27, 24-7 Sports right there. Overreactions from week one. Stanford in, Stanford for Insurance Agency wants to make sure you don't overreact to accidents that happen in your life. Well, but listen, you got to have the insurance, right? So you may as well be paying the best price you can pay and getting the most for it. So do an insurance checkup with Stanford for Insurance Agency. Auto rates have lowered four times in the last 12 months. So now is a great time to call Jessup Standifer and the Standifer Insurance Group. They've been serving the Southeast for more than 20 years, and they have the right products and the right prices to earn your business. Listen, just call and do an insurance checkup. Say, here's what I got, here's what I'm paying, and let them run the numbers and see if they can save you and get you better insurance in the good hands of Allstate. Today, you can call them, 205-664-3200, 664-3200, or visit them on the web, standerforinsurancegroup.com. Jack says, Dunaway, you don't sound like you think Northern Illinois is going to motorboat them. <laughs> you did not appear very confident. I did not feel very confident. Brett says he's looking forward to the Holy War this week, BYU over Utah. Um, all right there uh, in our chats. We appreciate you watching on YouTube, Periscope, also on Twitch and Facebook Live this morning. As we talk a little college football, week one overreactions. I'm going to read this overreaction from Brandon Marcello, and then you guys overreact for me. You tell me, is this a true feeling or is it an overreaction? All a right. jerk or not? Uh, Brandon Marcello writes, Ed Orgeron getting closer to Gene Chizik territory. Boy, I really do feel Boy. uncomfortable when I read this kind I of know. stuff because I love Gene Chizik so much, but Gene Chizik's rise and fall at Auburn is what we're talking about, not Gene Chizik the human being. Ed Orgeron getting closer to Gene Chizik territory. Yeah. Overreaction no, or real? No, it's real. It's real because you go back to 2019, and even in that moment, people were like, well, Ed Orgeron, he fits at LSU because he's that part. But this is all about Joe Brady and Joe Burrow, and that's what the season was. And then you go back last year, and they go 5-5, five and five, and then they just got physically dominated against UCLA. This is fact. And this is ultimately going to catch up to Ed Orgeron, and I think it might be this year. I don't know if he'll get fired this year, but this looks like a six and six team. Yeah. And coming off a five and five, a six and six, LSU fans aren't going to put up with it. And he's never going to get credit for 2019. He's just not. He's really not. Larry Coker gets mentioned a lot in these types of conversations. Yes. Um, the difference in Larry Coker is he was handed a national championship team. Bush, well, and he was Bush. handed a, a, a just a, a great roster, yeah. too. I think yeah. more the Gene Chizik is. You know, without Cam Newton, yeah. Auburn doesn't win that national championship. Without Joe Burrow, LSU doesn't win that national championship. Because I'll credit Chizik. You know, a lot of people say he had to be dragged kicking and screaming to the altar with Cam Newton, but he eventually, as the head coach, decided to take him. Turned out to be a genius move. Um, whoever dragged him there or whatever Gene Chizik did, Ed Orgeron, you got to give him credit for building that national championship team. He's got to get credit for that. He recruited the players. He hired the assistants. And he let them do their job. I mean, he's got to get credit for that. You, I can understand you not giving Larry Coker credit for that first national champion or that one national championship he won. He was handed a team, right? I think you got to give Orgeron credit for that. So he is more like Gene Chizik in this discussion than Larry Coker. Um, and it didn't fall right off for Coker. It has fallen right off for Orgeron. Yeah. And it and fell right off for like that. Yeah, Mark, who's one of the big LSU fans who is always in our chat room, Sent us a link to a, a show down there. I don't, is it is it the Gordy that does? Did you see the link that Mark sent us? I, I did. I haven't been able to listen to it. Uh, yeah. We'll try in the break here. He told us I, where to listen. Yeah, I, I listened to the part he told me to listen to last night, and I don't I don't know if those guys are the the next round guys of Louisiana or or what. I just know their discussion became Ed Orgeron away from the program. Ed Orgeron is a PR. Yeah. Uh, stumble. Uh, the the CC blue shirt. Uh, what what has been going on in Ed's personal life? Jordy, not Gordy. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. Um, oh, you're thinking of uh, Gordy. Oh, I can't remember the his guy name. who's on the sidelines. Yeah. Yeah. With, uh, yeah, yeah. This is Jordy um, Rush or Jordy Colada. Yeah. Yeah. So Jordy Colada. You, yeah. Are you familiar with Jordy? I, I am not. Um, but but they he talked more about Ed being a a PR 
handle for LSU for everything going away away going on away from him actually coaching the team and those are the kind of things that start to anchor around your neck when you lose football games they do I mean you know look it, it's it's turning bad for Ed Orgeron you I've seen this a million times it, it you know NCAA stuff is out there you'll start getting some chirping this is going to turn south for him and and again, I'll say, we've already seen LSU do this one time. It's how Ed Orgeron got the job. They're not afraid to fire a guy midseason. And early, I mean, yeah. Les Miles got fired. Wasn't that game three against yeah. Auburn? When, when is the Auburn game this year? Because that seems to be a very comfortable time to yeah, do Yeah, I mean, when I think it was game three back then. There is no chance he gets fired in season. Uh, Ed Orgeron? Yeah. Uh, the Auburn game, to answer your question, is, is – um, Game five. And remind me of the buyout again. Game five. Uh, it's 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 in the twenty million dollar neighborhood. Uh, again, but remember NCAA. That's right. That's how you get around these? There is a number of off the field issues yep. right now around LSU that uh, could probably bail them out yep. of some of that money. Can, anyway, uh, can I mention this real quick, Rockstar? Um, you're a creative guy. The show he sent us. They do a weekly hit with Keishawn Boutte. The talented receiver that Lance loves. What do you think they call the segment? So uh, we, oh, let's all guess. Okay, so it's a weekly phone call, and I'm assuming it's like our deal that we yeah. we pay Bo Nix, we pay John Mechie, an NIL deal to come on our show. They're doing this with Keyshawn Boutte, and he joins them over the phone once a week. What do you think they call Boutte the segment? call? Yes, they do. Boutte call. How <laughs> funny is that for our Boutte call? Yeah. Uh, it's our Boutte call. Yes. That's really That's good. good. It's really good. I'll give Jordy Collada and his group credit for that one. Yeah, very good there. Um, thanks for sending that to us, Mark. We'll do more of these uh, overreactions. Brandon throws them out there 24-7 after Rockstar's viewing me and you. We'd love to get some of yours as well in the chat room over there. And also, uh, you can call up the show, 205-734-0923. 205-734-0923. We'll get some of your first week overreactions as well. The show being brought to you by Greg from Pell City and the folks at Storm Restoration Roofing, uh, the most respected roofing contractors in our viewing area. Uh, if you've ever visited with Greg, you know that he's a great guy, personable, and he really cares about his customers. That's why we recommend Storm Restoration Roofing to our friends. I even you know, sent him over to see Rockstar back in the day. Uh, locally owned for over 20 years, A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. You don't get that by taking people's money and not delivering the product. Uh, insurance companies love them, so they have a great working relationship with your insurance company. If you haven't had your roof inspected in the last few years, especially after these recent storms, then Greg Nelson can take care of you. Most likely, Greg's going to be the guy that answers the phone. If not, the person that answers the phone is going to get the message to Greg, and Greg's going to talk to you. 205-542-3531. That number again, 205 205- Five four two three five three one. Hit me up on social media. If you didn't get that number, I'll pass it along to you. Here's what Greg offers you. A free, no-cost inspection. Free, no-cost inspection, no obligation. You can also look up Greg from Pell City on Facebook. It's Storm Restoration Roofing. Follow LT on Twitter at the Lance Taylor. Are you sick of leasing your life away? Ryan Brown here from the next round. Mortgage Right has the cure. With locations nationwide, our friends at Mortgage Right are dedicated to making the home buying process easy. They are eager to offer tips, tools, and a staff of industry professionals to move you in with confidence. So if you're ready to let go of the leasing life and start living life, Mortgage Right can help. Visit mortgageright.com slash TNR to get started. NMLS 2239 Equal Housing Lender. Stop by the New York Butcher Shop and pick up the finest in certified Angus Prime Beef steaks and burgers, premium pork chops, ribs, and all-natural chicken cut to order just for you. Their chef-prepared entrees and side dishes are the perfect dinner-to-go choice for your family and are ready to heat at home. With a great selection of fine wines and desserts, the New York Butcher Shop is your one-stop dinner shop. Two locations to serve you, Cahaba Heights and on Highway 119 in Greystone, the New York Butcher Shop. Rare quality, well-done service. 
Buying a house is stressful. Selling a home is stressful. It's an emotional process leaving your home where you raised your family and moving to the home of your dreams. You need a realtor to help you buy with confidence and sell with success. That realtor is Holly Mack Wilson. She is an experienced realtor who often gets her clients' homes sold quickly and usually for more than asking price. Call Holly Mack Wilson and let her help you buy with confidence and sell with success. 205-901-9446. That's 205-901-9446. Holly Mack Wilson, a Keller Williams Tuscaloosa realtor. A legendary coach once said, it's not the will to win that matters, it's the will to prepare to win. Bryant bankers have the dedication and experience to put together a financial game plan that's right for you. Stop by one of the seven Central Alabama locations today or give them a call at 1-855-4-BRYANT to begin preparing for your financial future today. You'll find out what unbeatable service and legendary results are all about. Bryant Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Start your day online with our website, nextroundlive.com, for the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. It's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. As the tide embarks on their journey to the next title, celebrate with Daniel A. Moore's tributes in oil to the 2020 championship season. Unrivaled is Moore's commemoration of Alabama's national championship beatdown of the Buckeyes. And Heisman Heights portrays Devontae Smith's one-handed catch against LSU. Available individually or as a discounted championship season bundle. Visit DanielMoreArt.com or call 1-800-735-2787 to order your heirloom quality fine art printer canvas today. Hi, this is Wes McClooney, owner of the New Balance Birmingham store. Today I have some tips on how to stay healthy. Number one, get some cardio. Two, get a proper fitting on your shoes to get the most out of that cardio. Our in-store fit specialist will match your feet with the perfect New Balance shoe so you get the perfect fit. Come see us at the New Balance Birmingham store, located on Highway 280 next to Chick-fil-A. Experience the difference a custom fit makes today at New Balance Birmingham. Cool weather is approaching, and now is the time to get your heating system checked out. Excalibur Services excels in all residential heating, cooling, or electrical problems or upgrades you may have in your home. Owned by a Marine veteran, Excalibur uses highly trained HVAC and electrical service experts to ensure the job is done correctly and in a timely manner. If you're looking for a company you can trust to do it right, call Excalibur today at 205-718-8688 or ExcaliburService.com. Excalibur Services, Alabama license number 152. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Gutter Cap. Gutter Cap's that patented aluminum cover system that fits over most existing gutters to keep out debris and eliminate that gutter cleaning. It's back with a lifetime warranty, almost 20 year service record right here in Birmingham. Stay off that dangerous ladder forever. 45% off the retail price now if you call guttercapbirmingham.com. Call my good friend Chris Stewart now, 205 823 2212. Cap it, don't snap it, it's Gutter Cap. Want more of the next round? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast. The Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, and the entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. My apologies to Southern Illinois fans everywhere. Northern Illinois, not the Salukis. It is Southern Illinois. So you, uh, I've landed mine both of them now. In your in your quick homework for the upset alert, you can't even I, find I got, the mascot. Got even, so that tells you how much you should bet on Northern Illinois this week. Oh, this will be the one you hit. This will be the one you, you get mean right, how much you should bet on Wyoming? Yeah, yeah. this yeah. will be the one. No, this will be the one you get right. No, so that's how much you should bet on Northern Illinois. It was a zero the amount of preparation I put in there. Got it. Uh, heavy, heavy Wyoming this week is the way I go. Before we get to Bob and others on our phones and also in the chat room. Let's do our viewing menu today with Rockstar. And it's brought to you every day by a great group of folks at New Life Art. Yeah, New Life Art bringing you memorable sports moments by Daniel A. Moore for over 40 years. You can call for more information, 1-800-735-2787, or just check out his great work today. Go to danielmoreart.com. 9.30 on Reels tonight, Lance's channel. You got ZZ Top. That little old band from Texas. Boy, never a fan. I wasn't no, either. Uh, but uh, I did like the tribute they did when they lost. Was it Dusty, the bassist? He died maybe a month ago, and they right. they played a show 
two two nights later, I think. Dusty would have wanted us to play. Is that what and, they were uh, they with? Had, you know what they had the outfits? They had yeah. his mic stand with his hat on it and a pair of sunglasses uh, that's, with that a spotlight is, on it. Nice. I, do, I do like that. Like that. I so. heard them years ago on the way to the beach. I was listening. They, they were on Howard Stern. They were all in studio. I don't know mm-hmm. if you heard the interview. It yep. was so boring. It is. Well, I mean, they've been going at it for a long, yeah, long time. Yeah, but you would just think guys that have that rock and roll past would have some great stories. We, and it was just You know what I love about Lance? is that he's not afraid to speak ill of the dead. <laughs> <laughs> dead and buried. Dead and gone. Like, like a whole I, segment on it. Like, like well, wait, t- wait till you go, Donald. I know. That's what I was about to, I was about to take say. take a piss on your grave. <laughs> I was about to say that. Is that I was in the room yesterday. You're going to piss Brian Denny? <laughs> I was, I was, <laughs> is that where they're going to bury him? <laughs> <laughs> I was in the room yesterday when someone was asking Brown to speak at a funeral. That is correct. I I sta- got, I'm doing that tomorrow. Mm. And I started, mm, thinking of, I started thinking about my end. And if I would want Brown to speak at my funeral, and I was like, would you? well, of the show, <laughs> it may be Forrester in the lead right now. Um, I don't know why. His Lance, your casket would be sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no doubt we'd have three commercial reads. You're going to say Maggie could speak if she didn't have a um, book or wine club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I Tuesday's going to be hard for me, honey. But I, can't do it. <laughs> but I know, I know who would not speak, and that would be LT. No, he'll, 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 the Rockstar's right. He won't have time to speak. He'll just have it sold. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it'll be sponsored. Because he wouldn't say anything good about me. Um, oh. Well, Dunaway, Dunaway finally hit his target weight of 166. <laughs> <laughs> That's I exactly would have to corner weigh you. <laughs> you. <laughs> the corner. Uh, All right. Then of, course, of course he dies when I'm four stakes off. <laughs> 9 p.m. on A&E, you got a new show. Lance would like this. Neighborhood Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Got with a blower with a record number of Americans trading city life for homes in the suburbs. Relationships between neighbors are being put to the test. Neighborhood Wars takes viewers into the homes and backyards of neighbors across the country with some of the most unexpected and emotionally charged events caught on camera. Yeah. Now, something about well, this me would be great, but something about me, I have, I am not the type of person if I see an argument across the street from my house that's right getting violent, inside, right inside, to put my phone out and, yep. and record it. Oh. I am not that person. I, I just, I go inside. Let so them it's just it. they have all this camera yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's amazing the instincts people have now to pull out the phones. I mean, Dunaway, you were showing videos of, of fights over this past weekend. I mean, you know, it's in different stadiums. Any stadium fight we get, you get about five or six different viewpoints. Yeah. It's like, I mean, there's, there's, it's and like nobody's a, trying to break it up. It's uh, I got to film this. It's so. a six camera shoot. Well, I mean, I've right, decided I'm not breaking it up because the guy who tried to break it up at Memphis. Oh, he got pummeled. He's the one yeah. that got hit the hardest. You know, I, I, was, I just don't even think about it. First of all, I can't get my camera on that quick, yeah. but I just don't and think about doing. You got to do uh, landscape. You're doing portrait. There, there you go. There's right. a really good I'll documentary HD. on HBO right now about 9 11. So the 20th anniversary is coming up this Saturday. And when I was watching that, I was thinking about cell phones now because, you know, the footage that you've got is really shaky and there's so much chaos and everybody running around. But just imagine how many different angles you would have gotten if if something like that happened in the age of the cell phone. I'm kind of thankful we don't have that, you know? Yeah, probably so. That's what Rockstar is watching tonight, brought to you by our friends at New Life Art there. All right, Bob's in Illinois. He's uh, next with us on the phones. You can always be part of the show. 205 734 0923. Good morning to you, Bob. How are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? Great. Uh, first off, I hope all are well. And I really, really, really love the new platform, gentlemen. It's great. Oh, well, thank, thank you, Bob. Thank you very much, Bob. Appreciate it. Nice that. of you to say. I listen to you guys on the app every morning. Of course, kind of weird starting at nine instead of six but okay hey it's y'all's deal do it the way you want to <laughs> and with with that being said i mean obviously i'm a big fan but uh y'all have a nice vulcan day and have a great race to your show <laughs> vulcan is the word there he said uh i appreciate that bob thank you that's nice yeah and i like the way you worked in was it was that 107 Back in the day, nice. The X? That was a uh, Beener and Ken's line, right? Yep. I think that was one hundred seven seven. The X still then. Beener and Ken. Yep. Everything was Vulcan. Yep. Have a nice Vulcan day. Yeah. Your Vulcan temperature is ninety eight Vulcan degrees. That's right. Oh, yeah. Beener and Ken, yeah. former co-workers of ours. Beener and Ken. Where Where are Beener and Ken? I don't know. You know, no because idea. Tuttle and Klein followed them, and yep, they, they went did. to Houston, and I think Klein just retired, if I'm not mistaken. I liked Tuttle and Klein better. The meter and Ken? I mean, just is the is, is like the show? meeting them. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, yeah. just like hanging out with them. Yeah. Boy, if you just take old, old um, morning shows and just turn them into like menu items, 
Would you rather have a Beaner and Ken or a Tuttle and Clyde? Beaner and Ken sounds like <laughs> what a about hot Luca. Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> fish and, fish and chips. <laughs> wow, brown. But she's brown. British, Jim. <laughs> fish and oh, chips. Okay, okay. My gosh. Hey, <laughs> really? When has there been a Luca spotting? Because uh, I ran across her. Um, oh, years and years. It's probably been a decade since. Oh, I've that, seen her. there's your last call. You can oh, get Luca. Oh, yeah. yeah. LT. Yeah. LT. <laughs> That's a great one. <laughs> if you could get Luca to do last call. I used to have her number, but I, I have, think I I have still. no idea. That would be the her. Birmingham version of, of doing down or interviewing downtown you know what? Julie Brown. I, I, we've actually got a, a common uh, friend we do. slash client that was married to her. Oh, oh wow. okay. <laughs> I was, I was, Luca was married? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, so um, I can reach out to him. And I also. There's somebody you also know that's got a connection with her that you're not thinking of. I'll tell you in the break. Okay. I think we might track Luca down. <laughs> wow. John says Luca was a Hellcat. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't going to read all that. <laughs> Shout out to Dugan. So. Hey, you know, it's it. funny that John says that because we've got a common friend and he had an interesting encounter with Luca and it was at Dugan's. If you could get Luca on the, I would like to hear that interesting encounter. But if you, Everybody's got a place where they know your name, LT. <laughs> if you she could, might have had two. If you could get her on the last call to admit she's not really British and she is from Coleman, wasn't that always the rumor about her? I think so, but they, she she never broke character when I worked. Yeah, I mean, we she worked with her the accent well. Yeah, we worked with her for numerous years, mm-hmm. and never once did I hear her not speak British. I, I did like a, a good accent. I did a couple remotes with her, and this is this uh, at Gabriel's. We did a couple remotes, and uh, it's just her and I, and she's still talking in the accent. Yeah, like, it's just her and I. I mean, if she was legit putting on an act, she never once came out of character that I saw. Hello, me lovely. Do you guys remember? Well, I, I guess you were probably on the show with me, and we had her in studio. It was the old roundtable format forever ago. And some guy sent over, you'll love this, on a fax machine, and it had Luca's name, and it had one of those, you know, with the yeah, X. Yeah, the, like the Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah. please get rid of her. <laughs> you <laughs> faxing, took yeah, up your fax that's, that. that's all it did. Then somebody, no. like an intern, ran back the fax to me when she was in <laughs> studio. <laughs> I mean, that is, that's pretty pretty. you got to yeah. look up the fax number. Right. And know how to run the fax machine. Yeah. Oh, our own Forrester interned for Luca at 103.7 forever ago. Well, Scott Forrester he's got did? a story. Yeah. I didn't know Scott Forrester did that. I would like yeah. to hear that. You know, I, it seems like when I went over to his house when he was moving, right? He had a t shirt on, or maybe he posted the t shirt when he found it when he was moving of back in his 103.7 days. Interning for Luca. He mentioned that. Way I guess I, I forgot Luca worked for the Q because. I just remember her from her uh, from the X days. I mean, X she was days. probably at that one for that moment in time for like a year, the, maybe the most popular radio DJ back in yeah, the day. Because she worked for the X, and maybe she went to the Q because we brought her back. We uh, back when we used to work for Cumulus, um, she came back at one point. Like she had two separate stints there, so maybe she was at the Q in between. Um, I met a lady last night at Walk-Ons who. Her family came from Egypt. Are you going Cal Ripken streak at walk-ons, by the way? <laughs> so, <laughs> Jim, we turn out the lights again. Yeah. Well, that's what Ben says. Uh, after Jim's funeral, everybody dinner at walk-ons. <laughs> Where's Jim? Um, we'll have your urn so, right there. On the so the, this lady, uh, she was at the Brittany Wagner book signing, and she was Brittany's neighbor. And she, her family's from Egypt. And her dad was a professor in Tuscaloosa. And they had come over from Egypt. Um, and a young family, and he, to get used to the American life, would watch TV. You know, they were Egyptian, the Egyptian family, and he watched Tee Haw. They watched Tee Haw because they were moving to Alabama. <laughs> and that's that's that a culture one. shock. Uh, you, are she, le- you are legit being led on on this. No, There's no she, way this is she true. did, and she goes, he developed a crazy, crazy respect for Daisy Dukes watching that show. But she oh, knew. The, she yeah. knew well, how all, could you not? Yeah. She she knew the gloom despair song oh, and everything. It, it's awful. funny you bring that up. So I had the kids over last night. We got that fire stick from our friend Thomas, who sent it out. Big shout, shout out, out Thomas. Thomas. Thank yeah. you so much. How's that going to work on the Pac-12 network? You already tried it. Yeah. So we've already got it set up. Right, but the good. funny thing is, you've got channels from all over the world, and so I'm sitting there with the kids, and we put on um, this Filipino channel, and it's a cooking show, huh. and it's all dubbed in English. But you can see the mouths moving kind of like you did yesterday, the old karate yeah. movies. Um, but, you know, w- watching that, um, I can only imagine somebody coming over from Egypt in the early 80s and watching Hee Haw. Well, you know, John Rom learned English by listening to rap. 
you know, he's from Spain, John Rahm is, and he came to Arizona State to play golf and did not have much English at all, and he listened to rap to learn English. And oh, Sheeran had, yeah. a, had a stutter until he started rapping. Listen, listening to rap. Yeah. Interesting. Hey, he's the opening concert for your guys tomorrow night, Ed Sheeran. Do you know that? Really? Yeah, opening concert for Tampa and uh, Dallas. I don't know when he's going to do it, but Fitting. he's part of the NBC. Yeah. Your boy Ed Sheeran. Hey, I heard it again today. <laughs> Much like Ed Sheeran, we're a little overrated this year, the Buccaneers. <laughs> I heard we'll, it again today, 17-0. and 0. We'll talk about uh, the MVP and the start of the NFL season in a second. But back to the Marcello story after uh, LT tells us about the fine folks at Precision Sports. Uh, yeah, Dunaway, my computer locked up, so you just have to give me one sec here. Um, our friends at Precision Sports, though, Affiliated with Brookwood Baptist Health, Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics, nine convenient locations, including the Southern Orthopedic Sports Medicine Association's location right there in Jasper. Now with 14 total providers, you can make that same-day appointment for orthopedic and sports medicine care. Call 855-219-6200 or visit them online, precisionsportsortho.com. Another overreaction, according to Brandon Marcello, 24-7 Sports, is that the top-tier teams in the Pac-12 will be fine after this weekend they'll all be fine after this weekend um oregon washington usc utah they'll all be fine arizona state they'll all be fine um well, i mean oregon's gonna be one and one i think i don't know about utah byu That's and a tough washington game. could easily be zero and two yeah i mean usc is gonna be fine after this week they are i mean they're gonna beat stanford but and fine for the rest of the way is what he's yeah. saying oh, oh what you, okay, what you saw you in the first week what you saw in the first week i mean obviously the pac-12 I, I north disagree. was a hot mess one and yeah. five well, he's saying it's an overreaction that people say they're going to be fine. You know, oh, it's an overreaction, gotcha. so he would agree with you. Yeah, they're not yeah. going to be fine. So, you know, when we had uh, Brock Heward on, I don't know, months ago when we were talking about the Pac-12, he said, I see a lot of nine-win teams. And yeah, boy, really, he seems right. You start to look at this. I mean, the Pac-12 North was one in five opening week. I don't think they're that bad. Um, but, you know, some bad losses. I mean, obviously, Washington was the worst. Stanford got dominated. Cal to lose to Nevada. Um Again, I just don't see a dominant team in the Pac-12 this year. Yeah. Another one he says is that Georgia is missing something again, that that's an overreaction. Do you guys agree that Georgia is missing something? Or or is it, hey, they're playing a fantastically great team in Clemson, and that's going to make your offense look pedestrian as well? I think what they are missing is that legit field-stretching, game-breaking wide receiver. Three starting receivers out. By yeah, the way, well, yeah. I mean, the injuries in the offseason yeah. cost them three starting so, receivers. So maybe when those guys are back, they've got it. But, I mean, did you, you watch that game? Who did they have that could stretch the field against Clemson? I, mean, I don't see a Todd Gurley. I don't see a Nick Chubb. I mean, Zamir White's going to be good. James Cook, Kendall Milton. I mean, these are guys that can run the football. Yeah, they're fine running the ball. But but I still I don't see one of those game breakers, you know, yeah. a dominant NFL first-round guy in the same at wide receiver. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't see an A.J. Green yep. uh, or even a George Pickens with I'm that with kind you. of potential. Um, when you're without George Pickens, Dominic Blaylock, Kyrus Jackson, and you don't know when you're getting any of those back. I mean, it could be midseason Washington, at Gilbert. the end or I not mean, at all. A lot of guys out. A lot of guys out for that Georgia passing game. So hard to open up the run against Clemson when you don't have some passing. That's Brandon Marcello, 24-7 Sports, always one of my favorite reads. And speaking of reads, the morning rounds every day around 8 o'clock gets posted every morning right there at nextroundlive.com. You get a chance to some easy clicks of some of our favorite stories uh, every morning right there. When we come back, well, we continue the conversation about football, but we flip it to the NFL a little bit. The season starts Thursday night with Cowboys, Buccaneers, and we'll talk about the MVP race. Is it Pat Mahomes and everybody else, or is there a couple other guys that can be in the mix when the next round comes back? Follow Brownie on Twitter and Instagram at Ryan Brown Live. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round. I'm absolutely loving my Alfa Romeo Stelvio that I've been in for months now. And right now, you can get up to $3,500 bonus cash plus 1.9% financing for 72 months on the all-new 2021 Alfa Romeo Julia's and the Stelvio's in Alfa Romeo of Birmingham. Come experience the passion and performance of Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo USA of Birmingham.com, 1837 Grants Mill Road, exit 27, right off of I-459. 
A legendary coach once said, it's not the will to win that matters, it's the will to prepare to win. Bryant bankers have the dedication and experience to put together a financial game plan that's right for you. Stop by one of the seven Central Alabama locations today or give them a call at 1-855-4-BRYANT to begin preparing for your financial future today. You'll find out what unbeatable service and legendary results are all about. Bryant Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at HydroLive Therapy. Boost your immune system today with HydroLive Therapy. IV therapy, B12 injections, cryotherapy, and compression therapy all under one roof. Mention next round at checkout. Save 20% off any service at the Birmingham and Tuscaloosa locations. If you're unable to make it to HydroLive, a nurse can actually come to your home or office. You can visit them online today, hydrolivetherapy.com. HydroLive Therapy open seven days a week, Homewood 9 to 6 in Tuscaloosa. Calusa 10 to 6. Take a second to listen to me. Do you have problems sleeping? Is your energy down? Your workouts not the same? Is your libido down? Your problem could be as simple as low testosterone. Whatever the challenge, the Alabama Men's Clinic has a solution. You can come in, get a medical consultation and blood work. If medically advised and you start your low T treatments that day in the office, your visit is free. Set up that appointment by calling 205-598-7000 or go to the website alabamamensclinic.com. Another side effect could be depression, and most men wait a year or longer before ever getting tested. The goal line to better sleep, more energy, a rekindled love life, and more may be as simple as getting your low T checkup at Alabama Men's Clinic. Located in Birmingham to serve you, the number again, 205-598-7000 or one click at alabamamensclinic.com. That's alabamamensclinic.com. I can't say it simpler than this. Way to Wellness saved my life. I'm Jim Dunaway, and the Way to Wellness program helped me lose 45 pounds and get my blood pressure and cholesterol in check. You can do it, too. Go to the website, aplanforme.com. No cookie-cutter plan. Everything is designed for you. The program is overseen by board-certified professionals. There are no contracts. There are no sign-up fees, and you get a free consultation. The website is aplanforme.com. Tell them you want a plan like Jim. Way to Wellness, your journey to healthy living. Hey, if you're looking for a local agent to handle all of your insurance needs, you need to call my good friend James Anthony at the James Anthony Agency, 205-985-7717. Hoover, Birmingham, Northport, and Tuscaloosa has been in business over 20 years. The James Anthony Agency. This hour of the next round is brought to you by Excalibur Services, a name you can trust when it comes to residential heating, AC, and electrical services. Excalibur is growing and looking for exceptional HVAC techs, plumbers, and electricians. 205-718-8688. Alabama license number 15214. How do you know you're in a community, not just a town? Well, strangers smile as they walk by. They refill your coffee without you asking. And when you ask directions, people offer to walk you there. Communities give more. The way you know when you walk into First Bank that you are in a real community bank. Great products, direct access to your local bankers, and relationships that can last a lifetime. Don't just have an account. Have a community with First Bank. Member FDIC. Hey, interesting note from uh, Brandon Marcello. Top NCAA, NCAA athletes on Cameo right now. Far and away, number one, Montana Fouts, pitcher, Alabama. I always said, man, everybody said, oh, this is just going to benefit your starting quarterbacks in football. And I'm like, man, people can be industrious and make a lot of this NIL. And and the Olympic sports can benefit too. And that just shows you. I don't know what she's making off of it, but it's more than she was. No, but that's such a specialized sport. You think about how many guys that you know that have daughters that play travel Correct. softball. And when you get somebody like that, that they're all aware, you get mm-hmm. some of these brands. I mean, I don't know what the big brands in softball, you know, the, the, I don't know what the equivalent to Easton and Mizuno and, and things like that are, but you get somebody that behind Montana Fouts, she can make a lot of money. Part of our show brought to you by our friends at Gutter Cap. Hey, it's a patent aluminum cover system that fits over most existing gutters to keep out that debris, eliminate the gutter cleaning forever. It's back with a lifetime warranty, almost 20 year service record right here in Birmingham. Stay off that dangerous ladder forever. Call my good friend, Chris Stewart now, 205-823-2212. 
45% off the retail price. GutterCapBirmingham.com. Cap it, don't snap it. It is gutter cap. So is it is it Patrick Mahomes and everybody else in the MVP race? Brown, you first. Is it Patrick Mahomes' year well, to bounce back? I mean, he's obviously the favorite, but there are so many times where I think being the favorite means you've got a level of expectation you've got to live up to. And our expectation of Patrick Mahomes is very, very high. I, I, in fact, I don't know what, what much more he could do, Lance, to exceed your expectations. He is so good that if he just has a phenomenal year, it almost only meets your expectations. Yeah, your favorite right now, at least money-wise, I and mean, Patrick Mahomes is your favorite, but money that is coming in is a lot of this is on Josh Allen. I've told you guys you know, weeks ago that I think the second-best team in the NFL right now is the Bills. I've got a feeling the Bills will reach the Super Bowl. Second-best team behind Kansas City? Yeah, okay. I would still would go with Kansas City just because of Mahomes. But Josh Allen elevated his game with Stephon Diggs. That addition was huge for him. Elevated his game to becoming an elite quarterback. Now can he elevate it to become the best player in the league, at least for this year? Can I, can I backtrack one more time? Second best team in the AFC or second best team in the NFL? Well, you the think? AFC is much better than the NFC. So I would say the second best team in the NFL okay. is the Buffalo Bills. I just wanted to, I wanted yeah. to make sure I had, had that right. But I do think the Bills, under Sean McDermott, the way they have built this, I think it is their year to get to the Super Bowl. We'll see. Um, and I, I kind of lean that Josh Allen is going to be, if he stays healthy, he's going to be your MVP. Okay. I think it's a good pick. So let's take Josh off the table and Patrick Mahomes off the table. Uh, is it is it is it Aaron Rodgers at that point? Where do you go at that point after you've taken the betting favorite and the Vegas favorite off the board right well, now? Well, Rodgers is your reigning MVP. Um, I don't know. Hard to go back to back. I mean, look, if it wasn't my team, it, it is interesting because Matt Stafford has put up monster numbers, and he's got weapons, and he's got the best play caller he's ever played for. You guys would give me that. Yeah. And in a 17-game season, I saw Peter King posted that he could throw for close to 6,000 yards. He's got Matt Stafford as his MVP. 18-1 to 1 in Vegas right now. And I was about to bring that up, Dunaway. That's kind of that, that good number where you're getting some value there. If you think Matthew Stafford can stay healthy and they can win 10 or 11 games, Matthew Stafford will put up monster numbers. I, if I had s just a little more faith in their team, and I think this is – we touched on this division yesterday. I think this is going to be a little bit of a yucky division this year. If I had a little more faith in the Titans, I'd say Derrick Henry. I mean, I mean, it's hard to argue. That running he, back, okay. Well, but it's hard to argue that he's not one of the most valuable players in the NFL. Oh, without a doubt. And it's I, I, if Tennessee were going to be any better, the numbers he, he would put up as often as they give it to him, I think he could win it. Well, with the addition of Julio, Ryan Tannehill's turned into one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL. He's not an elite quarterback, but he's good enough to get you to a Super Bowl based with the weapons he's got around him. With the addition of Julio Jones, they've just got to fix the defense. But you bring up De Derrick Henry, he's got the best odds of any non-quarterback at 50-1. to 1. Yeah, I mean, that's still a long shot. It's a quarterback's award. All right, some more contenders for the MVP as we start the NFL season after Brown tells us about the great folks at Nichols Outfitters. For camping and outdoor essentials and accessories, there is no better place to find it than Nichols Outfitters in Pelham. Rooftop, ground tents, coolers and fridges, lighting equipment, and more. Nichols Outfitters is your answer with the best customer service staff in all Alabama. They'll help you make the most of the outdoors. Off exit 242 I-65 in Pelham. Visit them in store or online, NicholsOutfitters.com. Over on Twitch, Alabama boss says Russell Wilson. And you wonder where Russ is right now in his career and what where Seattle is right now. Well, when I start to look at quarterbacks, I still think, obviously, Mahomes is your best quarterback. Right now, I still think Russell Wilson might be a better overall quarterback than Josh Allen. Russell Wilson's still a top three to five quarterback. I don't think there's any doubt. I just wonder about the entirety of the Seattle team. Now, Jamal Adams was a different difference maker on the defensive side of the ball. Um, it's just such a loaded division. And to me, San Francisco is probably the best team now that they're healthy. The Rams are right there with them. Seattle's right behind the Rams. And Arizona's good. You went running back. Do we ever get a wide receiver It'd MVP? Be so hard because for a wide receiver to do it, the quarterback's got to throw right. him the ball. And I mean, we used to say that about the Heisman. And as great as Mac Jones was, Devontae Smith won the Heisman. And that's why I bring it up. Yeah. We just saw the receiver get it done over the quarterback. At Alabama, would you? I mean, Devontae would, Adams would, take? would 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 maybe be that guy because you know he is that that one major weapon for Aaron Rodgers. I can't think of another one. 
I mean, DeAndre Hopkins is probably still your best wide receiver, but he's not going to get it with Kyler Murray. I mean, if the, there's no way Tariq Hill gets it without it going to no. Patrick Mahomes. And, and I don't see Hill as a guy that's going to give you, you know, 9, 10, 11 receptions. You know, Kelsey's going to be more of that guy that's going to have, you know, more receptions. Tyreek is going to be the guy that, you know, gives you that 75-yard touchdown every other game. There are some older guys, one older guy, but both former MVPs. Tom Brady obviously won a Super Bowl. You always wonder about the vote that an MVP ends up, you know, a, a lifetime achievement award to give him one more MVP, um, like you've seen happen with LeBron before in the NBA. And then there's Lamar Jackson, who just his style of play makes for some wow moments. Both of those guys, former MVPs. What do you think about those two? Let me start with Tom Brady. Uh, Dan Orlovsky this morning on Get Up. I've gotten back into this wormhole of watching that because I'm, I'm getting a workout in and I, I just throw it on the TV when yeah, I'm doing you that. You put it on ESPN without thinking what's yeah, going and, yeah. and Orlovsky today, I, I brought up the 17-0. and 0. He thinks 17-0 and 0 is possible for your box. He also <laughs> I'll be happy thinks, with 1-0. and 0. <laughs> He truly believes Tom Brady could have the best season of his career. Let's not forget about 2007, <laughs> really? by the way. Really? And he thinks Tom Brady could break that single-season touchdown record this year. Where, where are people getting this 17-0 and 0 stuff with Tampa? A team no that... Idea was kind of fortunate to make the playoffs last year. Vegas has got their team total at 10 and a half or 11. At 17 and 0. First of all, we've never had a 17 game season. So let's just start there. This is That's the first right. time a team will ever have to do this. Tom Brady's got weapons, full 22 coming back from Super Bowl champion team. I don't think there's any chance he wins the MVP. Another one I would look at, the best player in the league, Mahomes is great. Aaron Donald's the best player in the league. Yeah, yeah. I was going to ask you about a defensive player that could do it. Donald Puts yeah. up the numbers. I mean, look, look if, again, if the Rams win 12, yeah. 13 games and he has 15 sacks as an interior defensive lineman, he's 125 to 1. Talking about value. Yeah. Put Eight, 100 bucks on that. 18 to 1 or below is all the people we talked about. Dak Prescott is 16 to 1. He and the Buccaneers, Cowboys, Dak Prescott, Tom Brady, Buccaneers tomorrow night in the first game of the NFL. We'll talk to Justin Hokus and a little Auburn football coming up in a second. LT will tell you about ship happens when you've got a ship something, you go to ship happens. And today's ever-changing market, your supply chain is a major factor in maintaining and growing relationships with your customers. Safe, on-time, and affordable shipments are crucial. With over 20 years combined experience and relationships, Jeff and Griffin at Ship Happens have the ability to get ship done from LTL, van, flatbed, heavy haul, and expedited. Ship Happens is ready to bring a solution to all of your transportation problems. Don't have an accident and ship yourself. Call the guys at Ship Happens, 205-605-8101. Ben Volan, who covers the Patriots, tweets out the coverage map for the CBS late game on Sunday. Kansas City, Cleveland, available to the entire country. New England, Miami, in New England, in Florida, and Birmingham, Alabama. And in Alabama. Yeah. And, uh, that's believable. That's a smart move by CBS. Thank you to CBS 42 there. They knew what they were doing selecting that game. Sorry, Kansas City Cleveland fans. But. Yeah, yeah. Go, go, <laughs> go check out one of our great sponsors <laughs> and, and watch the game. Hey, when we come back, Justin Hokinson, Auburn Live on three sports. He's next with us. The reaction from inside the locker room and coming out of Auburn's big win over Akron. Now it's Alabama State, and then it's the whiteout in prime time. Auburn feeling good. We'll gauge it with hope next. Follow Dunaway on Twitter and Instagram at Jim Dunaway. You know that sound anywhere. It's the crisp crunch of that first nacho chip with its perfect cheese to sour cream ratio sitting atop a layer of delicious beans. It's a sip away from perfection. That's what we're looking for. Add a delicious, refreshing Pepsi, and we've achieved absolute nacho nirvana. Because while you can pile those nachos high with every spicy, cheesy, savory topping, there's no topping a cool Pepsi finish. Nachos, better with Pepsi. That's what I like. At Amfirst, you always come first, especially during this summer of freedom. That's why they're offering their very best rates to members right now. So you can hit the road and see it all with an even lower auto loan. And while you're feeling so free, you'll get even more for free from Amfirst, like free gas when you refinance your car, free rewards on checking, and the chance to get more free in giveaways and prizes. Amfirst is making your summer freer than ever because this is your summer, the summer of freedom at Amfirst. For more information, visit them online, amfirst.org slash promotions. Available to qualifying members only. Certain restrictions apply. Amfirst is an equal housing lender, NMLS number 403456. Federally insured by the NCUA. No purchase necessary. 
For complete offer details and rules, call 1-800-633-8431 or visit them online for more information. Go to Amfirst.org. Again, go online, Amfirst.org. The Double Down Media Podcast family is live and full of content for all ages. The Mystery Fifth Hour gives the next round host a chance to talk about everything but sports. Pour a glass of Bama and Bourbon, our weekly college football conversation, while sipping on some of the most interesting pours in the bourbon world. And in our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, LT takes off the gloves for in-depth conversations with stars like Taylor Hicks, presented by Redmont Vodka. Find these podcasts and more by searching The Next Round on Apple, Spotify, and on our website, nextroundlive.com. Nothing to do tonight. Want to bet? It's nonstop gaming action at the Birmingham Racecourse Casino. You'll find the latest and greatest games featuring fun bonuses and big jackpots. Wager and win on horse and greyhound races from all over the world. And try your luck on our popular sports parlay promotion. Don't miss your chance to win at the Birmingham Racecourse Casino. Located off I-459, exit 31. Must be 21 or older. This hour of the next round is brought to you by Excalibur Services, a name you can trust when it comes to residential heating, AC, and electrical services. Excalibur is growing and looking for exceptional HVAC techs, plumbers, and electricians. 205-718-8688. Alabama license number 15214. Win your tailgates this year with Champy's world-famous fried chicken. Fresh to order and worth the wait, you can dine in or use their call-ahead drive through At Champy's, you get southern staples like chicken on a stick and Mississippi Delta homemade hot tamales. They're the best I've ever tasted. See it all on Line or order at championschicken.com. You can mix it up with po' boys, tenders, and those full fried chicken plates. Right on Highway 119 in Alabaster, it's fresh and worth the drive on your way to the beach or the big game. Order online right now at championschicken.com. All right, guys, I don't know about you, but there is one game I don't ever want to be out of, and that's why I'm glad we have the Alabama Men's Clinic right here in Birmingham. They have treated thousands of Alabama men for ED. There are many different causes like a heart condition, diabetes, a reaction to medication, or simply low testosterone. The Alabama Men's Clinic staff will find the problem, and some of you will be back in the game the day after your first appointment. You can set up that appointment by calling 205-598-7000 or go to the website, alabamamensclinic.com. I know what you're thinking. A lot of guys actually just take a pill, but sometimes that pill doesn't work or it can give you unwanted side effects. Let the pros come up with your game plan. There's no need to wait. Depression, anxiety, a new connection with that special person in your life. It could be all just one important play away. Call 205-598-7000 or get back in the action at alabamamensclinic.com. Start your day online at nextroundlive.com. Get all the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. And it's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, The next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. All right, hour number three of the show, always brought to you by the great folks at Champy's Chicken Highway 119 in Alabaster. A lot of you are swinging by there and getting your tailgate food or party food. Uh, We had a to-go order that we picked up to watch a little football on Saturday for week one. Enjoyed those unbelievable tamales there, the Mississippi Delta-style tamales, chicken on a stick. Champy'sChicken.com, so easy to order it, and then you just go right through their easy pickup line, their little drive through around the building. Or you can sit there and watch it on TV, the games, enjoy the blues, the brews, and the bird. Highway 119 in Alabaster, Champy'sChicken.com. It is Champy's World Famous Chicken, bringing you this hour of the next round. More phone calls coming up later at 205-734-0923. But Auburn off to a good start, and everybody already fast-forwarding to week three, that trip to Penn State. Yeah, let's talk more about Auburn football and some basketball news. It was unfortunate with Justin Hokinson on 3SportsAuburnLive.com is with us now on the Pepsi Hotline. Hoke, what's up, man? How are you? I'm doing well. How are you guys doing? Doing wonderful. Thanks a lot. Um, Boy, there was a lot of good to take out of a win over Akron. Um, for Auburn, Bo Nix was with us Monday in his weekly visit with us, and he's probably, 
That's probably as good as he's looked in an Auburn uniform. I'm not a great opponent, but as good as he's looked. Yeah, I mean, certainly 20 to 22, uh, 90 percent. I mean, he hadn't top 60 in his first two years. So uh, I don't think anybody expected that, regardless of the opponent. Um, I, I, I think everybody probably didn't think he, they looked quite as sharp as they did. Um, and so I think that's a good takeaway. I mean, it was a team that, look, all you're looking for Auburn right now is, hey, are they – are they dialed in? Are they are they focused on what the new staff is trying to do? Um, and I think they are. I mean, uh, no, you know, a couple of penalties, no turnovers, um, and look really sharp across the board. You can only you can only do what you can do against the opponents in front of you, and and they did that. Akron's really bad. They're they're worse than I thought they would be watching them. They're just not they're not good. Um, but Auburn did what you're supposed to do uh, against a team that's not good. And, and they thoroughly dominated the game. So Auburn's looking to gain confidence, build confidence. They'll, they'll try to do the same this week. And then you go find out what you got at Penn State. When you don't allow a third down conversion in the first half and you have five straight touchdown drives, you're up 37 nothing at half, you're up 53 after uh, the third quarter, it's hard to find a negative. But if you had to dig, was there was there any negative for Auburn coming out of this game at all? Oh, boy. I mean, the only negatives to me would be just, you know, maybe you want certain positions or certain certain players on your team to get tested before, you, you know, maybe they'll get tested this week. So I look at the secondary and go, hey, did, did they get tested much? Uh, did, how much did I find out about them? I don't know. Um, and so it's not like necessarily a big negative. It's just as a, I'm sure as a coaching staff, those first few games, you want to find out as much as you can. And I just don't know if these first two teams are going to challenge them in, in certain areas the way that they need to be challenged. You know, even even Bo Nix's 20 of 22, if you go back and look, you know, a couple of those throws could have been more accurate. And against SEC cornerbacks, they're going to have to be. I mean, some, some of them were, you know, those SEC corners are going to be right on you. So, like, there's little things that you can nitpick um, in terms of negative. I mean, but there's not a, not a lot. I mean, Akron had a, a little tiny bit of success running the ball in the first quarter and then the game got out of hand and they, and they couldn't do it anymore. So maybe you go back and look at a, a few of the runs they had and then it just, and then they, you know, they got out of hand and had to start throwing and got sacked and it, it got out of control. But so from a negative standpoint, I think it's just looking at, Hey, what, what are some positions and some, and some, and some schemes and formations that we didn't really get to find out much information about. We didn't really get tested. Um, and so maybe you can get tested against Alabama state. If not, you're rolling into happy Valley with, you know, maybe a secondary that hasn't faced any adversity at all. You know, that, that, that's kind of the only thing I would look at as, as really a negative. Uh, I, I've, I've watched Nick Saban over the years, Hoke, play in games like the one coming up, play starters for a half, and then a drive at least coming out to start the third quarter. Uh, he doesn't like to break up that halftime routine and preparing at halftime and coming out and getting a drive in. Do you have a feel for Brian Harson and his coaching staff, how he'll approach this week's game uh, with a guy like Tank Bigsby, who's such a vital part of what Auburn wants to do this season? Yeah, Tank's probably one of the very few guys, maybe the only guy, you know, maybe somebody like Owen Papo or Zacoby McLean and Tank. I mean, that, that's kind of your only three guys that I would say, hey, they don't necessarily need the reps. Take them out. Make sure they're healthy. I think everybody else, man, even Bo Nix, I think they need reps in, in the offense and the defense, even if it's it's against Alabama State. Um, you know, especially going into Penn State, I, I think they need all the confidence and the uh, and the repetitions they can get. So I'm kind of with you on a few of those players. I think Tank's a guy that you, you could probably not worry about, and Owen Papo. But there's a few that you're like, hey, those guys have got to be healthy. They have to. But but everybody else, man, I think. Into the end of the third quarter, maybe halfway through the third quarter at least, I would be, I would be letting them play a lot of football, um, and, and 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 get as many reps as they can, going into Penn State because just you know you just never know. There's still a lot of new stuff, new schemes, and new things that you could throw out there and let them run in game action, um, to, to get to get them work. I mean, there's still a lot to learn for those guys. So outside of a few guys, I'd play I'd play everybody into the third quarter, and I think. I mean, I think Harson will think like that. I mean, he's he's all about the little things and, and preparation and, and the details. And so I, I know he wants to keep guys healthy, but I also think he's looking at it like we need to get these guys, you know, um, prepared and ready to play. And I think I think playing a little bit more football will do that.
Justin Hokinson is with us, AuburnLive.com, part of On3 Sports. You can follow Hoke on Twitter, at underscore J Hokinson. Uh, he is with us on the Pepsi Hotline. Give me your guess on tight end receptions. I think you sent the tweet, and I tried to remember it. So in the Malzahn era, Lutzen Kirkin had the biggest tight end year. Do you remember how many total receptions he had in that season? Yeah, it was 24, and okay. I think it was 2011. All right, so 24 for Philip Lutzenkirchen is the biggest tight end year they've had since the Tuberville era. John Samuel Schinker is up to five. He only needs 19 more. <laughs> Will he get there? I mean, yeah, probably. I mean, uh, and, and after Lutz, C.J. Azuma had two seasons of 11. Right. That's it. And, and C.J. Azuma is still in the NFL. So it shows you how underutilized that guy was. He's still in the NFL – now in his best season with 11 catches that's um, crazy yeah. under under Malzahn but yeah you got to think so I mean uh I, I think Shanker is 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 proven even though it was limited action last year he's pretty reliable when you when you throw him the football uh he's already halfway to his total last year which is funny um but I think he's gonna get there yeah 24 uh probably I mean I think the unprovenness of the receiving core probably helps somebody like Shanker too you're, you're looking at it and going you don't have a Seth Williams or an Anthony Short, somebody that you're you're, you're just going to take a certain amount of targets to. I think the receiving core is, you know, it's a lot of guys that I think will do their job. I don't know that there's one guy that you're that like like Seth was that you're like, well, no matter what, we got to throw him the ball ten times. And so I think Shanker will benefit from that. That the scheme will benefit him. Um, and yeah, he was a big target for for Bo Nix, rolling out an easy little target, um, a reliable target. And so yeah, I would have to think. If he catches five in that game, you're going to play tougher opponents where the secondary is going to be more locked down and, and, and passes are going to be harder to come by. And so I would see, to me, I would think Nick's targets the tight end more as the season goes on and, and not less. Is Marquise Burks a guy that can can become a factor up front defensively? I mean, I think possibly. I mean, he's a decent player, um, but really it's he has to. I mean, because without Tyrone Truesdale – um, and Jeremiah Wright, who tore his ACL in the spring, was you know was kind of coming on a little bit. You take him away, you take Truesdale away. Uh, Lee Hunter's a true freshman, didn't get a lot of action. Good, good, good potential, but not there yet. Tony Fair's a big guy, but he's also not an every down guy yet. I don't think. So Burks is going to be important, whether he's whether he's ready or not. Um, he, he's an he's an important depth depth player at, at that defensive tackle position he, he was co-defensive lineman of the week for the team and so he's got the size and the athletic ability he just doesn't have you know probably the the, the experience as a player and, and a bunch of seasons under his belt but it kind of it kind of doesn't matter he's going to have to step up and, and be a be a player that they can count on if not they're going to be in trouble when they start playing teams that that have really good offensive lines and that are running the football and moving the ball uh, he, he's going to have to be a player for them where it's going to put a ton of pressure on Tony Fair and Marcus Harris moving inside and Colby Wooden. It's going to put a lot of pressure on Harris and Wooden probably to play a bunch of stats in the middle if, if Burks can't step up to the plate. Is there anybody that we didn't see last week that we may see this week before the trip to Penn State that was out for injuries or being held out for any reason? Anybody that uh, you can think of that, that have, we haven't seen yet that's going to be counted on when you get to Happy Valley? Yeah, but there's a couple of guys that, that I think Brian Harson hopes to have back. One is true freshman uh, Tarvaris Dawson, who's the wide receiver from Florida, who who plays that inside position behind Javaris Johnson. He he missed some time. It's not disciplinary. Um, I think it was just health safety protocol type stuff. Um, he needs to get back in action. Ladarius Tennyson, who's a really good player in the secondary, who's the backup nickel player with Donovan Kaufman right there, he missed action. Um, not disciplinary again, so he's hoping to get those two guys. And then Jalen Simpson, who is a reserve corner, but a really good player. Uh, he, he Something's going on with him injury-wise. He he was dressed, and he played the very, very beginning of Alabama State and then immediately left the game and went to the locker room and didn't come back. So those are three guys um, that, that didn't play that, that should be backed by Alabama State, hopefully. I would say Jalen Simpson's probably the best player of those that group, him or Tennyson. Uh, and I think both those guys are important guys for, for depth in the secondary. I mean, they would both play a lot. If they're out there, they're both, I think they're both going to play a lot. Uh, and then Dawson's just a guy that had a good fall and, you know, has got potential, but, but not, as, not as urgent for him. I mean, he's behind Johnson. Uh, he's got some speed, but he's similar to Javaris Johnson. So he's just a guy you want to get out there and develop. But the two defenders, I would think, are more important because they're good players and they had quality depth. So those are three. And then I would probably say somebody like Lee Hunter, 
you know, I mentioned him. He he didn't play much in the first game. Um, he he had a decent, you know, he's had a decent camp since he's been there. But in terms of defensive tackle, that's a position where they want to continue to build depth. So I've got to think Lee Hunter getting him in there and trying to get him up to speed as quickly as possible would be uh, really helpful for, for that for that team. Justin Hokinson, AuburnLive.com on the Pepsi Hotline. Before you go to the basketball side, you broke the news yesterday. Unfortunate news about Alan Flanagan. Um, not season ending, but um, boy, a big chunk of the season he'll miss. Yeah, uh, unfortunate news. Um, a scooter accident. Uh, oh, are you which, serious? Golly, it's like you, you want to ban scooters, but you can't, obviously. Um, but it's just unfortunate, man. I had a scooter accident in August. Um, and injures his right Achilles and has surgery on that on the third September third and yeah should probably miss into end of December um, not end of December into December um, and so the good thing is you know the timeline puts him back hopefully before conference play um, obviously that hurts them because you know they've got the battle for Atlantis where they've got UConn who's probably a top twenty five team and there's some other good Baylor Michigan State there's some good teams in there and so you had an opportunity to make a to make a run in that tournament, he's going to miss that. Um, nobody else non-conference-wise, I mean, I think they could still be successful non-conference-wise. I mean, there's some tricky games, but um, nothing else that they probably shouldn't be able to handle. Um, but you just want to get them back before conference play because I think they're going to play Kentucky early in conference play and so, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's a big loss. He's one of the guys on that team that they don't really have a replacement for. Um there's not, I mean, they've got some guards, Katie Johnson or Zepp Jasper or Wendell Green. Flanagan's pretty unique. I mean, there were some national writers that had already contacted Auburn about talking to Allen because they were thinking about making him the preseason player of the year in the conference. I mean, so he had that kind of buzz going on um, at 14 points a game, five boards and all that. And he's a good defender, great athlete, probably a first-round draft pick. I mean, he's, he's a really good player. So they're just going to have to navigate it. Um, you know, without him non-conference play, and then just hope that once he does get back out there, that there's enough time for him to get back out there and then to gain some rhythm back before conference play. Because you saw even, you know, when you missed Sharif, even when Sharif came back last year, it just takes – it's a new it's a new element. Alan Flanagan's never played with Walker Kessler and Jabari Smith. Um, and so those guys have got to once, – once Flanagan gets back, they got to figure it out. And so that's that's – there's kind of two elements. There's navigating it without him, and then once he does come back that first month, is getting back in the rotation, and then how quickly can you get up to speed? So big loss, unfortunate. But the good side is maybe maybe Katie Johnson, maybe Chris Moore, who had a good freshman season. Um, maybe those guys, maybe David Cambridge, maybe those guys get a little more playing time and, and can build some confidence. And then when planning it gets back, maybe you've got a little bit better bench. All right, go follow Hoke on Twitter at underscore Jay Hokinson. Read him at AuburnLive.com, part of the new On3 Sports family, AuburnLive.com. Good time to jump on board with them with the college football season kicking off and plenty of basketball news as well. Hoke, thank you for the time. Always great talking with you. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. See ya. All right, buddy. Justin Hokinson with us on the Pepsi Hotline. All right. Part of our show today as well being brought to you by Rockstar's Guy. Rockstar, tell me about a good realtor. <laughs> God. That's hot, Rocky. What you doing in there? Wow. I got really excited. My oh, word. Turn it up I don't more know now. how that happened. Yeah. Uh, at, let's, I guess get excited about Adam Mestray. <laughs> Adam is a third-generation realtor born and raised in Birmingham, so he knows the area. You want a guy like Adam to find a house for you. Why rent when you could buy? Buying a home is the largest financial decision you will make, so make sure you are using an agent that you can trust to help you walk through the process. Call Adam Mestre for a free home evaluation at 205-422-0589 at MD Realty. We make house calls. All right, Rockstar, thank you very much. Uh, nice to have Hoke there. Remember Wimp earlier with his blue plate special, which this week he picked? Michigan over Washington. Michigan over Washington. Mm. It's one of the many games that we call impact games on our little worksheet each week. That Washington-Michigan game, 7 o'clock on ABC in prime time. If you've been listening all week long, we were here Labor Day, we were here Tuesday, and again today, LT sort of likes Washington. More than sort of. You like Washington, go to the big house and win that game. Well, they got to figure out their offense, but I do think they'll be able to score a little bit on Michigan. I really don't know what happened. I mean, the Montana game is just one of those weird games. I think Jimmy Lake, um, you know, he's building a culture there. You mentioned it earlier, or Brown did, that Chris Peterson, that was his hand-picked guy. It looked to be a really good fit in an abbreviated season last year. The offense was just stagnant. The offensive line didn't play well. Dylan Morris played terribly at quarterback. 
I think they're going to bounce back. I think Michigan against Western Michigan, I don't think they're that good. I think they're improved, too. I think it's going to be a really good game. I think it's a one-possession game. Oh, that'll be fun in prime time. I hope it's a, a that fun of a game, enjoyable of a game. I've only got four impact, quote, impact games, and the way I do this sheet, all SEC games are impact. These are non-SEC games. I think you got them all, though, unfortunately. Washington, Michigan, you have a really strong lean there. Iowa, Iowa State, you have a really, really strong lean yep. there that Iowa State handles Iowa. Y'all got meat on that one. 330 you? on ABC. And then the early window, these are all in different windows, I feel like you have a really good lean that Ohio State's going to beat Oregon. Well, I think they're going to win the game. You know, how bad they beat them, that's yet to be seen. But, you know, I was just looking at some numbers this morning, and, and this is kind of interesting. Since 2000, Oregon's been 14-plus point dogs six times. They're 0-6, and they've only covered one of those games. Wow, wow. And you look at Ohio State, Ryan Day is now 21-0 and in regular season games. 20 of those wins by double digits. Mm. Utah BYU, the other one. That's uh, late night. So the windows, there's one impact game in every window. Utah BYU, I throw it in there just because we all felt in the offseason that Utah could be your Pac 12 champions. This is not a conference game, but the rivalry game. It'll be fun to watch that game every time. And, you know, I, I don't think BYU has a whole lot back this season. They lost a ton, including their quarterback. And I don't think you reload at BYU like you do at other places. I sort of like Utah in that game. Though Charlie Brewer did give me a little little pause after week one. Yeah, I mean, they weren't fantastic. You know, I watched a good bit of that BYU-Arizona game uh, after we finished our, our late-night deal there. And BYU was up 21-3 to early third quarter. And for whatever reason, Lance, it's like they went in a shell. I don't know. I mean, they just their offense just shut it down, and Arizona was able to come back in that game a little bit. Uh, Arizona cut it to eight at one point, and then BYU added a field goal to ice the game. This is a weird game. It seems like the Holy War is always a pretty good game. Utah's a much better team this year, though. Yeah. I, 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 I do sort of want to see what Notre Dame does this week against Toledo. I know the name of the jersey is not going to excite anybody. Jason Candle's got a good program, though. Yeah, but that's a, that's a tricky little game coming off of that Sunday night atmosphere they had in Tallahassee. That's streaming on Peacock, a Notre Dame game that's not on television. Unless you stream it. But well, you stream us on television. I'm all for too. the stream, man. I, I just picked up Power Peacock the stream. Uh, last week. As I told you guys, I just finished Dr. Death. So I've got Peacock. Now, do I think I'm going to actually go on that app to put that on a main screen? Probably not. Now, if it gets into the fourth quarter, and I took a look at that game for my upset alert. I, mean, I do believe Toledo, Notre Dame coming off that emotional overtime win. They could be down a little bit just looking at that logo and I think Toledo has got enough talent to at least play them within the number and make it interesting in a fourth quarter. I would love to go back in time and tell my granddad that we're going to watch the Notre Dame game on Peacock just, to, like, just to get his reaction. He would say, oh, the NBC changed their name to Peacock? We're going to watch the Notre Dame game on Peacock? What are you talking about, just, son? Just one other game. One other game that is no brand name against brand name, even though it's a fragmented game brand name you told me to watch before the season started before nebraska even lost to illinois you told me to watch buffalo nebraska 230 big 10 network this week tricky tricky game for scott frost this week buffalo's better than the name on the jersey i think buffalo scored close to 70 points this past week it was against a nobody but nebraska is just i don't think they've got any any room for for any error at all just based on what i saw against illinois and again illinois turned right around after winning that game against Nebraska, and they lose to a, a, a CUSA team. They beat uh, Fordham 52-7. to I don't have it in front. I think that was the final. But that game was 7-7 to for a minute, and it actually got me to flip over there. I'm like, Nebraska cannot be this bad. Well, I think Fordham right. had an explosive play where they Nebraska did. missed a couple of tackles. They did, and Fordham scored. And sure enough, as soon as I flip over, Nebraska took control of the game. Yeah. So it, it's one of those situations. That the games I just mentioned, the, the Toledo-Notre Dame, Buffalo-Nebraska, you're not going to watch those, but when you see on the ticker that Notre Dame may be behind or it's close or Nebraska's behind, you'll go, oh, they mentioned that on the next round this week. Shouldn't be that shocking. Should have been watching. Uh, trash coming up in our next segment, part of our show brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hemp Hill. When you need them, uh, you, you got to remember the name Hemp Hill because they helped LT out tremendously. Well, I had a conversation with Andrew yesterday at Hemp Hill uh, about my water heater, but look, the team at Hemp Hill Services, they are my go-to guys 
for all things heating and cooling. Hemphill Services, they've been serving Birmingham since 1954. They're who Birmingham trusts. They're who I trust to do the job right and at a fair price. Hemphill Services, an independent train dealer. They service all makes and models for all of your plumbing, heating, and cooling needs. Do what I do. Call Hemphill Services. It's hard to stop a train. Call 205-229-2090. That's 205-229-2090. Follow the next round on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Next Round Live. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Gutter Cap. Gutter Cap's that patented aluminum cover system that fits over most existing gutters to keep out debris and eliminate that gutter cleaning. It's back with a lifetime warranty, almost 20 year service record right here in Birmingham. Stay off that dangerous ladder forever. 45% off the retail price now if you call guttercapbirmingham.com. Call my good friend Chris Stewart now, 205 823 2212. Cap it, don't snap it, it's Gutter Cap. Hear that? That's the plumpest, juiciest hot dogs you've ever seen getting their grill on. But we both know what'll make it sound even better. Oh yeah, it's a Pepsi to go with your hot dog. Because when you're chomping on America's favorite meal, relish, mustard, and onions perfectly blending into a crescendo of flavor, there's only one thing that makes everything about that moment better. A cold, refreshing Pepsi. See what I mean? It's like music to my ears. Hot dogs. Better with Pepsi. That's what I like. Ah. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round. You've heard me for years talk about our friends at Bromberg's Jewelers, and we welcome you to stop by and see that great customer service at the Mountain Brook and Summit locations, but we'd also love for you to check out their new online shop. They've got plenty to choose from, great gifts, big and small. Available online, they've got David Yurman, Tudor Watches, Select Diamond and Gemstone Jewelry, William Henry, seasonal and favorite giftware items and baby gifts as well. They've even got an online sale section. For more information, Bromberg's.com. You demand a durable machine to withstand extreme worksite conditions. Volvo Construction Equipment assures it with their industry-leading lifetime frame boom and arm warranty. Offering this through their full range of powerful and fuel-efficient excavators, wheel loaders, articulated haulers, road and compact equipment, you can rest assured quality will exceed expectations. Contact Cowan Equipment to experience this firsthand on your job site. From short and long-term rental options, flexible rent-to-own, or straight purchase options, parts and stock and service you can depend on. Let Cowan show you what it means to have a trusted partner who will keep you ahead of the game. Give them a call, 800-239-2694, or visit Cowan.com. Again, where you can always expect extra effort when it comes to your heavy equipment needs, call our friends at Cowan, the name you have trusted for decades. 1-800-239-2694. Or again, you can always visit them online. Go to Cowan.com. Hi, this is Wes McClooney, owner of the New Balance Birmingham store. Getting the whole family into comfortable shoes can be an incredible feat, but not at New Balance Birmingham. We have the largest selection and inventory of any specialty shoe store, and our fit specialists will match your feet with the perfect New Balance shoe. Come see us at the New Balance Birmingham store, located on Highway 280 next to Chick-fil-A. Experience the difference a custom fit makes today at New Balance Birmingham. After 40 years in business, Red Wing Shoes owner Steve Sikora has decided to give his stores a needed up-to-date look. The Hoover location now welcomes its customers to enjoy the ultimate fit experience. This updated showroom is now displaying the best Red Wing has to offer. Classic Pecos pull-ons, Red Wing heritage including the Iron Ranger, Irish Setter Work, and trusted Basque outdoor footwear. And coming this September, the Trustful location will be moving down Highway 11 between Taco Mama and Metro Diner. Customers will love this updated cool look. Don't wait to visit the two new and exciting locations of Red Wing Shoes. Want more of the show? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast. The Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, and our entire Double Down Media podcast family, all at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. Start your day online with our website, nextroundlive.com, the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. It's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. That's nextroundlive.com. I'm Jim Dunaway, and one thing I've learned about ERA King Real Estate is they believe every client deserves to be represented by an expert. That's why they invest so much in technology and training for their agents. You can be sure that your local agent has experience in your market, up-to-the-minute real estate resources, and top-notch negotiating skills. Text MOVE to 35260. That's MOVE to 35260. ERA King. They work hard to make home buying easy.
Hey, we're back with you on the next round. Trash is in queue, ready to go. Uh, Mrs. Greg from Pell City over in the chats over there saying Greg had unsuccessful shoulder surgery this morning. Unsuccessful. That's what it says. Unsuccessful shoulder surgery. Um, and that he's looking at a full replacement. Oh, uh, man, I hate to hear that. But that he's listening right now. and We're bringing him a little bit of joy today. Is it um, his beer shoulder? I know he likes beer. Yeah, so we need to know, is it is it a lefty or a righty, Miss Nelson? Let us know in the chat over there. But obviously, we're thinking about Greg from Pell City and uh, all the folks who are listening in the chat. Y'all send Andrea a little uh, love to pass along to Greg there. Uh, he he must, be, must be in a little pain if she's typing his messages yeah. for him. Here, type this. Yeah, tell that's him this. The, that's the uh, pain medicine yeah. talking. That's really the way LT used to like to use a computer, too. <laughs> hey, Rockstar, would you type this for me real quick? <laughs> I, can't I still the, can't, can't figure, figure this damn thing out. Well, I mean, yeah. it was going off in the middle of the last oh, second. There's a mute button. I meant to show I, you the mute button. I, I found it. He, okay. found, he found the mute button. Gotcha. Hey, if you're looking for that game day wear, I've found the place for you. It's my friends at the Pants Store. Pantsstore.com, the website. They've got locations everywhere. Crestline, you know about Leeds, Trustville. Tuscaloosa, Huntsville, as you listen to us all over the state, as you watch us all over the state, pantsstore.com, the place to remember. Fellas, I'm telling you, this is the place you need to send your daughter or your wife if they're looking for that game day gear. For the ladies, they've got the fashion and smock, uh, smocked waist shorts. Um, I don't even know what they are, but I think they're cute. Skirts, skorts, booties, body suits, and a huge variety of game day tops. All stadiums require clear purses now. They've got those in a huge variety at the pants store as well. They've got game day polos for the guys, Cutter and Buck, Antigua, Taylor and Mick. They've got the game day hats. Nobody likes a good hat better than Jim Dunaway. They've got those as well. Sunglasses, uh, coolers, cups, Yeti Huggies, everything you need to cheer on UAB, Auburn, and Alabama or any SEC team this year, pantsstore.com pantsstore.com alabama's number one in the ap poll 59 first place votes georgia's number two that came out yesterday nfl season starts tomorrow a couple of injuries for alabama and auburn in basketball that we've talked about a couple of times on the show those are your headlines it is time now to talk about some other wacky stuff with trash with lt as rockstar hits the big button that you do not pass this policy in Virginia. Thank you so much, Ms. Thomas. We do appreciate you. Phil McCracken. Phil McCracken. <laughs> LT's Trash is presented by Mortgage Right. Mortgages done the right way. Hey, and if you're looking to purchase or refinance a home, you need to act now before those rates go on the rise. With locations nationwide, lending directly to home buyers, our friends at Mortgage Right remove the speed bumps on the road to home ownership by cutting out the middleman, ensuring that fast, worry free process. Visit mortgageright.com to get started. That's the right way to do a mortgage in MLS 2239. We will dedicate today's trash to Greg from Pell City. Let's make him laugh. We will try our best. I feel really bad for Greg. I hate, too, man. I hate it. And a Forrester who's watching from home. That's right. But, Let's but make the, him laugh. The good news is Greg's got a lot of people in that house to, to, to run around and, and that take is care true. of. No, kids. no shortage of service. First one out of Nashville. The girlfriend of a man accused of stealing a rental car from the Nashville airport called police to turn him in for the reward money while allegedly riding in the stolen car with him. <laughs> it's going to be a bad night the way home. <laughs> quick quick oh, wow. phone call I got to make. I can't believe you just did that. Now, according to the Metro Nashville police affidavit, the theft originally took place in July when Chance uh, Mangian jumped the counter of a rental car facility at the airport, grabbed keys, and fled in a 2017 Dodge Challenger. Police say in the process, Manjian drove down a one-way road over two spike strips while fleeing. I hope I never have to drive over spike strips. Well, it's going bad for you. Hey, yeah. It's going bad for you when you do. Every time I drive over them, though, you know, going the correct way, right. I'm always scared to death. I am, too. It just doesn't seem like it's going to work because the spikes no, no, are no, up. No, and no, they, no. You are thinking don't, don't. spike strips are with the police on the on the road. They oh, I know. Pull them. Okay, okay. They pull them across the road to get I know, your but car. I'm thinking I know about that. when I'm leaving the yeah. the yeah, you're talking about leaving like a parking deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but some I mean they've got the same rough, right. roughly the same thing, but your tires push it down. Yeah, but I'm always afraid it's going to pop up too quick, now, or that it locks. And yeah. I just oh. go, police were able to spot the stolen car on I-24, but Mangian did not stop for the police at that time. Dispatchers. Uh, received a call from him, alleged or his alleged girlfriend identified as Christy Cardwell. According to the affidavit, Cardwell told police 
that she knew the man had stolen the car, but would not reveal his intentions until she received reward money, mm, saying, quote, plan. she knew the law very well and didn't have to give him up, end quote. Now, police say Cardwell told them she was actually in the stolen car and would give the exact location when she had the reward money. Police caught up with the 30-year-old Cardwell, and she was booked into jail Ooh. for accessory after the fact. That's what oh. we call a little twist we did yeah. not see coming. Usually I hear the sound that goes, boom, boom, before you get a twist like that. <laughs> it's an interesting twist, though. She did not anticipate that yeah. one, did she? Can't spend that money in the commissary. Uh, it's going to be tough. Okay, Singapore has started trials of robots to patrol public areas and deter poor social behavior. Now, in its latest effort to further uh, strengthen the portfolio of surveillance tools, now, it's ranked as one of the safest countries in the world. Singapore has put two uh, robots on trial to detect bad behavior such as flouting of COVID-19 safety measures, smoking in prohibited areas, and improper parking of bicycles. Seems like they're spending a lot of money on these things. Well, you remember, it was in Singapore, the uh, was was it Michael Fay? Yeah, the, the guy got lashed. Yeah, he got he, caned, he, right? For graffiti. Yeah. He like, got la- like caned several things. You can't chew, I think it's... Singapore, you can't chew gum in public. Really? Yeah. I don't want to go to Singapore. I don't think I do either. Yeah, because you're you, you occasionally like to skate into the, you like to push the envelope a little bit. Yeah, like Lance likes to gum. park his yeah. bicycle wherever <laughs> yes, he wants. That's where right, I yes. want. When I ride a bike. Yep. And uh, yeah, the smoking in prohibited areas, I'm I'm good with that. I don't yeah. smoke. I but if it like, said, but if it says 35 euro, you you'll push it. You'll go 30, 30, 37. That's the, that's good good call. Now it said that two patrol robots named Xavier. Are equipped with cameras that can detect bad social behavior and trigger real-time alerts to the command and control center. <laughs> Stay here while we call the police. Okay, I'm just going to sit here. The Go trial ahead and remove your shirt. Yeah. What's well, a different robot? place at an area with high foot traffic in central Singapore. The agency said that during the three-week trial, robots would be used for surveillance and displaying messages to educate the pub- public on popular, proper behavior. Well, you know, we, we have the, the photo cams. All over our country now, That's too. true. What's the difference? Next story is fascinating. Um, you guys, have you seen the movie? I know you've seen before Jackass on MTV, but have you ever seen any of the movies? Um, uh, no. I've watched bits and pieces of them. I mean, there are definitely funny points. Yeah. I like clips on social media. Yeah, I'm kind of done away. I'm not going to go to the theater to watch Jackass. Yeah, I can handle a small amount of it. I mean, I'll go watch a rom- rom-com, but I won't go waste I've my never, time. I've never gone to a theater to watch it, but I've seen it when it when it comes on HBO. The last one they did was 3D, I believe. Jackass 3D. Get did out not of see town. That. Did not see it. But. Are you serious, yeah. though? Now, it was recently announced that the release date for the fourth film in the Jackass franchise, Jackass Forever, has been pushed back from October 22nd to February 2nd. I know you guys are upset about that. Oh, man. Here's what's interesting, though. According to a new study coming Commission by Nova Legal Funding. The estimated total cost of injuries sustained by the Jackass cast over the years stands at a staggering $24,263,000. Johnny Knoxville has the highest tab at an estimated $8.66 million, followed by Aaron McGahey at $7.38 million, Steve O at $5.82 million. After that, Dave England comes in at 1.65. Jason Weeman is 675,000. I would imagine they're uninsurable, wouldn't you think? I mean, there's yeah. not, there can't be an insurance company that would take that on. I wouldn't. Now, to come up to the estimates, the report looked at injuries sustained before, during, and in between filming of Jackass movies and series, and then used the internal expertise and data to come up with the total cost per injury. They also let the report break down the most expensive injuries overall with the brain hemorrhage. Johnny Knoxville suffered in 2020. Uh, that was an estimated cost of two and a half million dollars. Yeah, I remember one of the first ones they did. They went to a sporting clothes store, and uh, him and Butterbean. He just took a hit from Butterbean. <laughs> that was, oh, that was incredible. And just he's like, "How's Butterbean?" Right when he got up. <laughs> that one was that one, or when he dressed out against USC as a Tennessee football player and filled <laughs> oh the punts in his Chuck Taylors. Uh, and Pete Carroll was just laughing all the while. Can you imagine if some some dude from USC would have blown a knee oh, going down no. to tackle Johnny Knoxville? Oh, that was a, that was a funny one. Is it true? It's always I've never tested this out, but it's is like normal health insurance. Is there a cap that you can get? You're speaking of being uninsurable, but is there a cap on health insurance that you can spend and then they say, "Oh you, yeah, you've capped out." Yeah, I'm sure they can drop you. I mean, I think they do that on auto policy, right? I know that's different than health, but like so, all insurance basically. I, I would think I don't know that to be times sure. they drop you. Yeah. Yeah, call our friends at Simpio; they would know. Okay. Simpio.com. Good idea.
Um, okay, according to Ranker.com, they have ranked the best TV HBO characters of all time. Ooh, They've got a top 10 here. I think they left a couple of my favorites out, but okay. here we go. First one is Larry David from Curb at number 10. Fan, one of the best characters out there. Uh, Jon Snow is number 9 from Game of Thrones. Number 8 is Arya Stark from Game of Thrones. Recent bias here. Uh, number 7 is The Hound from Game of Thrones. Uh, way too much Game of Thrones in here. This is... Number six is Stringer Bell from The Wire. Great character. Yeah. Hide yourself. At least they went back a while. Uh, number five is Polly Walnuts from The Sopranos. Mm -hmm. Number four is Russ Cole from True Detective. Matt McConaughey was great in that role. Fantastic, yeah. yeah. I think Woody Harrelson was right there with him, though. Tyrion Lannister is number three from Game of Thrones. He does deserve to be on the list. Omar Little, rest in peace. Number two from The Wire. And Tony Soprano, no surprises, number one. Yeah, just way too heavy on Game of Thrones right there. Yeah, see, Other my favorite Game of Thrones might have been Braun of Blackwater. Yeah. Oh, let me some Braun of Blackwater. Like, I mean, I don't think which awesome. one he was. Uh, who, who is the guy that did the torture and all that? Uh, the, <laughs> the guy, you know. I've never seen it. A Game of Thrones? The guy who who uh, tied the guy down and, and, you know, sent the ladies in when he tried to escape and. King Joffrey, the little guy. No, no, no. He was. He, he ended up battling Snow in the big battle. Um, and oh, you're talking about uh, Ramsey. Ramsey. Oh, yeah. that guy hated that oh, guy. He, he was worse than Joffrey. Oh, hated Ramsey. Yeah. Hated that it, guy. It was a great fitting in ending though for Ramsey. It was. It yeah. was. Um, um, and also, well, I, th I thought uh, Christopher Maltesante was my favorite Sopranos. So oh, a good just, one from just, Dave. Jeremy Piven, Ari Gold. That's a well, great character. Just a couple of uh, the was good. A couple of observations. There were zero Boardwalk Empire characters on there, and I thought well, they I don't had some. I think it was a hugely popular show, though. Yeah, Boardwalk was it? It did like six seasons. What is it when? It, I still think it was one of their their. I don't want to call it an off brand, but it wasn't as mainstream as some of these others. Um, I, I guess you wouldn't go anything from Band of Brothers, even though that was an HBO original. Too much of an ensemble cast. Boy, it was fantastic. Yeah. Though Band of Brothers was unreal. And it's still early, but people are gonna be people are gonna be upset. Sex in the City. What's her yeah. name? Carrie Bradshaw. I never watched that though. Uh, Succession. I mean, I they got some I good characters go early. I mean, though. Tom and Greg are so good. So good together. Uh, Roman is so good. Yeah. I mean, there's there's so many good characters there. Eddie's right. Uh, Reek. Sometimes LT beats me up so bad on the show. He's gonna make me call myself Reek. <laughs> Reek had his junk cut off, done yeah. away. Oh, so wow. That, that was the scene I was talking about. Yeah. Uh, it really wasn't fair. It was, I mean, like, it was, go, it was going fair. well for Reek, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah he sends in fair. two beautiful I women. Mean, he did. He sent in two hot, and, and Reek's like, man, I'm going to have a good day here. Yeah. Done away described it as unfair. That yeah. he, <laughs> it was unfair. Yeah. <laughs> he had it removed. I mean, they, you guys have an advantage. Him. He's thinking he's getting released, that these girls feel bad for him, and then they start you know, doing stuff. And that just makes it easier for him to cut it yeah. off. Again, I've been asked, hey, what was the year that Game of Thrones took place? And I always answer, it uh, never took a, place. 1100s. But it does look like the medieval times. And I just assume women in medieval times did not look like those two that came to see Reek. Really? No. They were mm. pretty. Um, finally, I've got some things old people say on Facebook. Oh, yes. Uh, this I, was, is, I was trying to explain this segment to my son the other day. This is on a random person's page. Quote, I saw that you were friends with Sherry. She died Friday. Oh. <laughs> thought I'd let you know. <laughs> and I, I did an example like that, and my son says, Dad, that sounds exactly like something you would do. Yeah. Ooh. Shout out to you, man. Yeah, my son <laughs> loves me. Oh. <laughs> he calls you the old pinata, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. Let's take another shot at the old man. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, here's another one. More things old people say on Facebook. I will not communicate for the next few days. My hubby died. Oh, oh well, thanks for the heads up. Sneak that one in there. Yeah. Yep. Status update. Kind of, kind of bury the lead, didn't they? Status update. Literally. Widow. <laughs> Here's another one. <laughs> it's complicated. What's up, Facebook? Exclamation question mark. Why all the ads suddenly? Question mark. Stay out of my life, okay? Question mark. Please, all caps, mind your own business, which is not all capitals. Interfering at the level of involvement you seem to think I want. You are so clueless. Somebody at Facebook, read this post. Exclamation. All right. Thank you. Red. Mr. Zuckerberg, we got one. <laughs> Here's one another complaint. One. one person doesn't like yeah. all the ads. I already have all of my Christmas shopping done. If family and friends keep dying, there will be nobody else to buy for. My gosh. Mm. Extra gifts. Like a wizard. 
Technically a humble brag yeah. there. I may have <laughs> some extra point. gifts this year. And finally, uh, things old people say on Facebook. My father-in-law was born on Valentine's Day. One year, I made him a meatloaf in a heart-shaped pan. That is a oh. great gift. I oh. made you a heart of meatloaf. Stacy, thank you. I don't know if it's one of our great female listeners or not. Oh, Al Swearinger yeah. from Deadwood. Stacy's dead on. Al Swearinger might, might be the best character ever in HBO. Oh, you maybe number one? Might be number one. Maybe better than Tony Soprano. The way he could say see you next Tuesday and just rolls off the tongue. Yep. Very Shakespearean like. Can you uh somebody behind the glass send that out as a uh, poll question? Uh so we go Tony Soprano. Al Swearinger. I think Omar Little's gotta be on there. Omar Little. Oh, um, the man in black, Ed Harris from uh first season. And then of West I think World. Tyrion Lannister, you've got to go with the Game of Thrones, and he he was kind of the face of that franchise. Okay, so put those four on there and uh, we'll make that a Cowan Equipment poll question. You can go vote on that. Keep those comments coming in the chat room though. That is trash today with LT brought to you by the wonderful folks at Mortgage Right. Hey, if you're sick of leasing your life away, Mortgage Right has the cure with locations nationwide. Our friends at Mortgage Right, they are dedicated to making the home buying process easy. They are eager to offer tips, tools, and a staff of industry professionals to move you in with confidence. If you're ready to let go of the leasing life and start living life, Mortgage Right can help. Visit mortgageright.com slash TNR today to get started. NLS 2239 equal housing lender. TNR, the next round. Stacy says, I'm a guy. Thanks, Dad. Ha ha ha. Yeah, got it. Uh, think tank, I'm a little behind, but the Luca interview has to happen. I'll fund it if I have to, says Think Tank. I'll fund I don't, know, it. I don't know what that means. Well, that but, means um, that's I'm, a key I'm word. Sending, I'm sending a text right now, and I am going to see if I can get this number. The, so, Think yeah. Tank, when you get this in 45 minutes, let us know how you can fund it. Do you have a private plane? Well, see, I'm thinking what I'm looking at looks like she's in Nashville. Okay. That's a short drive. For Lance? Uh, no, no, for Luca. Oh. Yep, yep. <laughs> yep, she, she's coming here. Though. I know how that works. You know, road game for Luca. Yep. All right. We're back in a moment on the next round right here on the Double Down Media Network. Follow LT on Twitter at the Lance Taylor. Think about this scenario for one second. You get out of bed in the morning, walk in a room, the first thing you feel is water under your feet. You got a leak, you got a problem. You may think your first call is the insurance company. You're wrong. Ryan Brown here from the next round. Your first call is Dry Tech Water Restoration. They respond quickly. They'll reply within 20 minutes. Likely, you're talking to an owner. Dry Tech Water Restoration does not work for the insurance company. They work for the customer. Remember this website, mydrytech.com. That's mydrytech.com and Dry Tech Water Restoration. At Am First, you always come first, especially during the Summer of Freedom. That's why they're offering their very best rates to members right now, so you can hit the road and see it all with an even lower auto loan. And while you're feeling so free, you'll get even more for free from Am First, like free gas when you refinance your car, free rewards on checking, and the chance to get more free in giveaways and prizes. Am First is making your summer freer than ever because this is your summer, the Summer of Freedom at am first for more information visit amfirst.org slash promotions that's amfirst.org slash promotions available to qualifying members only certain restrictions apply am first is an equal housing lender mls number 403456 federally insured by the ncua no purchase necessary for complete offer details and rules call 1-800-633-8431 or visit amfirst.org it is the American dream to buy your own home. Ryan Brown here for the next round. Mortgage Right wants to make that dream a reality with branches across the country. Mortgage Right has all the resources of a nationwide organization while maintaining the charm of a local lender. Mortgage Right makes home buying simple. If you are looking for a quick and caring mortgage experience, Mortgage Right is your go-to lender. Get started by visiting mortgageright.com slash TNR. Mortgage Right and MLS 2239, equal housing lender. As the tide embarks on their journey to the next title, celebrate with Daniel A. Moore's tributes in oil to the 2020 championship season. Unrivaled is Moore's commemoration of Alabama's national championship beatdown of the Buckeyes. And Heisman Heights portrays Devontae Smith's one-handed catch against LSU. Available individually or as a discounted championship season bundle. Visit DanielMoreArt.com or call 1-800-735-2787 to order your heirloom quality fine art printer canvas today. 
Think about this scenario for one second. You get out of bed in the morning, walk in a room, the first thing you feel is water under your feet. You got a leak, you got a problem. You may think your first call is the insurance company. You're wrong. Ryan Brown here from the next round. Your first call is Dry Tech Water Restoration. They respond quickly. They'll reply within 20 minutes. Likely, you're talking to an owner. Dry Tech Water Restoration does not work for the insurance company. They work for the customer. Remember this website, mydrytech.com. That's mydrytech.com and Dry Tech Water Restoration. Stay up to date with the next round at nextroundlive.com. The latest videos from the show, plus podcasts like The Mystery Fifth Hour, Bama and Bourbon, Last Call, and others from the Double Down Media Podcast family. You can start your day with the latest college football stories, plus easy to listen to hour-by-hour downloads of the live show. Nextroundlive.com, a great way to stream the show live or shop in the Next Round store. Make nextroundlive.com your homepage. That's nextroundlive.com. Did you know one in eight men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer? September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and the expert urologists at Urology Centers of Alabama are leading the way in diagnosing and treating men with prostate cancer. Early detection is the key to survival. Guys, if you're over 50, it's time to have your PSA levels checked. It only requires a simple blood test and physical exam. With 13 convenient locations, making an appointment is a no-brainer. Visit urologycentersalabama.com or call 205-930-0920. Hey, for the best pizza in Birmingham for lunch or dinner, make it Slice. Go see the Bajaya brothers, Jeff, Jason, and Chris. Slice Pizza and Brew is as local as you can get from the ingredients that go into every pizza to the beer on tap. Two great locations, Lakeview and Vestavia. Want more of the show? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast, The Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, and the entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. Back with you on the next round. This hour of the show brought to you by the great folks at Champy's Chicken. Uh, Champy'sChicken.com right there on Highway 119 in Alabaster. Whether you're going to a high school game Thursday or Friday night or to a college game this weekend, back at home at Jordan-Hare Stadium, down at Bryant-Denny Stadium, eventually October 2nd, home games for UAB. Win that tailgate with my friends at Champy's World Famous Fried Chicken. Fresh to order, worth the wait. You can dine in or use their call-ahead drive through at Champy's. You experience southern staples like chicken on a stick, the Mississippi Delta homemade hot tamales. Uh, they're the best I've ever tasted, plus all the traditional po' boys and tenders and the fried chicken plates. Right there on Highway 119 in Alabaster, champyschicken.com. Interesting uh, note over there. Troy wants to know if we talked to any U.S. men's national team yet. Uh, we have not. They uh, do, I think it's the second match of 14 for the World Cup qualifier tonight against Honduras, 930, streaming on Paramount tonight, if that's where you want to watch that. So uh, the U.S., the long road to qualifying for the World Cup. The Americans trying to get back right in soccer. Our Legion, of course, coming back home in a couple of weeks uh, to continue their push for trying to get to the top of their table in their division in the USL. Um, also part of a show being brought to you by our friends at Bromberg's today. Bromberg's, a great place to think about the gifts. Yeah, nothing like giving or getting that silver box from our friends at Bromberg's. Family owned and operated since 1836. Bromberg's, they've established solid reputation as a fine purveyor, quality diamonds as well as jewelry, timepieces, and gifts. Bromberg's also has an extensive giftware department to service the registries of brides and grooms in the Birmingham area. Go see our friends at Bromberg's today. Two great locations, Mountain Brook and the Summit. You can also visit them online. Check out the online store today at Bromberg's.com. Real quickly, before we get to three and out real quick, um, number two quarterback at Georgia named yesterday, Kirby Smart, says Carson Beck is the guy. Well, I mean, you're not going to see a ton of him, obviously. It'll all be mop up whenever they, they come in. That's one of the problems. You know, Georgia has played guys so close, or teams so close, um, that a lot of times they don't get the mop up. Right. So, I, I mean, I don't know how much you'll see at Carson. Beck. Luke Doty is close, expects to be 100% for South Carolina. We'll see if he plays. Tricky game with East Carolina for them. Zeb Nolan didn't look bad this past week. Let's do three and out. As always, brought to you by our friends at Vulcan Tire, four locations. It's still hot out in Alabama. Drop by any of those four locations. Done away a Vulcan Tire and Auto for one of their AC checks to make sure you've got the fluids under the hood to stay cool behind the wheel. Four locations at online Vulcan Tire and Auto.com. All right. First down. 
Which SEC team has a better chance of going 2-0? and Would you go Tennessee or South Carolina? Oh, that timed out perfectly there. We didn't even plan that. Uh, boy, South Carolina is a tricky game, but n- not as tricky as Tennessee to me. Brown, I'm going to... I'm going to go off the board here and say Tennessee survives Pittsburgh. What a big win that'll be. It's a toss-up game. Um, It's sad that Tennessee's program is to the point where that's a big win, but you're probably right. I'm going to say South Carolina. I don't know why. I'm just going to take a shot at South Carolina here. Something about them tells me ECU gets them. It just seems like that would be an embarrassing loss for the SEC. It wouldn't be a great win. Yeah, uh, I'm going to lean Tennessee with you, Dunaway. Yeah. I've just, I think Pittsburgh should win the game. I feel really good East Carolina is going to win the game, but I'm going to lean Tennessee. I think both could could drop games this weekend. Yeah, well, both of them could, no doubt. What a big win that would be for Tennessee. I mean, again, they're playing Pittsburgh. I cannot believe you're saying that. At home. At home. I mean, that should be a layup for their program. That's a big win for Tennessee, I think. Second down. Take that as a shot if you want, but no, I think it's a big doing? win for Tennessee. Okay, Listen. which SEC dog do you have? Do you feel better about this weekend? Mississippi State at home to NC State or mm. Missouri on the road against Kentucky? Well, you, you picked Missouri in the upset alert, so obviously I feel better about Missouri. I've been around you long enough. I feel better about Missouri. I, I something, Mississippi State though incredible State comeback me, yeah. in that fourth quarter. Yeah, and that's the way Mike Leach's teams can be. Man, they can be super streaky on that offense. They. Have a great half, bad half, great game, bad game. I just wonder if something triggered in that in that second half there in that fourth quarter. I don't I don't think it's a layup for NC State. Not at all. Yeah, I think yeah, I think Mississippi State wins the game. I could see both of them. I mean, NC State's favorite. Yeah. I know they are, but I think yeah. Mississippi State wins the game. NC State is favorite, not by enough for me to make that my upset alert though, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> Third down. I'm trying to bail on my upset alert. Okay, Boy, you love which that one, double-digit favorite has a better chance of going down Ohio State to Oregon or Notre Dame to Toledo? Wow, oh, we seems, brought this up earlier. Yeah, this seems like a oh. trap question right here. Ooh. You know, I just uh, there's just something about s- just a little something about Oregon that makes you think they were looking ahead. They were looking ahead. Luganville's right. Anthony Brown is not beating Ohio State. I know Ohio State's defense gives up a lot. And look, if Troy Dye and C.J. Verdell are running the football um, and they get a couple of windows, you know, you could see some 60, 70-yard explosive plays that lead to 21 points. But what are Ohio we doing? State will outscore this team. What are we doing? Notre Dame. Notre Dame's not going to lose to Toledo. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Fourth who, down. Who did Notre Dame almost lose to last year? Uh, was Louisville. it Syracuse? Oh, oh, Louisville. Almost Louisville. lost to Louisville. Yeah. It was like 12 to 7. Um, I mean, okay, well, which better chance Montana goes in and beats Washington in week one? <laughs> better touchdown or less favorite that will go down? Is it Texas going down to Arkansas or Michigan going down to Washington? I think it's Texas going down to Arkansas. I think it's a tough game for Texas. I think they will have everything they want from the Hogs. But you think Washington beats Michigan too, so I, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with that one. Um, though I'm hoping Arkansas holds their own in that Texas game. That'll be a fun atmosphere. Oh, this has got to be tough for you because you're an SEC guy. I am. But you love Sark. That's right. right. Technically, they're they're now soon to be SEC. That's true. This but is an yet. SEC West matchup. Yeah. Well, we put a ring on that thing. So <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's so okay. who do you pull for in that game? I am going to pull for a great game. I want it to be a really good game. You're going to take them to Applebee's I'm, I'm Fancy excited, Like? I'm excited for my Arkansas friends because – Rarely do they get a hard sellout standing room only like this. There's usually a cheap ticket you can get somewhere. That is uh, three and out brought to you by our friends at Vulcan Tire. Uh, More on those games. Todd Furman is standing by. Bet the board podcast, FS1, lock it in, lock it up, and lock it down. Furman from the desert when we come back right here. It's the next round, guys. Don't forget all of our guests and all of our podcasts can be found in one place at nextroundlive.com. Follow Brownie on Twitter and Instagram at Ryan Brown Live. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about one of our favorite places for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That is Hamburger Heaven since 1982. Hamburger Heaven has been serving Birmingham's best hamburgers, cheeseburgers, french fries, hand-spun milkshakes, and sandwiches made fresh to order. All of their ingredients are fresh and prepared daily. This includes their beef, always fresh, never frozen, hand patted each and every day. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, visit any of the four locations, Highway 280, Irondale, Gardendale, and Homewood. 
One Man in the Toolbox has provided professional handyman services since 1997. Honesty and reliability are qualities that embody every one of their employees. From residential to commercial, One Man in the Toolbox has the background to help you with almost any project. 823-2111. Cool weather is approaching, and now is the time to get your heating system checked out. Excalibur Services excels in all residential heating, cooling, or electrical problems or upgrades you may have in your home. Owned by a Marine veteran, Excalibur uses highly trained HVAC and electrical service experts to ensure the job is done correctly and in a timely manner. If you're looking for a company you can trust to do it right, call Excalibur today at 205-718-8688 or ExcaliburService.com. Excalibur Services, Alabama license number 152. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round. I'm absolutely loving my Alfa Romeo Stelvio that I've been in for months now. And right now, you can get up to $3,500 bonus cash plus 1.9% financing for 72 months on the all-new 2021 Alfa Romeo Julia's and the Stelvio's in Alfa Romeo of Birmingham. Come experience the passion and performance of Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo USA of Birmingham.com, 1837 Grants Mill Road, exit 27, right off of I-459. Hey, it's Jim Dunaway from my friends at Royal Bedding on Highway 31 in Pelham. See their entire line of mattresses at RoyalBeddingInc.com. Right now, more than ever, American-made, Alabama-made means something. And that's what you get at Royal Bedding on Highway 31 in Pelham. Birmingham's only mattress factory and family-owned. Tom Ginger and T.J. Vignale have been providing Alabamians with a great night's sleep for over 30 years. Stop by and see them on Highway 31 in Pelham and feel the difference of a custom-made mattress from Royal Bedding. Greystone Chiropractic and their brand new facility in Tattersall Park is the premier family wellness office in Birmingham. Dr. Lee Goldenberg is committed to helping families unleash their unlimited healing potential naturally in a beautiful and stress-free environment. Voted best in Birmingham three years in a row. Nominated for Shelby County Healthcare Provider of the Year. What sets Dr. Goldenberg and Greystone Chiropractic apart? Their attention to detail, their thorough approach with patients, and their excellent customer service. I trust my family with Dr. Goldenberg. You can too. Visit GreystoneChiropractor.com or call 981-8090. How do you know you're in a community, not just a town? Well, strangers smile as they walk by. They refill your coffee without you asking. And when you ask directions, people offer to walk you there. Communities give more. The way you know when you walk into First Bank that you are in a real community bank. Great products, direct access to your local bankers, and relationships that can last a lifetime. Don't just have an account. Have a community with First Bank. Member FDIC. You hear a lot of interesting phrases while playing golf, like, I think you're on the beach, or the classic, you gotta hit it, Alice. One word you're sure to hear right now at Bent Brook Golf Club is, wow. Brand new carts with complimentary GPS and the bent grass greens are so consistent, you just might drain a few more putts, Alice. Tee it up and find out for yourself. Book around today at bentbrook.com or call 428-1999. It's better at Bent Brook. Start your day online with our website, nextroundlive.com, for the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. It's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. Follow Next Round Live on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. The social media team at Next Round Live is dedicated to giving you daily news conferences and practice video from UAB, Alabama, Auburn, and around college football. Follow and compare to the sites you used to visit. You'll also get the latest highlights and news from the Next Round Daily Show. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss a thing. Follow Next Round Live on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. See more at nextroundlive.com. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. Thanks a lot, Blake. Blake. Blake's my Newman over in the in the chat room. Hello, Newman. I might have missed it, but have y'all done your NFL picks where Dunaway has to get all the playoff teams, eight of the what used to be 12, now 14 playoff teams, correct? Have we done that yet, Jim? We have not done it right. It always seems simple, though, when you do it. Okay, so coming up after Furman, you're going to do, you're going to try to project to it? You're putting a time limit on me? I thought we were doing it today. Rockstar, we're not doing it today. We We brought it up. Uh, We'll, We'll do it today, but not right after Furman. 
it needs to be after another commercial break. Okay. Then do your upset alert. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen what you do in commercial breaks. Right? Furman in just a second. Uh, Furman helps us see clearly what the game's coming up in the NFL and college football every week, and it's brought to you by our friends at Michelson. Uh, 969-8100. Make that phone call today to see if LASIK is right for you. Think about the money that you're spending each and every year on contacts and solutions or maybe eyeglasses. Um, I had the contacts for years. I finally went in over 19 years ago, got the procedure done. I now have 2015 vision better than 2020. Make the phone call that I made. Call 969-8100. Hassle-free consultation. Dr. Mark Michelson, Dr. Jen Michelson. Tell them the next round sent you. 969-8100 or online. MichelsonLaserVision.com. Todd Furman is the former odds maker at Caesars Palace. You see him now on BetTheBoardPodcast.com. Also Fox Bet Live, all those places, CBS Sports. And he's with us on the Pepsi Hotline. Furman, what is up, man? How are you? I'm doing very well today, gentlemen. Should we get the suspense out of the way early? If I give you both teams in the Iron Bowl rivalry minus 104 points for their FCS matchups this weekend, you want the favorites or you want the dogs? Oh, I think based on what Harson did last week, I don't think Alabama can help but score 50 points against Mercer. And the way Harson played it last mm. year, last I, week, I think I'd take the under. I think I'd lay it. I know I would take 100. I'd take plus 104. I think. See, there we go. It means it's a good bet that you guys didn't all have unanimous agreement taking the favorites of the dogs. It means I've set a relatively close number. This Wait, what did you set Bama Mercer at? I set it at 58 and a half yesterday. I think that may be a touch high, but I'm very curious to see how it gets bet for just the reasons that you outlined. We know that Nick Saban, once he builds a lead, uh, doesn't really go out there to embarrass anyone, but I'm not sure that Mercer is going to be able to slow them down whatsoever. And even if Bryce Young only plays a quarter or so, for me, you know, anything over 56, I'd probably lean towards the underdog, but it's not a game that I'm really going to try and do a whole heck of a lot when it becomes widely available. Hey, before we get into week two and maybe week one of the NFL, I did want to ask you about a game coming up next weekend that is fascinating. Now, Penn State, no chance they should have won that game against Wisconsin. Graham Mertz was that bad. But now the way Auburn looked, I know it was against Akron, I'm assuming that number is going to be a slight tick under a touchdown. I would list it Penn State six and a half. Am I about right on that game? I think it's exactly where that number should be. I mean, I'm looking at my updated power numbers as we speak, and I have Penn State 2.7 points better than Auburn on a neutral field. You attack in home field advantage at Beaver Stadium, knowing there'll be 100,000 strong there. Probably goes from three where it normally would up in that four range. I think you'll see books open it a shade under a touchdown and see where betters elect to drive it. So, LT, your number, in my opinion, is right where it needs to be. Furman, let's say you had to pick eight teams that you'd guarantee being in the oh NFL. Oh, my gosh. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't give that answer. i got to do that in the next segment coming up. Hey, uh, before we talk college football, the NFL starts tomorrow night. I'm a Buccaneers fan. You know that. World champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But this silly talk about how 17-0 and 0 from the first take people are – uh, I, I don't even think there's a guarantee this team wins its division again. What's your take on the Buccaneers going into the season? Yeah, I'm not going to go 17-0, but I won't say that about any team. I think you need so many things to go right to try and achieve that type of lofty goal and run the regular season gauntlet unblemished, that it's just unrealistic in this day and age. Every time you add another game to the schedule, it makes things that much more difficult. But as far as Tampa starters, it's hard to argue that this team is going to be dynamic. It's rare, and I think it's the first time it's ever happened in the salary cap era where a team has brought back all 22 starters, and this is a team that peaked towards the latter portion of the season. But what I think is so interesting about the narrative as it pertains to the Bucks, if Jared Cook doesn't fumble in the playoff game against New Orleans, do we have this same level of optimism for Tampa going into the season? I think th offensively they'll be dynamic. Uh, I worry a little bit on the defensive side of the ball if they're going to be fully engaged. Uh, but this team is a rightful favorite atop the division, and I think that's as much to do with the uncertainty around the trio of teams that they'll take on to try and win the NFC South. The Falcons, we have no idea what to expect. Carolina, I think, is a year or two away from being legitimate contenders. Uh, and the wandering nomads in the form of the New Orleans Saints, I just think they have the deck stacked against them, especially through the first eight, ten weeks of the regular season. Todd Furman is with us from the desert. At Todd Furman on Twitter, he is on the Pepsi hotline. BetTheBoardPodcast.com is where you go for his podcast, BetTheBoardPodcast.com. You guys keep up with everything in Vegas, absolutely everything. So this is admittedly a weird question, but if anybody would know, you would know. Coastal Carolina opened 27 and a half over Kansas. Can you remember a bigger favorite for a non-Power 5 team playing a Power 5 team than this? 
You know, this will be one of the bigger numbers, and I think a lot of that has to do, obviously, with Kansas's ineptitude over the last couple of seasons and then Coastal's trajectory. Normally, you wouldn't even get these kind of games. I mean, if Kansas had the foresight years ago to realize that Coastal was going to be a budding power, uh, you don't take this game by any stretch of the imagination. But what I think is fascinating, when you dig into not only this number and you try and figure out what it means in a historical context, you look at what Coastal's numbers were against Kansas each of the last couple of years, you know, back in 2020, we're talking about Kansas as a seven-point underdog, uh, and Coastal was a seven-point underdog themselves. So this is more, guys, than a five-touchdown adjustment or thereabouts in just the span of three years. So you give Jamie Chadwell credit for the program he's building, and you understand the reclamation project that Lance Leopold has on his hands in Lawrence. Uh, one of the big marquee games, 11 o'clock Central Time, Oregon, Ohio State. It opened at 11 and a half. It's gone up to 14 and a half. I brought this number up earlier on the show, Furman. Since 2000, Oregon's been 14-plus point underdogs. They're 0-6 straight up. They've only covered one of those games. I don't know where the public's going to land on this game. I find it hard to not lay the points uh, based on what I saw from Oregon last week. And you mentioned those games. Not only are they 0-6 straight up, they're 1-5 against the number, and they've lost by an average of 25 points per game. So when Oregon is outclassed, they haven't exactly been all that competitive. The big storyline here and speculation, as you guys know all too well, will be about Kevon Thibodeau. If he's able to go, it changes how this Oregon defense can go out there and attack a young quarterback making his first home start. If he's unable to go, in addition to the injury to Drew Mathis, a veteran linebacker, uh, and some questions that we have about this Oregon secondary, I'm right there with you. It's the definition of a lay it or don't play it type scenario. The biggest fear I have with Oregon in this spot, yes, they should be able to run the ball or they're going to have to commit to getting C.J. Verdell uh, and die into the mix. But as we've seen the last couple of years, if you're going to beat Ohio State, you have to have a vertical passing game. And I don't get the feeling that Anthony Brown can bring that particular element here. Uh, I think C.J. Stroud will only get better as the season goes on. We saw Ryan Day really eliminate a good portion of the field and allow Stroud in his debut to just throw outside the hashes. He was 0 of 1 throwing between them. And I think if Ohio State's able to get an early lead, it can snowball quickly, throwing in the fact that they're going to have an extra two days to prepare. They don't lose a day of travel. Uh, but I do think you will see an appetite for the underdog a little bit. Uh, but for me, it's favorite or pass. Hey, listen, UAB beat LSU and Nick Saban back in the day. And, and this UAB program is more consistent than that UAB program was back then. Um, we just saw Georgia with maybe one of the best defensive efforts I've seen in a long time. What do you make of UAB Georgia between the hedges this weekend? Uh, for me, the only way to look at this game would be to try and make a case for the Blazers uh, as live underdogs. Uh, you get the feeling from Kirby's comments talking about potential virus outbreaks and not knowing which Georgia players could be impacted that this is the definition of a workmanlike effort. You go out there, you try and run the ball, you win the game by 14 to 17 points, and you move on to bigger challenges. Uh, but I'll say this, and I don't think it'll come as a surprise to you guys, UAB will go into this contest, in my opinion, as the better coach football team. So it's always attractive when you get this many points in your back pocket. I think the best way to go about it, if you believe UAB is the side, you make a correlated parlay because the only way the Blazers get you to the window is the game stays under the total. So taking the dog plus the 24 and parlaying it under 46, Six, if your book allows you to do it, uh, it's probably a plus EV investment for this Saturday. Todd Furman is with us at Todd Furman on Twitter, bettheboardpodcast.com. He's on the Pepsi hotline. Um, this is a look ahead question, but it, it, it pertains to this week. You'll, I think you'll understand. What was the preseason line for Alabama, Florida? And what is the line now that Vegas has had a chance to digest what the quarterback situation looked like at Florida last Saturday? So preseason number, I saw widely available right around 13-ish. Um, uh, everywhere was under two touchdowns. If there was a 14 and a half out there, it didn't happen to come across my desk. As I look at my power numbers right now, if this game was played on a neutral field, Florida's power number for me last week remained unchanged with a workmanlike effort against FAU. Alabama, I upgraded by two points, maybe a little bit of a leap of faith, only because uh, I don't have that much respect for Manny Diaz. Uh, and his defensive game plans. Uh, but I make this game on a neutral field in that 16 and a half, 17 range. You factor in home field in Gainesville. I think books are going to have to open it north of two touchdowns and beg for a little bit of dog action at plus 14 and a half or better. Otherwise, they're going to get one way traffic, much like they saw in Alabama's opener against Miami. Uh, week one betters um, can get, once they get that look for them, and they can get them in trouble for week two. And one of those games, I was salivating to see what it would come out at on Sunday was the Cyhawk Trophy, Iowa, Iowa State. 
Iowa State, obviously, they went through the motions. They found a way to beat Northern Iowa. Iowa completely dominated Indiana. I thought this number would open Iowa State three. It opens five. It's tilted down to four. One of my favorite plays on the game, though, is Iowa State. Our favorite plays on the board is Iowa State minus four. What do you like in this one? I'm right there with you. When I look at these two teams, they couldn't have had more disparate results last weekend as far as a scoreboard perspective. People look at Iowa State struggling to slip by UNI 16-10, but it was a game professional bettors were betting the underdog. That game was 31.5, bet down to 28. Uh, and you don't have to be a, a Harvard economics major to realize if a team only scores 16, it's tough to cover as a 28-point favorite. So easy cover there. Meanwhile, Iowa, at least on the scoreboard, appeared to dominate Indiana, uh, but they had two defensive touchdowns. They only had three three explosive plays, and I think that was much more about Michael Penix, who looked to be operating at about 60% for IU than it was anything great that Iowa did. What is interesting about this matchup, and I wanted to dig into some of the history because we know the struggles that Iowa State's had over the years. Uh, This will be the first ranked matchup uh, between these two programs in series history. It's the first time that Iowa State will be favored over Iowa going all the way back to 2000 in Kirk Ferentz's second season. And the first time that Iowa State has been favored over a top 20 opponent, guys, in 40 years. 131 games have been played in that span. So it puts in perspective what's at stake here. I love the fact that Iowa State is embracing the heel roll wearing black jerseys, which has pissed off everybody (laughs) in the Iowa fan base. And I think if you can't win here, if you're Matt Campbell, to try and get this program going forward, you're never going to beat your in-state rival. So I'm right there with you. It's a lay it or don't play it. It is a little bit scary because I know we all could see a scenario where Iowa State's up 10, dominates the whole game, and Iowa comes marching in that back door for that irrelevant touchdown with a few minutes left. Um, I don't I don't know how good NC State is or how good the ACC is, um, but Mississippi State had to score 20 in the fourth quarter to come back and beat La Tech. Can you make either side interesting in the NC State-Mississippi State game in Starkville? Night game there. Uh, Mike Leach is a wild card, but I feel like maybe something clicked in the fourth quarter for his offense. You know, it's always interesting because when you look at Mike Leach's history, last year kind of being the lone exception where he shocked the world and beat LSU, although when you go back, it's not really as big a win as it appeared to be at the time, his teams do not perform week one. I mean, there's a variety of instances when he was head coach at Washington State where they would struggle with FCS opponents. I believe they lost to Portland State one year. So that was kind of indicative of what we've seen. I look at this NC State team, and I actually think this is a very good football team because Devin Leary gives them an element that they didn't have last year with Bailey Hockman. Uh, Dave Dorn has talked extensively about how they've raised the overall recruiting profile uh, of this program. They have some SEC speed in the backfield. If NC State is going to be a legitimate contender, and on paper they might be the biggest threat in the ACC to Clemson, this is a game you have to win in Starkville. I actually lean NC State under a field goal because I do worry a little bit about the erratic nature of Mississippi State's offense, but I was actually hoping State Mississippi State at that opened as a one-and-a-half, two-point favorite. Uh, at two-and-a-half, three, I think it's a fair number, but I do think NC State can go down there and get the win. This is a night game on ESPN+, Plus, but I think this is one of the most fun games on the board. Tell me if I'm crazy that it's not going to be as fun as I think. Liberty at Troy. I was just I was just thinking about this game. No, that's going to be a fun game, I think. Uh, Liberty's a five-point favorite down in Troy. Well, uh, I have it at four because I was going to play you got it at four? I was going to play it in my uh, yeah. upset alert. Yeah, this seems like a pretty fun game to me. And I think it's going to go a long way in terms of telling us how far this Troy program has come. And we saw last year them battle tooth and nail with Coastal with a chance to pull off that upset. I will say it's attracted sharp money on the home underdog. Um, This number was as high as six in some spots with the Trojans getting a little bit of the cash. We know that Liberty will have the headliner in Malik Willis, but I think everywhere else in this Flames roster, there are more questions, in my opinion, than answers. And honestly, it would have no problem making a case for the dog dabbling on the money line. And it will actually be a game that I spent spend a good amount of time watching, trying to get a better idea of exactly where Troy will stack up in the Sunbelt pecking order. Yeah, because you uh, you went Sunbelt on us week one and gave us a little hint on the air about South Alabama. I'm assuming that's the side you had in that game, right? Uh, that was indeed. Uh, and uh, you know what? It's amazing. When you get a college quarterback playing in the Sunbelt who's been a starter for 13 years at the college level like Jake <laughs> Bentley, uh, it was good to see him go out there and uh, get the ball to an NFL caliber wide out in Javon Knight. But was more impressed by South Alabama's defensive line that really took over that game uh, against the USM defense, uh, offensive front. All right, do you have another? You got. You don't have to tell us the side. We want people to go bettheboardpodcast.com, <laughs> but you have another hot play there? Uh, you know, we have a total that we went after, so folks are going to have to go listen. It is one of the marquee games, though, with some household brands uh, that we elected to attack, so encourage people to check that out. 
Uh, and But I will give you a degenerate special as well. I know the total's been bet up a little bit, uh, but for the get-out game, personally went over 62 in Hawaii, Oregon State. Uh, I know people love a little Pac-12 after dark, and I think we could see the Beavers break out in this spot. So that's probably the total I like the most, and it just happens to be the final game of the day. That is a 10 p.m. kick on FS1. I'll be on. <laughs> 10 p.m. That's about <laughs> as late as it gets around here, boys. 10 o'clock kick, FS1, if you want to watch Hawaii and Oregon State to see if Furman is correct. All right, Furman, have a great weekend, man. Enjoy all the games. Always a pleasure, gents. Uh, you guys enjoy this way too early SEC bye week for all the in-state programs. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it used to happen at the end of the year. It's at the front end now. All right, Furman, <laughs> thanks a lot. That's Todd Furman on the Pepsi Hotline, BethTheBoardPodcast.com, at Todd Furman on Twitter. You also see him on Fox CBS. A little late-night beaver play right there, Hawaii and Oregon State, 10 o'clock on FS1. Now, see, I've got Troy at plus four. If you give me four and a half, I would take Troy in my upset alert. I think Troy <sighs> wins that game outright. All right, let me refresh here. Uh, it, 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 I just got four too, but I, yeah. I don't care. Yeah, I've got it at four. <laughs> it's, it's it I mean, started, it started it. at five. That was the one I was going to play earlier. That I was Dunaway is at. doing everything he can to get out of the play he actually made. Well, I mean, Northern Illinois, it's only 68% of the public's on that one right now. <laughs> and how does that usually go, Lance? Uh, well, this past weekend, it wasn't bad. Public win, song. stick with it. This, I'm telling you, these are the ones you win. You overthink it, you'll lose. You there, put zero. There will be, there will be a, at least half the plays on the board the public will hit this week. I, I'm telling you, just got to be able to pick the right ones against. <laughs> the problem, I am right? telling you that people are looking at Chip Lindsay at Troy and Hugh Freeze at Liberty, and they think Liberty's going to go down there to the wire grass. That is the wire grass. Down to the wire grass and just mop the floor over Troy, and I don't think it's going to happen. No, I think Troy could win this game. I think they could win the game yeah. outright. Well, I mean, look, the number has been bet down to four for a reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. By Sharps. Yeah, I'm not as sure Furman just told you. Liberty's as good as they were last season. Big. Liberty was really good last year. Yeah. Big game for Chip, man. It, it needs, is. Needs a little momentum of a program that's used to winning. I think this would be his quality win. I mean, this would be his signature win, not quality win, his signature win, maybe. Yeah. So far. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Rockstar, are you going down there? You and your wife go to a lot of Troy games. No, we're not going. To, I usually go to one or two a year. Maybe we'll wait till later in the season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. let's see what you guys, see what Troy's wait, got. Wait till, wait, wait till it's cold and and nobody's at the game. Right? right. I did what, what was the big Coastal Carolina. Yeah, that was a good game. Yeah, it was. It was back to back kickoff returns for touchdowns. Uh-huh. You, you rarely get that. Rock did you star. stand at all? I stood. I didn't cheer or anything. I wouldn't. Yeah, I, I mean, you want to embarrass cheer yourself. Do you yeah. cheer at a Rams game? Do you stand up and like yeah, pump I your fist? Do, yeah. <laughs> hey, part of our show, whether you're listening down in the Wiregrass in Troy or in Knoxville, Tennessee, all over the SEC and Sunbelt footprint, you get our friends at Wayne's. They take care of us here on the show. Exclusive providers for all the services at the next round. Uh, That includes termite prevention, protection, pest prevention and protection, mosquito control, and lawn care services. Right now, you can tackle termites with our friends at Wayne's. Right now, use the promo code TNR for $60 off your initial EnviroPest service. I've got to use that promo code today myself. New location I'm living right now. Got to get Wayne's hooked up over there. I'll do that by calling 866-WAYNES1. 866-WAYNES1. TNR, the checkout code, $60 off your initial EnviroPest service. All over the SEC footprint. Locally owned since 1973 and headquartered right here in the football capital of the South, Birmingham, Alabama. It's our great friends at Wayne's. 866 Wayne's one make them a part of your life. You'll never regret that. And your lawn would never look better. You always think pests with Wayne's. Your mm. lawn will never look better when you use our friends at Wayne's. They'll make it look perfect. All right. A lot to do, including our little bet that I do every year, usually in the middle of the summer, but we were busy this summer. So we're going to do it here the day before it kicks off. I'm going to give you not one, not four, but eight guaranteed playoff teams. I win a stake. When all eight of them make the playoffs, they all eight have to make the playoffs. Brown, how many years have I won this? Uh, Jim, you've never hit this. I have never got this right. It yep. seems so you do. easy. You do. It yep. seems so easy. Uh, what happens your time. every year, like, for instance, San Francisco last year, a little quarterback named Jimmy Garoppolo got hurt. Never know, man. And things went south. That's right. right. Well, I think you had the Cowboys, too. Uh, I had the Cowboys, and a little guy named Dak Prescott got hurt. He was on a record pace, too. Yep. Of course, they so, couldn't stop running water, but... So I'm going to pick eight teams. There's a good chance that uh, 25% of their quarterbacks get hurt. That's usually what happens. It's next on the next round. Follow Dunaway on Twitter and Instagram at Jim Dunaway.
My wife and I are getting the best sleep we've ever had, and it is all thanks to Sleep Outfitters. Ryan Brown here for the next round. It is so easy when you go to Sleep Outfitters and get that sleep outfitting done for you. We went to the 280 location, answered a few simple questions with their friendly staff, and in mere moments, they had us actually laying on beds to find the one we liked the best. That Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress that we have, it's absolutely wonderful, and it's all thanks to the Sleep Outfitting at Sleep Outfitters. And now during Sleep Outfitters Labor Day Super Sale, save up to $800 on adjustable mattress sets from Tempur-Pedic and Stearns and & Foster. This week only, get a TV valued up to $300, yours free with qualifying purchases. Plus, get any size mattress for the everyday twin size price. Choose from all Sealy Outfitters and Sealy Posturepedic models and get fulls, queens, and even kings as low as $349. You save up to $500. You can also get interest-free financing for up to six years on approved credit and free premier delivery with any purchase $5.99 and up. So don't miss the Labor Day Super Sale now at Sleep Outfitters, six stores from Gadsden to the Galleria. Hey, if you're looking for a local agent to handle all of your insurance needs, you need to call my good friend James Anthony at the James Anthony Agency, 205-985-7717. Hoover, Birmingham, Northport, and Tuscaloosa has been in business over 20 years. The James Anthony Agency. One more of the next round? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast. The Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, and the entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. Start your day online at nextroundlive.com. Get all the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. And it's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. Want more of the show? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast. The Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, and our entire Double Down Media podcast family, all at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. Let's face it, we all have a favorite something. This is LT, talking about my favorite men's store, Shea's in downtown Homewood. Why do I like this store so much? And what makes Shea so unique? Well, to start, they have been in business since 1922. Yes, 1922. And they offer an eclectic mix of menswear brands from classic to contemporary, such names as Zinnia, Canali, Peter Millar, and many more. They have an in-house alteration personnel who understands that fit is key. And Shea's gets it right. Whether they're fitting a suit, shirt, or jeans, they offer unbeatable service with a sales staff that truly understands the products and how they fit your individual lifestyle in any occasion, whether it's your work, leisure time with friends, or a formal event like a wedding, stop by Shea's and see if you don't agree. This store is simply the best. That is Shea's, an historic downtown Homewood, where you will feel at home when you arrive and well-dressed when you leave. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round. You've heard me for years talk about our friends at Bromberg's Jewelers, and we welcome you to stop by and see that great customer service at the Mountain Brook and Summit locations. But we'd also love for you to check out their new online shop. They've got plenty to choose from, great gifts, big and small. Available online, they've got David Yurman, Tudor Watches, Select Diamond and Gemstone Jewelry, William Henry, seasonal and favorite giftware items and baby gifts as well. They've even got an online sell section. For more information, Bromberg's.com. Authentic mouth-watering Louisiana cuisine prepared fresh from scratch. That's what you get at Walk-Ons and now mix in the best atmosphere to watch live sports. Add that elite level beer selection and you've got a winner just off Highway 280 and 119. Happy hour at Walk-Ons is 2 to 6 Monday through Friday. $5 moonshine swirls, $5 house pours, and half price appetizers. Download the Walk-Ons mobile app for an easy take-home experience for the family. It's game day with a taste of Louisiana at Walk-Ons. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round. Are you thinking about football season? I know I am in this football season. Are you ready to have the better distance vision? That's right. Sitting in the stands, seeing all the plays on the field. LASIK surgery may be right for you. Call Michelson Laser Vision to make a no-cost, no-obligation appointment today. And with their affordable payment plans, you can afford to have it all. Football tickets and LASIK surgery, 969-8100. Dr. Mark Michelson, Dr. Jen Michelson, make that call today. Michelson Laser Vision, 969-8100. I need more time, LT. Lock, lock of the day every day. 
brought to you by Iron Mountain Drains and Plumbing, ironmountainworld.com. Jeremy Purvis and the guys. I need Jeremy. on. Can I phone a friend right now to help me with these eight picks? Jeremy Purvis uh, th- would help This me out. is going to be the easiest that you've ever had this. Mm. Mm. It's mm. not that easy. I think it's very, there, very there's easy. There's storylines everywhere. It's but Jer- story Jeremy Purvis will help you when you have a storyline with your plumbing, whether it's uh, your toilet, a leaky faucet, Jetter Services, residential, commercial, Iron Mountain drains and plumbing. Just drain it. So we lost the lock yesterday with the Phillies. They got demolished. Aaron Nola was not good on the hill. Um, look, the Reds very much in the playoff picture. The Cubs have had a terrible season, but I'm taking the Cubs at home at a pick. Reds are minus 120, but swinging back the other way on that money line, I'm getting the Cubs at a pick. Uh, 740 first pitch. I'll take the Cubs as your lock tonight. That is the lock of the day right here. We do this every year where I pick eight playoff teams. And I got to get them all right. I've never hit this in the history of us all being together. But you continue to try, which is what I like. I do. And Brown, can you tell me about Greystone Chiropractic? Well, I'll make, I got I to gotta decide between. I'm down to two teams. I've, I've got the eight he should have picked. The eight, I think, are really easy. And I do think that you think you've got this this, this year. No, I thought I had it last year. And... <laughs> And then instantly when I was over with, everybody's like, how, how did you leave Seattle off the list? Well, they made the playoffs. Yeah. And I left them off the list. Will you just show me the two you're down to before I tell, them about, tell the good people about Greystone? I am down to... Greystone Chiropractic is what I'm, I'm going to tell them about. Right Tough ones. You probably think both of them should be in. Oh, God. Um, if I get nine, will you give me two stakes? Uh, if you can go perfect, um, if you can get me all postseason teams, I'll give you Oh, two. my gosh, Lance. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. That's yeah. two stakes done away. Like, you're a giver. Yeah. No. Hold on and watch these pigs fly. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll I'll give like you three you to one. Did the motion. Yeah, I didn't know what that and was. And it wasn't that painful. <laughs> it's like it's happened to it before. <laughs> Just slide right out. Go ahead. Uh, Greystone Chiropractic. Hey, Jim, listen, man. Being properly aligned is everything, right? Greystone Chiropractic and Dr. Lee Goldenberg helped me be properly aligned. I went there just to try to get loose from a golf swing. And what I found out was having a properly aligned spine, your nervous system, it helps everything. All of your cells, your tissues, your organs, everything is helped by that proper alignment. So do what Dr. Lee says. Enjoy a healthier life today. I trust Dr. Lee Goldenberg with my family. You can go there as well. GraystoneChiropractor.com to make an appointment. GraystoneChiropractor.com or call 205-981-8090 right there in Tattersall Park in their beautiful new facility just off 280 and 119, 981-8090 for Graystone Chiropractor. Um, we lost the chat in here, Rockstar. Can you refresh it? Usually the folks help me out here, and, uh, and uh, I'm not getting help from the chat room over there. Mm. Well, we had an issue. The, oh, we the cleared compu- it out. Yeah, the computer uh, shut itself down for some reason, so we had to restart everything. So right. I guess that starts a whole new stream. Yep. So you're on your own here, Jim. I mean, Mike, could you delay this anymore? No, you've had Lance do the like. You've had me do a commercial. You've asked Rockstar to refresh the chat. <laughs> I mean, do you need Roger Goodell to come in here with an envelope? The Kansas City Chiefs are number one. Okay. Oh, that's a shot. bold one. That's yep. a great pick. Well, I mean, some of these have to be obvious, I'm kidding. guys. I don't care. <laughs> okay, that was one that I had on my list, believe it or not. Our <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs. The Buffalo Bills is All number right. two on my the, list. The, I've got the Buffalo Bills on my list is oh. one of your eight that you have to have. Lance says the two best teams in the NFL, you've picked those. The Los Angeles Rams, you've got to put them on the They're list. They're a given. You'd be stupid I, not I, to put I them I would on. have put, I mean, look, Sean McVay and – Three seasons, he's been to the postseason twice, or in four seasons, he's been to the postseason three se- th- three times, and this might be at least his best offense he's ever had. So now's where it gets interesting. Those are the three automatic. I, I Every, disagree. You, you can make a case that the, that something could go wrong with these others that keep it from happening. Okay, okay, once you go on record with it, you're on, though, right? So I can react naturally if you do mess yeah, this if up. Said, if card you, late if is you a card this player. up, yeah. I get to react naturally. That's right, right? yes. Okay, so when I right, say – then I'm going to change on the Kansas. Fly here. Oh, yeah, that's smart. Oh, I do that's like good. you doing this. Gosh. Kansas City, Buffalo, and Los Angeles. I just scratched one <laughs> out right here. We got the chat back. Come on, guys, help me out. We just, um, we just, I just scratched one out that was a given with me. But since I'm going to say it, I'm trying to avoid the one quarterback injury 
that that cost me last year, like the Dak Prescott injury. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to. So avoid you're that. now predicting injuries well, that, as well. Yeah. I, mean, I don't you, feel great that Chad Henney's going to lead Kansas City to the postseason. Wait, you have to predict. You have to project injuries. Um, How do you do that though? I'm I'm going to take. This is a gamble, but I'm going to take the Tennessee Titans to make the playoffs. So Dunaway asked me in the hallway, coming back from the men's room. Okay, I, I, who's I, that Tennessee team? I just feel better. I lean that Tennessee makes the playoffs, but I did not have them as one of my well, shoe in eights. Here's where, here's what I here was my advice to Dunaway because he asked me about Tennessee, and I said, "Well, Jim, it, it's abundantly clear Houston's not going to start Deshaun Watson the whole season. They're not even starting him week one. You probably won't see him play. I don't think you're going to see him play. So you could probably drop Houston out." Yep. I don't think Jacksonville is going to make it. Lance thinks they've got a shot, but you don't go from the first pick to the playoffs no, very often right. in the NFL. I think, I think it's so, down to the Colts and so, the so Titans. So it's, it's a two-team division, and that's what I told him. I said, best case, how many divisions can you get down to two teams? You got that one down to yeah, two. Yeah, I mean, the organization, the Colts, better better GM, in my opinion, Chris Ballard, but Carson Wentz. He's already hurt. Card. He's already hurt. Yeah, I mean, but if he, Carson Wentz played 17 games, I would feel really good about the Colts winning that division, but the Titans still could get I it think in his you, I think they you've made a good pick. Both 11-5 and five last year, but this is my first one I'm a little excited about. Um, I am going to squeeze in the Cleveland Browns. Okay, I would have had them as one of my eight. I, I like that play. I just think their ability to run the football, and I think Baker's a good quarterback. Um, I'm going to take – and it, people are like, it's so stupid, Jim. You take two from the same division. Well, they're a oh, wild card Happens teams. all the time. Um, but I'm going to take the San Francisco 49ers again. I, I, I hyped them up too much for you, but yeah. No, I mean, I took them last year, Lance. I obviously well, like San well, yeah, Francisco. Yeah, because they played in the Super Bowl the year before, Dunaway. Yeah, I don't but, think you would have taken them this year, but that's okay. <laughs> but did, no, I, I was going to take them. They've got okay. two quarterbacks. Okay. I like teams that have two well, quarterbacks. Now, it's one of my eight, though. When you were killing time making me do Greystone Chiropractor, you wrote down these two teams right here. One of them is San Francisco that you were thinking about. Yep, and I'm going to take the other one, too, I think. Okay, so, all right. Well, so that means these are teams seven and eight in your playoffs. And they were eight and nine, but eight I've, and nine. I've taken off an obvious one right now. Okay. All right. So where are we? We've got Kansas City, Buffalo, Rams, Tennessee, Cleveland, San Francisco. That's right. Six. Give so me I seven and two, eight. I got two more. Yeah. And these are the hard ones. And again, I think right now uh, five of your six are really good. Tennessee would be the only shaky one. And again, they're coming off at 11 and five. They've got Julio Jones. Don't trust the defense, though. Um, I'm going to take. I mean, everyone says I shouldn't, but just to make the playoffs, I'm going to get Tampa Bay into the playoffs. Yeah, I would have taken Tampa. Yeah. I mean, that would be a monumental disappointment. Now, again, I don't know how many years this goes back. The team that loses the Super Bowl typically just doesn't go to the postseason. Yep. I and mean, I t- took Super Bowl, which, you know, runner-up last year, and they yeah. missed the playoffs. And 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 that's what I, I went back to because you've got Kansas City, who loses the Super Bowl to your Tampa Bay Bucks, and year before you had San Francisco. All right, so There's the only no pick of his you aren't crazy about right now is Tennessee. Yeah, and I still think it's not a bad pick. Yeah. Yep. Would have been in my top ten. Um, Number eight, Jim. I know. Uh, the you said one, you were taking that one right there. I, I was going to take that one right there, but I'm, I'm really – I'm thinking about it. Bro. Are you bringing this one back in? I'm the bringing one the scratched one I scratched out? out back because he's the best – he's the MVP last year. But if he gets hurt – that team is garbage. It is loveless. That's true of almost any quarterback situation yeah. in the NFL. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, Tampa Bay would suck without Tom Brady. Of course they would. Um, well, you got Kyle Trask there. So, I mean, I'm down. I'm choosing. So, don't comment, LT. I'm choosing between Green Bay and New England. Was Green Bay the one you scratched out? Green Bay is the one I scratched out. Okay. Because there's just something about Aaron Rodgers this year that if he gets hurt... Can I help him here? That, no, no, do you, do no, you no, mind? no. Okay. Oh, I, I, I don't mind. No, but I'm I, not going to help. I'm the pro- just the gonna, problem just is, point something out. The problem is, is that Miami could block New England from getting there. I'm counting on Tennessee be, at least being a wild card. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four um, from the AFC. I'm going to take Green Bay and just hope Aaron Rodgers doesn't get hurt. So I go Kansas City, Buffalo, the Rams, Titans, Browns, Niners, Buccaneers, and Packers. Bastard. I wanted you to take New England. I think New England gets in. I definitely think Green Bay gets in. Well, here's my deal. Unless he snaps that clavicle again. Um, First time, I mean, a rookie, as good as Matt Jones has looked, rookie taking a team to the playoffs, it's pretty rare. I mean, let's just go through it last year. I mean, how many rookies got to the playoffs? How many rookie quarterbacks? Um, That would be zero. Yeah. Yeah. But just to show how hard this is, on the fly here, which is the way I always do it, (laughs) 
give me your eight and give me your eight, and there's nothing on the line for you. Yeah, guys, no, but. I had San Fran, I had the Rams, I had Green Bay, I had Tampa, I had Buffalo, I had KC, Cleveland. The only difference, I had Baltimore. You had yeah, Baltimore I think I'd go, instead of Tennessee. I'd go Baltimore yep. instead of Tennessee. I think you've got everything. I would agree with Lance on all that. Baltimore so, was the one that I was surprised you didn't go J.K. With. Dobbins doesn't scare you. Not really. People starting maybe to figure out Lamar doesn't scare you. And actually, I would have gone Pittsburgh – New England, I'm just talking about the teams in front of your Tennessee. Those two, um, you did a, I'll tell you where you did really well was avoiding altogether the NFC East. Yeah, somebody's got to win yeah. that division, but good luck picking But it. I feel like it's Washington. I would say it's, I would say it's the Cowboys, but the, the big question is the health of Dak Prescott. And a lot of people would say this is the year the Giants take a step forward. I think Washington's defense is good. The Cowboys are just, I mean, they're, they're so high profile. You left Seattle out again. I did leave Seattle out again. <laughs> eventually, eventually, people are going to catch up to Pete Carroll. <laughs> I'll be the one of the greatest coaches of all time. Um, I mean, I feel good about seven or eight again. Injuries, always you never the X know. Factor. Yeah, well, you just never know. You can't what, predict those. That's what kicked me in the teeth last year. I mean, San Francisco is a playoff team, and Dak was playing so good. Uh, the comments. Um, Blake has done away going to reverse landmine his Tampa Bay Buccaneers. No, I ended up picking them after you, you sent can't, that. You can't do it without Tampa in it. Yeah. Um, Andrew, which NFC East quarterback do you trust? Dak? Do you trust Dak the most? Uh, oh, yes. Don't, don't, don't try. I'd put Jalen Hurts at the bottom, then Ryan Fitzpatrick, then I would go Daniel Jones. And then Dak. Dak's the most trusted NFC yeah, East quarterback. Right, for close. sure, yeah. Well, it really, I, the more, when you say it like that, it really is dumb not to put no. the Cowboys in No, here. no, no. Did you see oh, their, hey, did look, you see their you defense? Want? No, no, no. You can no. you can sub out any of those teams you want. I'm ju I'm just saying that you know it's hard to believe Daniel Jones is going to get it done. I love Jalen Hurts. I just don't think the Eagles are good. Washington's a good team. You the really Eagles. didn't have any stones not picking an NFC East team. Well, that's what they're saying in the chat. I don't have to pick an NFC East team, Chad. <laughs> Chad, in the chat room. What are you wearing, Chad? Chat room, Chad. Yeah, chat room, Chad. Uh, part of our show today being brought to you by the great folks at the University of Montevallo, my school. You know what they didn't teach me there? Gambling. They, they, well, they did. You, you learned. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You lost a Tercel did. there and a saxophone. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> lost a lot of stuff there. College of Distinction, 10 years running. Names. Uh, they've been named a 2021 Best Value School and one of the top 15 public universities in the South by the folks at U.S. News and World Report. Even Southern Living, says Montevallo is one of the South's most beautiful college campuses. You get all of that with a great tuition price, small classrooms so, so that your son and daughters excel academically, 75 majors. They're adding new majors and minors all the time for some of the most in-demand careers in the marketplace now. It's a growing, vibrant place with 21 Division II NCAA college, uh, college scholarship sports. You can get a scholarship, get your college paid, uh, paid for while you play college athletics at Montevallo. They even have a university sponsored esports team and a national championship bass fishing team. Just a fleet of beautiful boats at the University of Montevallo. Call it the Montevallo Navy. Check it out online. Get an in person tour, Montevallo.edu. Montevallo.edu. So both of you have exactly the same eight picks that you would do. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I thought the eight were pretty easy this year. Yeah. I mean, I think Baltimore is your glaring hole, but hey, you may be right. I mean, basically, for me and Lance, it comes down to Tennessee or yeah, Baltimore. Yeah, I think Sports Center scared you off because I saw a big piece. Baltimore will injuries cost them the postseason? No, I mean, I I don't I haven't watched Sports Center this week, but J.K. Dobbins getting hurt, it just seems like one of those decisions that haunt Har Harbaugh all year long. It's just they're such a good organization, and Baltimore is always now. You know, one of the problems, kind of like what the Rams and San Francisco are dealing with right now, is those to me are the most loaded divisions out there. The That's AFC a tough North. Division. In the NFC West. Because even the bottom of that division would be Cincinnati. Who could steal a game. Yeah. I mean, if Joe Burrow's healthy all year, that's that's a kind of a 500-type team. Wouldn't you think? Yeah, and I would think that just, I mean, based on numbers in Vegas, Baltimore, Cleveland, and Pittsburgh will all split. Because all of those teams yeah. will be favored against each other yeah. at home. All right. One more segment to go. That's our um, usual July exercise of picking uh, teams, but I just dropped it on you right here the day before the start of the National Football League. No college action tomorrow night uh, after we had a great Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday of college action. They leave Thursday to the opening night where they'll hang the second Super Bowl championship banner down in Tampa tomorrow night. Dallas and Tampa in primetime. 
Then the college game cranks back up on Friday with an interesting Kansas and Coastal Carolina game to quick kick off the college football weekend. When we come back, a little more final thoughts on the college football scene for week two on the next round. Follow the next round on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Next Round Live. Adam first. You always come first. Ryan Brown here for the next round. This is especially true in the Amherst Summer of Freedom. That's why Amherst is offering their very best rates to members right now. So you can hit the road and see it all with an even lower auto loan. And while you're feeling so free, you'll get even more for free from Amherst. Like free gas when you refinance your car, free rewards on checking, and the chance to get more free in giveaways and prizes. Amherst is making your summer freer than ever. Because this is your summer. The summer of freedom at Amherst. For more information, visit Amherst dot org slash promotions this is available to qualifying members only certain restrictions apply am first is an equal housing lender in mls 403456 federally insured by the ncua no purchase is necessary for complete offer details and rules call 1-800-633-8431 or visit amfirst.org Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Vulcan Tire and Automotive. Four great locations right here in Birmingham. The team at Vulcan Tire and Automotive, they feel it's important for you to know they don't employ any salespeople or technicians that are incentivized with your commissions. When you are getting your vehicle serviced, the team is only incentivized to take care of you and your vehicle. That doesn't happen everywhere, but it does happen at Vulcan Tire and Automotive. Again, four locations right here in Birmingham, Hoover, Moody, Trustful, and Gardendale. For more information, Vulcan Tire and Auto.com. The late summer weather is perfect for a stop at Timberline Golf Club. The Jerry Payton design course was voted by Golf Magazine as one of the best courses you can play in Alabama. A short drive from Birmingham on I-65, exit 228. Get tee times at TimberlineGC.com or call 205-668-7888. Great playing conditions year-round and ask the pro Joe Cruzy about the TrackMan driving range where you can use the same technology as the pros. For lessons and tee times, it's TimberlineGC.com. Stuck living in your parents' basement, looking to purchase your first home, but worried you need perfect credit, a big down payment, and a six-figure job? Don't be fooled. Mortgage Right is here to myth bust these misconceptions. With their variety of loan options, fast and free pre-approval letters, and a simple application process, Mortgage Right makes mortgages easy, which is ideal for first-time home buyers. Don't let the home buying miss keep you from leaving the nest. Learn the facts and spread your wings. Visit MortgageRight.com to get started. NMLS 2239. Take a second to listen to me. Do you have problems sleeping? Is your energy down? Your workout's not the same. Is your libido down? Your problem could be as simple as low testosterone. Whatever the challenge, the Alabama Men's Clinic has a solution. You can come in, get a medical consultation and blood work. If medically advised and you start your low T treatments that day in the office, your visit is free. Set up that appointment by calling 205-598-7000 or go to the website, alabamamensclinic.com. Another side effect could be depression, and most men wait a year or longer before ever getting tested. The goal line to better sleep, more energy, a rekindled love life, and more may be as simple as getting your low T checkup at Alabama Men's Clinic. Located in Birmingham to serve you, the number again, 205-598-7000 or one click at alabamamensclinic.com. That's alabamamensclinic.com. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Wayne's headquartered in Birmingham. They are committed to providing world-class service every time since 1973, serving over 100,000 families from businesses across SEC country, from Tuscaloosa to Auburn and Nashville to Knoxville, providing residential and commercial termite protection, pest prevention, mosquito control, and lawn care services. Put in promo code TNR for $60 off your initial EnviroPest service, 866-WAYNES1. Did you know one in eight men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer? September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and the expert urologists at Urology Centers of Alabama are leading the way in diagnosing and treating men with prostate cancer. Early detection is the key to survival. Guys, if you're over 50, it's time to have your PSA levels checked. It only requires a simple blood test and physical exam. With 13 convenient locations, making an appointment is a no-brainer. Visit urologycentersalabama.com or call 205-930-0920. 
Brownie, get some uh, responses to our Cowan Equipment poll question ready. Um, everyone's commenting on uh, the greatest characters from the HBO over the years, some that were left off and some that are just the favorites that maybe are not getting enough love. Like Kurt, who says, this poll just reminds me that Deadwood was canceled way too early. No, it really was. And there were so many good ensemble actors in that. And yep. Ian McShane, he, to me, led the cast. Timothy Oliphant, who went on, and he's had a lot of success with Justified. I mean, some really, really good. Powers Booth was in it. Yeah, I mean, he had set the table for some really good storylines, and then they just ended it. Yeah. yeah, and then they had the movie, which I didn't love. I thought the yeah. movie was very average. It was. Mostly when you're that far off, it, it usually is. Part of our show being brought to you by our friends at Nut Dust. Boy, they needed that back in the Deadwood days. Oh, can you imagine having that on the old saddlebag? <laughs> Nut Dust, <laughs> redefining the use and feel of body powder. Nut Dust is talc-free, all-natural body powder. It's great for all over the body. Feet below the belt, available in four great scents, Naked, Voyager, Laddie, and Wildling. All day, every day, Nut Dust has got you covered. I guarantee in those old saloon brothels, they would appreciate if the cowboy would have rolled in with the nut dust. Yeah. Go to officialnutdust.com, put in NR20. You'll get 20% off your entire purchase. Again, NR20, officialnutdust.com. Um, Clifton, J.K. Dobbins out for the year. I think that's what I was saying, and maybe I didn't say it correctly, but that was why I stayed away from the Ravens was the J.K. Dobbins injury. That's a big loss. I'm not going to pretend like it's not a big loss. But you get so much rushing out of the quarterback position on that team. Any back is going to be helped. Yeah, and I think that. Gus Edwards is good, but they lost another backup, and now they've gone out and they signed Le'Veon Bell to yep. the practice squad. It's blown by, but Tim believes Big Ben is going to be more like he was at the end of last year, not at the beginning of last uh, year. That is not good for the Steelers. I, I don't, you know, with this Matt Canada offense and, and now Najee there, I, I think Pittsburgh's going to be really good this Again, year. Again, I think Najee Harris leads the NFL in receiving yards by a running back. Yeah, he, he's looked the he's looked part. He's looked really, really good. Um, funny commercial, him and Scott Van Pelt with the Tony the Tiger commercial. That is good. I saw did, that the other day. Did you see DJ Dell doing a Saw's barbecue um, on Twitter uh, NIL yesterday? Yeah, he did, and uh, Pierce Quick did too, I think. Both yeah. of them got a Saul's barbecue. But we, D DJ munching on some of those great ribs. It was yeah. funny. Uh, Nicosi Perry got an, a beer company today. That's oh. the that's thought to be the first one in the Ooh. NCAA. I, I didn't there. think they could do He's that. He's 23. you got to be 21. Um, Paul, hopefully Baltimore signs T.J. Yeldon. Well, I'm hoping the Saints sign T.J. Yeldon because they cut Latavius Murray today, and he was supposed to be the backup down in New Orleans. He didn't refuse to take a pay cut, so they said, well, okay, goodbye. Dunaway the other day, I don't. you were in the office, I don't know if you heard him, but when he realized that the Ravens had signed Le'Veon Bell, he goes, how do they not sign T.J. Yeldon? Yeah. Like, thought, wait, there was a time. <laughs> Le'Veon Le Bell was almost the MVP. <laughs> he, was, he was the best running back in the uh, NFL just a couple years ago. Le'Veon Bell, TJ Yeldon. Le'Veon Bell, TJ Yeldon. It's not even TJ close. needs to uh, wave the white flag and to I, shut it down. No, he doesn't. Yeah, I he just does. How many really, yards do you need, do you think? I, I think it's 27. You continue to say his postseason yards aren't counted. I, I don't think it's being I don't I've think we're looking at the you. correct websites, the official NFL websites. Okay. Our uh, poll questions today uh, from Cowan Equipment, it, w it went back where we talked about um, a story we had in Trash on the Table. It was about in, you know the greatest characters in HBO history. And a lot of love for Game of Thrones, which was a great series, but four of the top ten probably overlooked some great characters. One of them was Swearingen. Yeah, Al Swearingen. <laughs> from, uh, from Deadwood. Yes, that is correct. Tony Soprano, Al Swearingen, Omar Little, and Tyrion Lannister. Tyrion Lannister. That's what you get for making fun of me. I did, yes. I thought, about, I thought about it just as soon as I did it. Jeff says, how do you leave off Kevin Garvey Jr. of The Leftovers? I never watched The Leftovers. Well, he was a good character. Uh, he was a good character, but The Leftovers, so out of left field. That's why you got so much Game of Thrones, Brown. Is it was the most popular, at least watched show yeah. in the history of HBO. A little too much of Game of Thrones. Ro Roger uh, said, uh, nobody from six feet under. Mm -hmm. It was good in its time. I, you know, I only saw one episode when he got T-boned, and that was it. Never saw it. Uh, True Blood, I never liked never it. My, it. My I, wife loved it. I watched the first couple of seasons, and it's just completely weird. And he said nothing from Entourage. Now, I, I've watched Entourage mm -hmm. probably start to finish five times. I mean, the only character that was worth anything was Ari Gold. Ari Gold is a great character. All the other characters were terrible. Ken says Chris O'Dowd from the Get Shorty Epics series. Got another for you there. Keith says Rust Cole. 
the Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, character. he was on the list. He was yeah. on the list, but he didn't make our poll. And uh, he keeps upset he didn't make the poll. I would say not one of the top four. I would say Sloan. I mean, she the, looked good, but she wasn't a good character. No, but of, of all... And it wasn't realistic. She wouldn't have dated that dude. Eric, the pizza, no. pizza boy? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, uh, Eric was one of the worst characters in the history of HBO. Have you ever watched a series that that um, that had some women lose their clothes and then always say, I wonder if ever she's going to do a, a topless scene in the pool or anything like that? I think that's what drew me in for the first yeah. five seasons of first Entourage. Five was seasons just, just waiting. I was just waiting. I wonder if this is the week. Here's, here's how this, is this the week Sloan's going to go. Here's how this works typically. Dipping. So um, the chick that played Khaleesi in Game of Thrones. Amelia um, Clark. Amelia Clark, yes. Um, and she's actually a brunette. Yeah, it dyes life. her hair, right? Yeah. But so in season one, she goes full nude. Right. And then gets famous. And then by the time they have to re-sign them for season two, she's such a pivotal character. Yeah, you know what I'm what? not yes, doing yeah, again? That's right. Nudity. Yeah, and that would have been the same with Sloan. I'm not taking my clothes off. That's yeah. right. So once you've made season five, you've gone too far. Yeah, like, I've, got, I've got no leverage. You want this part? Here's, here's the way the script's going to read in the first season. You're going to get naked. That's okay? Right. Sign me up. Mm-hmm. Season two ain't happening. I need a job season one. Did you ever, uh, in your, for those that don't know, LT was in Hollywood for a while. He's oh, no. in a couple of movies. Did you ever... Mm. Did you ever read a script where they were going to make you lose the clothes? Okay, first of all, I never got to the point where they were like, okay, you've got this role, so here's you your You ever did the, uh, the backroom casting couch? I told you the only part where the uh, – and this was a true story. I think I told this on the air. If I didn't, I don't know why I didn't. But when I did local theater years ago, there was – one of the directors in local theater was also a painter, and he wanted me to – he wanted to paint a portrait – and so he asked me, he's like, I'll give you, I think the number was $600 to let me paint you. And I was well, like, this is really bad, interesting. It's, it's bad lighting here. We got to do it in my basement. No, I will t- swear to God. Paint so, on you or paint No, you? he wanted to paint a portrait of me. And <laughs> paint he, on he you. He painted people for a living, okay? So he wanted <laughs> to give me $600 to do this portrait. So and I I'm said, assuming full nude. Well, look, so okay. I'm getting to this. Oh, point, I'm sorry. But no. So, I, you know, and this is back when, you know, just... Early on, raising a family, and I was like, it was actually Leighton. It was pre Jack. Leighton was probably one yeah, or two. You could have used six hundred bucks. Yeah, six hundred bucks would have been nice. So I said, okay, uh, where are we doing this? And he said, you'll come down to the theater. Okay. And I was like, um, what what kind of clothing am I wearing for this this portrait? Mm-hmm. And he was like, it's it's a full nude. Yeah. I was like, I'm fully out. Yes, so you, I want you fully out. Keep your six hundred bucks. <laughs> but you, you, there was well, not when a, I said fully out, I mean there was not a there was not a price that he could have gotten you to. Uh look, man, six twenty five. If you flip the rolls and you had Rose paint me like one of her French guys, <laughs> no, uh, I'm just saying I this mean, guy probably put me on a chase and and let Kate Winslet in her best days paint me. There, there's there's probably a small price, but were this you, dude zero chance. Were you going to be laid out with your arm over your head? I don't know what the hell he wanted. He probably had painted, uh, you know, bananas and apples and fruit bowls before. Yeah, did, he, did he tell so. you about the home and home for uh, Penn State and Auburn? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, that no. is such an inside <laughs> joke. Oh, boy. Can't <laughs> wait for tonight. Um, you, you know what would happen? Uh, that game's almost here, by the way. He'd have been, he would have been sitting there. He would have been trying to uh, paint you, and he'd been like, so what's it like tonight? Yeah. And, you know, they always, I mean, what is that conversation? Seriously, you're standing there nude. Oh, oh I've had, I've had. Stop moving. Yeah. No, I'm stop had, moving. I think this has happened more than once, but I have been at a urinal, and the guy next to me goes, "Hey, I really enjoy the show." And I'm like, "But well, we could have waited till we washed our hands." He could have said worse stuff, though. He could yeah. have, but I mean, that is like a super awkward place to tell me you like our show. Although I love the praise, love the praise, exactly. No, I love the praise. Uh, walk up and talk to a rock star and uh, LT tonight at Odie's. Odie's bringing you part of the show today. Yeah, Rock Star, it is Wednesday. That means? That'd be tri- that'd be tri- tri- trivia. Odie's Team Trivia, me and Rocky and Will Haver will be out there, get started about 8 o'clock. Come join us. It's always a ton of fun. Enjoy some of that food from Rodney Davis, the award-winning wings, delicious burgers, my personal favorite, the Diablo sandwich. Get the ice-cold beer buckets full of the Bud Light, inside or outside on the patio. You're going to absolutely love it. It's a Birmingham institution. It's Odie's, and it's Odie's Team Trivia tonight. Was there a price that you would have done the painting? Uh, oh yeah, you. I yes. There's a dollar amount. Again, you don't know the dude that wanted to do the painting. Yeah, there's a okay, dollar. Okay, then let Dunaway paint you, <laughs> please. Oh God. Like what if it's French guys? <laughs> we do have one open spot in the green room for a portrait. <laughs> we do need some art. Yeah. 
I would go very Van Gogh. You, you would not be able <laughs> Abstract. to. Abstract. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're back tomorrow, probably. Nine to one live. Until next time, God bless you and God bless America. Follow LT on Twitter at the Lance Taylor. Suffering from an old sports injury or tweak a joint being a weekend warrior? Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics may be able to reduce or eliminate your knee, hip, or shoulder pain, increase your mobility, and get you back in the game. From pediatrics to geriatrics, appointments are available at nine convenient locations affiliated with Brookwood Baptist Health. Call Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics at 855-219-6200 or visit precisionsportsortho.com. I'm Jim Dunaway from my friends at ERA King Real Estate. They know better agents make better deals. That's why they support their agents with innovative training and technology that helps them provide value to you. Find your agent by texting the word MOVE to 35260. That's MOVE to 35260. Even though home values may change, ERA King agents stay priceless. ERA King, working hard to make home buying easy. For your next round of residential and commercial termite protection, pest prevention, mosquito control, and lawn care services, do what my family does and trust Wayne's. Ryan Brown here from the next round. Wayne's may be headquartered here in Birmingham, but they're serving more than 100,000 families and businesses across SEC country, from Tuscaloosa to Auburn and Nashville to Knoxville. And right now, get started with their EnviroPest service for $60 off when you use the code TNR. Get started by calling 866-WAYNES1 and don't forget the code TNR for $60 off your initial EnviroPest service. If you owe back taxes and are looking for a way out, I've got the answer. This is Jim Dunaway, and I've seen what ignoring IRS tax problems can do. There is hope, and it starts by calling my friend Perry Cronin with Axiom Tax Resolution Group. Let me explain two things. One, the IRS is starting to take the gloves off again post-pandemic. That means they are getting more aggressive with their collection efforts. Don't fall victim to liens and garnishments. Call Perry Cronin today. The second thing is this. Don't call some national 1-800 number. This is too important for you to be just some other number. Perry and his daughter, Teresa Cronin, are tax professionals right in our area. You'll meet with them face-to-face, and they'll give you a free consultation. Call 205-872-1100. That's 205-872-1100. Or the website, 205tax.com. Perry Cronin can show you there's hope when dealing with the IRS. Visit 205tax.com. That sound means someone got great advice. Always have a good plumber on standby. For me, that is Iron Mountain Drains and Plumbing. Jeremy Purvis and his team can handle commercial and residential plumbing needs, and they give you free quotes. 205-516-4927 or ironmountainworld.com. They handle all your plumbing and jetter services. They'll do everything from drips to new fixtures, and they are licensed, bonded, and insured. ironmountainworld.com, just drain it. A legendary coach once said, it's not the will to win that matters, it's the will to prepare to win. Bryant bankers have the dedication and experience to put together a financial game plan that's right for you. Stop by one of the seven Central Alabama locations today or give them a call at 1-855-4-BRYANT to begin preparing for your financial future today. You'll find out what unbeatable service and legendary results are all about. Bryant Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Authentic, mouth-watering Louisiana cuisine prepared fresh from scratch. That's what you get at Walk-Ons. And now mix in the best atmosphere to watch live sports. Add that elite-level beer selection, and you've got a winner just off Highway 280 and 119. Happy Hour at Walk-Ons is 2 to 6, Monday through Friday. $5 moonshine swirls, $5 house pours, and half-price appetizers. Download the Walk-Ons mobile app for an easy take-home experience for the family. It's game day with a taste of Louisiana at Walk-Ons. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor.